All right, I think we're good to go. Never knew I saw it. I've seen most Suwon art. What the? People send it to me, whether I ask for it or not, and I see a lot of it because I have to go through artwork to make thumbnails. Hey, Adrian. Phoenix, did you just notice? Okay, good for you, Phoenix. I, I want to check out the kit. Did I play Maple Story? No, uh, dailies, I didn't do it, but I don't know how big of a deal it is. I'll try and remember. I'm tr I'm gonna try to reach 200, but I, I don't I don't know. There's a lot of time. I think that should be reasonable within like a week ish. All right, real quick. Tonight's schedule. We're going to finish the rest of chapter 19, which is just like two more chap Man, two more. One of the few times I'm awake for a stream, and it's never a good stream without problems. Kappa. Majestic watermelon. Wait, why is it not a good? What? What? What problems? Okay, what? What problems? And I do stream, I've, I've been streaming early, what the heck? Uh, okay, so tonight we're gonna do the remaining of chapter 19 for Nikkei. Uh, Toast, Tove's hard story, and then we're gonna do Break the Loop into, which is a sponsor stream, which I have an extra key to give, give away, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Into the Five Heroes Data Mine. Uh, but I think I'll summon before the Fire Heroes down mine, and then we'll just do the down mine for the rest of the night. That's the plan for tonight. All right. I already know some of you guys are gonna complain. Honestly, I hope you guys realize how cancerous it is to complain because uh, I have my own interests, and there are things I want to do, and I'd rather do them than than go al go along with people's nagging and complaining. All right. Why not summon now? Because then I would switch from Farm Heroes to Nikkei to Farm Heroes. It would be much easier to just start with Nikkei and go into Farm Heroes. Is there an extra need to make it an extra long switch? Meet Ka plus finishing Nikki chapter 9. You know, every single time we switch games, we lose viewers, right? So you want to min minimize your switches. Sugma's brilliant ideas to maximize your switches. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That's Sugma. Anyways, we'll start with the plan. Let's get things on the road. Uh, I wanted to start streaming earlier, but I couldn't sleep. Also, we switched back to the old microphone because... I can't, I don't know how to tune the new one. I've been trying, but it hasn't worked out. I've, I haven't gotten to sound better one time yet. Oh, chapter 20. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll change these. Most of these things are, uh, get changed. What's your most basic unit in your Nikkei barracks? Most basic unit? Uh, probably Anne. N102. Because uh, she's four stars, she's burst one, and everyone has her, and I think everyone's used her. I think that's the most basic unit I use. Sup, Opas, sup, Nugles, what's up? Am I the only one on YouTube today? Oh, six more, yeah. Did you F up yesterday? Because you're saying chapter 19, we did chapter 20. Oh, sure. Alright, cool. I think everything's looking good. Let's start this stuff already. Why are you saying frick YouTube? What the heck? begin a 
I've been making sure to uh, put more, more time into content creation. I, I'm starting to get in the rhythm of it, but man, I needed to turn the shit around uh, weeks ago. But still, on the right progress, on the right track, just need to get it done already. Okay. Who was it? Fess up. Who was it? Who did it? Today, I logged in earlier, and someone, one of you, you bought me, you bought me this package. Who was it? Someone bought me the recruitment package one. Wait, are you upset that I'm waiting too long for Maxwell? What's going on here? So now I have 31 tickets and 1,200 extra gems. Thank you, whoever it is. I appreciate it, but I'm still gonna wait for Maxwell. It's just hilarious to me that somebody did this, but I don't know who it is. Who is it? We've had like two people, at least two people. Maybe it's the same person. There's been like three instances of someone buying me stuff already. I'll pull soon. I'm, I'm sure Maxwell will be here any day now. Possibly even today. Wait, why am I checking? I already checked earlier today. You shall not tempt me, Miranda. You shall not tempt me. By the way, I can also make you a signal and uni. That's hilarious. Well, I would have to tick it twice, actually. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I had to take it twice for one. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's just Miranda. I, I, I can only make a Miranda right now. <laughs> Alright, Rose. Welcome to the Raise and Rebuild Workshop. Now you're forced to pull. Thanks. Thank you. Hope you put it to good use. What are you looking for? Just not just in time, dear client. Welcome to Rupee's shop. Oh shoot. No DMTR. Why are there so few DMTR? You can take your time, Commander. Okay. Well, my plan my plan right now is to uh keep waiting. Once a new event starts, I'll pull. Because that way you can get the new new summon tickets and go for a bigger pull. But yeah, I I, I plan on pulling soon. I'm hoping I can get more, um... It'd be nice to get more... More pilgrims? I don't even know that'll ever happen. I think it's Erebus gifting. They are a whale. He might! He gifted me one time at minimum. But why? I haven't even seen him in a while. Dude, I, I need to return the favor. What a nice guy. I, I do think at minimum he did one at a time, so I need to return the favor. He doesn't even he doesn't even say who. Makes me feel bad. Okay. Quick upgrade. Do you have any nudie max? You're a good person. You should continue living like that. 69 more attack, nice. I'm getting closer and closer to uh, 40 on Red Hood. Hey Teresa, how are you doing? By the way, I'm gonna try and end stream early enough tonight to make a offline video. That's my goal for tonight. Uh if it wasn't obvious. Man, last night I was just how good these junk heaps are. I was pretty disappointed with the Faye channel, alright? I think I'm allowed to admit that <laughs> am I not? Anyways, it was just pretty rough. I was like Watch and learn. The game mode was the crappiest game mode I've ever seen in the game. And the story ammo. doesn't seem interesting at all. I don't know, man. Ain't got a lot of faith right now. On, 
Any predictions on this banner's power creep other than Lucina's assist? Uh, Severa might be a legit, le legitimately good god sword. I highly doubt she'll be able to compete. She might be better than Felix, so she, she'll power creep Felix at least. But there's already power creep there because um, Summer Fjorm already power creep Felix. So it might not be such a big deal. In any case, uh, we'll see. Yay, same old face stuff. Man, I just I appreciate those who quit Faye and still watch. Even though you guys are masochists and probably just want to watch me suffer. Yeah, I thought it was incredibly underwhelming. I had no interest in the story, no interest in game mode. The rewards kind of ticked me off because they still insist on doing three orbs. And then um, the one other update, the Binding World update, was just congratulations, you made it version 5. Which didn't really matter to me because I, I looked through that list. It was like three heroes. I thought that was maybe worth it. Outside of that, we had... um We had Valdar. And that was the bright spot. I am not that big of an Awakening fan. And for those who watch me play Smash, you know I go Marth over Lucina. So that should probably tell you where my interests lie. So yeah, uh... It, it, it didn't matter too much to me that was a Lucina. I do like her dress, but it's weird. It reminds me of Fate's dresses. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, it's over now. We'll see tomorrow. Did, did Suan just say, you got this right? Hang in there? Oh my god, what an angel. I saw a Suan cosplay, not a cosplay, Suan picture today. Made Suan, oh my gosh. Why do I like her so much? <laughs> But I like I like every character who's influential. I think she, I think she's best girl in terms of human girls and Cecil second. It was definitely minimum effort. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'll try and be positive. Every single time I say anything negative about the game, people will like unfollow, unsubscribe, all those all those things. You know how it goes. But it's just like, but if I if I pretend I'm happy about it, I think that's even worse. Because then people can tell you're pretending. So you be honest and you get burned. You be dishonest, you get burned. So the answer is you get burned. <laughs> so you love Crow too? What's there to like about Crow? Crow makes no sense. Show me what I, got. I don't understand Crow's motivations. Give me your best shot. Suan motivations easy to understand. Crow many times. Makes the opposite of the logical decision. Because she's c c c c crazy. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, let's let's show off how cr crazy she is. Oh, commander wants to help her? Let's be cr cr crazy and shoot the commander. Because we're c c crazy. Oh, our goal is to help Nikkei's? Oh, we need to get back on humanity? Oh, the commander's offering to do both things? We're c c crazy. So let's shoot him instead. Oh, he survived our, our attempt to kill him? Well, that's cr but we're cr crazy, so we'll just stop trying to cr crazily kill him. That's that's Crow, dude. What is there to like about Crow? None of that makes any sense. She could have killed us. She bumped into us again, and she was just like, eh, he survived. Well, well. You have no idea how many times I could have unsubbed because of you roasting Awakening. I, was I truly roasting Awakening? It's just not my favorite Fire Emblem game. I think a lot of people argue it's a top three Fire Emblem game. I would argue it's just outside top three, but you know. Don't you like crazy people? That's not the good crazy people. You're not far enough to know. Deontay, is it time for you to admit it's wrong? I beat Nalister yesterday. First try yesterday when we tried it last night. Or actually, it might have been second try. Point is, we did it really quickly. Is it time to admit that it's easy? Oh, shoot. Not a manual this one. Why don't they just develop something like an infinite magazine? Sorry, I am Everyone, look at me. Oh, wait, this doesn't even matter. Better reload. 
This doesn't even matter. They can just blank through it. God, I have so much PTSD with Gravedigger the moment I see Gravedigger, I'm like, I gotta manual this. <laughs> even though it doesn't even matter. You got an easy boss? Weren't you, you're the one who was telling me this is this is going to be this is going to be hard. And I was telling you, I don't think this is gonna be harder. And it ended up not being hard. Dude, this is the story mode boss. You knew it going ahead in, into it that I was doing going against the story mode boss. So what are these excuses? I didn't think it was hard and it proved itself because the missions we spent more time on the missions to get get to get to it in the first place with the shields. That stuff was more hard for me. If you think if you think the Alistair is easy, then why just say she's a, she's harder than harder than um. Which by the way, when we sit, first said uh, Mother Will was the hardest boss, you you disagreed with it and you you proceeded to not tell us who was harder. And then when we bumped into Alistair, you said it was harder. Alistair was harder, and then we beat Alistair, and now you're telling us it's not so hard, which makes no sense, my guy. Uh, the Gravedigger event, I've been reading about it on Reddit. It looks like it's impossible. No one's beating it. I never said there was a harder boss in this game. You did. Everyone remembers you saying that. We can go back to the footage, Deontay. Do you... I remember it because everyone was just like, okay, so who's harder? And you you never answered. Because you were the only one to go to the contrary. So, for obvious reasons, I remembered it because you were the only one who said it, who said that, which I didn't think at all made any sense. So stay frosty. I'm not pulling any punches. So try not to wake me up when the battle is over. No, people actually like Suan. First, she's a brat. So people like that art immediately. And secondly, people appreciate that she actually does stuff in the story. Why don't they just develop something like an if you removed Ingrid, would the story change, for example? There's nothing distinct about Ingrid. All we know is that Ingrid and Rappi have a past thus far. I'm 21 chapters in. If you're still gonna say I'm not far enough to make you make up my mind on these things, you're I don't even think that's correct. I'm basically 80% of the way through the story at this point, and I think I can make up my mind here. If you removed Ingrid and just replaced her with somebody else, it, it wouldn't change a thing. Her personality, her decision making, everything she's done hasn't really mattered. And while we you can argue that, you know, Mustang has had his own event and whatnot, so he matters a bit more. Story wise, main story wise, this hasn't really changed. But yeah, it was also interesting to see uh, Suwon take a W. In case you forgot, she uh, she went behind all the CEO's backs, include Ann Anderson, and instead of punishing her, they let her go. And instead of punishing us, they let us go. Oh shoot, that was wrong. It depends on most, but most people will agree Mother Whale's the most annoying. You want to know how I know Mother Whale's the most annoying? I saw someone who's level 247 on the Nikkei Reddit asking on how to beat it. I'm not even through the 160 wall, and, you know, we pretty easily, pretty easily got through it all. Got through... Pretty easily got through Nalister. I don't think that's going to happen for Mother Whale. I don't, I don't think we're beating Mother Whale anytime soon. Is what I'm trying to say. Even if I'm smart about everything I do. Hindrance to business detected. Removing now. Going all out. Touche.
Yes, I'm talking about even with the nerfs. That was a, that was a Reddit post I read today. So I don't understand why you're going to argue, argue that. Now, sir, you could beat without breaking the 160 wall. Mother whale. I mean, even if you're through the 160 wall, good luck. That doesn't look reasonable. What purpose will I possibly serve? Uh, wake me up when the battle is over. Owens, I'm burned out of college work and I think about college debt. Well, welcome to being an adult. I still worry about college debt. Well, it's university you for me, but same thing. Sisters, but I've never seen her before. All I can say is keep working at it. Hopefully it turns around. I beat all those stories before the nerf. Yes, yes, I'm aware, but I'm just trying to tell you. Uh, wake me up when the you're, the, you're the one saying the house throws harder, dude. Come on. Enoch and I are apparently sisters, but I've never seen her before. Uh, well, I have to pick something now. Before the <laughs> no, the nerfs was only power level. The nerfs are only power level. It doesn't change how the match comes down, dude. Come on, man. It's only power level that got changed. They didn't change how the play went. Oh my guy, that's 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 such a reach. You should know that's a reach. Come on, you're a vet. You're a vet. You should know that's a reach. But my comrades are stronger. Most people will say the officer is easier. You said she was harder, and we beat her easily. All right, it's fine. I just don't understand. What's with the stubbornness? Just. I hope everyone understands. It's okay to be wrong. Legitimately, it's okay to be wrong. In fact, often in life, it's much more worse to insist you're right or to keep or keep on that. Despite the fact that, oh, hey, we're top three. Oh, shoot. I was top three in tribe tower. Let's go. But it didn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Oh, huh. all right. I'll take it. Anyways, I'm just saying, it's okay to be wrong, but if you insist on doubling down when you're wrong, you just lose people's respect. And while this is just over the internet, it's through a video game, I really hope you don't do this to yourself, IRL. Alright. Interceptions, do it. I'm always right in real life. <laughs> Alright, All right, my guy. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh, shoot. I didn't turn on my kick stream or my TikTok stream. Let me do that. Sorry, one sec. I always forget to turn on the TikTok stream. It's easier to forget things when you don't, like, make money off of it, I guess. Oh, it's updating. All right, I'll let it update.
How's Nika going tonight? Pretty good. Thanks for asking. I think, I, I think everything's set up now. Cough maple? Why are you coughing maple? Makoto, I hope you realize I follow your your ideology. Um I'd be screwed. Go back to it. Oh no! I was just getting into the groove. Even a hero needs. <laughs> Eureka! Oh, I'll take care, of Majestic Water. Really have fun at work. I even have to respect anything. Oh my god, the extra ammo is so nice. Oh god, this is so easy now. Oh shoot! One more victory for Bolt and me. I forgot how fast it was. I'm still half asleep. All right, I fucked that up. It is easy. I'm just half asleep. As soon as I filled the QT, my brain was like, "What is this QT about again?" I completely forgot. Let's try again. That was terrible. I forgot what happens. That was so fast. Alright, I'll be on guard this time. I took a nap before the stream. <laughs> I'm still pretty half asleep. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, on phase two, we have to wait for wait for uh, hold a burst. Sorry, on two, on bar two, we have to hold a burst because I I whiff a lot. Up there. Why don't they just develop something like an infinite magazine? I don't know. I was just getting into the groove. You're tougher than I thought. <laughs> You're real tough. I can't crack. I don't know. I was just getting into the groove. 
into the groove. Reload. Why don't they just develop something like an infinite magazine? Oh shoot, I didn't I'm get pinned. Yeah, whoops, that was my bad. I shouldn't have taunt in there. It's Zoro's revenge for trashing our last stream. Shush. I was just, was just nonsensically tired. Our damage is more higher than before, and I have to account for that. Yeah, I have to account for that. We don't end up holding a burst uh, for uh, two bar as as easily as before because we do way more damage. Okay, I, I just have to hold a burst. I forgot. Jeez, doing more damage just messed things up. I told you justice would prevail. Okay, that was ugly. We wasted a run. We got seven on that run and we didn't get anything off of it. I told you justice would prevail. Oh, <laughs> we got nothing tonight. Maybe we had a third run. At uh at a high percentage, but it might have meant something. Alright, let's see. Oh, shoot. Well, that makes up for it, chat. Red Hood! She's fully pieced up now. Alright, I'll take it. We had bad runs with bad rewards, but this is what it really matters. Red Hood has a full set now. She has a full set now, chat. Over 30k power now. Time to OL and see what we get. Chat, I don't have OCD, but if I did have OCD, is there a reason they need to skip the middle line? <laughs> That's so hilarious to me. I should reroll that, shouldn't I? It's just crit rate and charge speed. It's just to mess with you. Charge speed is good. Your red hood's your best by far. It's the same here with me. Charge speed's nice. Alright, I'll take it then. Oh, I don't have OCD. I'm just pointing it out because I notice it. You goober. I 
I'd love to hear any music recommendations you have. Take it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You can 30 second blacksmith because of Red Hood. Oh man. Are we sure we're playing Nikkei anymore? It just feels like we're playing Red Hood. I think we can call the streamer luck. It makes up for the fact that we uh we uh kinda screwed up earlier by with the seven. It makes up for it. Cause now all I have to do is just max out Red Hood and I have my, I have a respectable Nikkei for anybody. Sure her levels aren't as high as everybody else's, but her skills will be as high as everybody else's and the gear will be good enough. I'm actually ready for 10, 10, 10. It's just not enough. I still have to wait one more day for DMTR codes, and then I have enough. Yeah, I have like 226 plus 32, which is 258. So I just need 12 more DMTR codes, I'm done. And obviously tomorrow we'll get burst manual ones, and we're officially done Duns. Should we 10, 10, 10 tomorrow? You just got Pilgrim Attack her helmet? Nice, nice. She's getting closer to 40k attack, man. Alright, let's read the story now. You still don't have a full set for anyone, Phoenix? Phoenix! I have two full sets, my guy. Look at this! Here's my- here's my red hood. Ah, but look at my Laplace. I have two full sets, two full attacker sets. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. It's really nice because I love Laplace, but even if I didn't, if, even if I didn't like Laplace, it would have worked out because it would have gone on Maxwell. Humans in this world are under threat by robotic weapons called Raptures. I skip this, don't I, chat? There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Come on, chat. There ain't no way. I've tried it yesterday. There ain't no way. I heard everybody complain about this. Your Ludmilla pulls? Fella, you're going for Ludmilla? Fella, do you think I should go for Ludmilla too? I think she's so hot, and I need an MG. You guys realize without a good MG, I'm gonna be stuck. Oh, by the way, we're checking out the middle after this. I gotta beat Mother Whale, and I just don't know if Guilty can do it. I love, I love, I love her so much, but she's so hard to use. Oh my god, we're not ready for this. We ain't ready. We ain't ready. We ain't ready. We ain't ready. Oh, I think it matters. 
Look, we can't break shit. <laughs> Get me out of here. You have the damage, not the ability to break circles. Oh yeah. Uh, I thought that was hand in hand, but yeah, we clearly don't, we can't, clearly can't break the circles. I only beat this thing cheesy way by tanking two drills with a mixture of cover and shield heals. Okay, I'm not, I, I, that's not even realistic for me. I don't have shields or heals like that. Hey Royal, how you doing? You gave up on that one? I don't even think we can make it to the last phase, so it doesn't matter. You survived yet again. That's something worth celebrating. You wish that was a little harder, Deontay? Look, man. You and I both know you're talking a lot of mad shit. And you talk a lot of mad shit constantly. No, you don't. All right, that's that. All right, let's wrap wrap up wrap up chapter uh, twenty. We still have like two things to read, and then um, I'll let you see how I beat it on my account. Uh, that's fine. It's not like I haven't seen people beat it. It's just it's more about. You guys do realize a lot of situations in this game is having the right Nikkei's. It's less of a skill check, more of a Nikkei check. Trailer's out? Oh shoot. That one is not all skill check. How can you... How can you say it's all skill check? <laughs> My guy. Deontay, you ever realize you're saying some absolute nonsense? All right, Deontay, let me know. What team should I use? And then we'll try it. I'll show you that we can't break any circles with that team and then you can tell me again it's a skill check despite the fact that it's equipment and s equipment check. <laughs> that has nothing to do with skill my guy. We can't break the circles. One step closer to the top. Man, I don't want to switch to Faye yet. All right, we'll do this last thing. I wanted to do the story. Ah, oh, fine. I couldn't break any circles either to the last point. Okay. Wanna hit the bars up? Investments will pay off. Alright, let's check it out. Man, I wanna do the story first. Alright, let me download it. Listen, I'm not gonna prioritize Faye over over uh, other stuff in most situations going forward, but it's the release of a book, so I'll do it this time. But generally, general, generally speaking, I don't think I would do that too much more often in the future. I highly doubt they're gonna have something like ultra amazing. All right, let's do a quick poll while um, I'm setting up.
Shit is scam. That's a scam. All right, chat. Let's go over uh, the fade trailer real quick. Do the polls and whatnot. We'll come back to Nikkei. Sorry for uh, putting Fay over Nikkei. It is a new book, so I'm going to try and be as honest as I can. Um, all right. Checking out. Take care, Jadell. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I think everything's properly swapped over. I'm just downloading the uh, downloading the trailer right now. <laughs> Silex, you misunderstand. Oh, I'm not worried about getting beat. I'm worried about the time commitment that I have to put in. I know I'm not allowed to speak honestly, so I'll just speak honestly this time and I'll lie for the rest of the times. Uh, this book thus far just doesn't interest me, unfortunately. The story, the new realm. The characters, nothing thus far has been interesting me. I I guess I do want to see Valdar. That's what I really want to see. I want to see Valdar. But uh, outside of that, not a lot of general interest, interest in most things. I'm going to try and keep my uh, mind open about it and uh, go about it the best way I can. But I, I did that last year and I ended up super d disappointed and sad. So... Hey, man. Okay. Uh, I have a bookmark? I do? Oh, I, I, I actually do. But it's hall form, so I can skip it. Wait, it's final bonus in VG? Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about voting. Go oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, let's go. Freya's going to win. Okay. At least that's some good news. I don't have Freya, actually. All right, let's watch the trailer. I'm downloading it right now. You should delete the game too. Listen, I'm I can't take you seriously in anything, so I'm not gonna take you seriously. If Gova can't win, I'm hoping Freya can.
then keep suffering the disappointment of Faye? Uh, you forget, this is my job. <laughs> I know in your mind it's a brilliant idea to, uh, dump half my viewer base. <laughs> Things haven't turned out that bad yet, and, uh, no thank you. Yeah, Faye is still half your viewer base, Nimchia. It's... I think it's like 60-40 right now, 60% uh, from Faye, 40% from Nikkei, but the Nikkei, we get, generally speaking, more Nikkei viewers and more Nikkei followers, so th that'll change eventually. It'll, it'll go to 50-50 and I'll think it'll keep going because Faye doesn't really grow as a game. It's also from the respect of... Also, if it wasn't clear, I'm saying this from a, a standpoint of, like, even if I did hate the game, which I don't, but even if I did, uh, it'd be a very hard decision to make. Though I'm, I'm pretty sure people are gonna ignore that and just listen, and just hear it as this guy hates this game, which is what people always do. <laughs> Alright, let's watch watch the trailer. Half the viewer base with half the support. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, I have a much smaller Nikkei viewer base, but they support me way more. You don't hate the game. You were just fed up. Okay, well, congratulations. Um, I'm not going through all that. You can you can find a psychologist for your traumas and farm heroes or whatnot. That's fine. Um, but that's that's not my job. All right, we're gonna check out the new trailer now, chat. I was just getting through some of these. Be sure to do your voting gauntlet. It is last hour. Also, if I sound different, it's because I switched back to my old microphone. That'll be fun. Lightning, I'm happy for you. Some health for once. And I don't think I'm missing anything. All right, let's start this. That's why you sound so different. Yeah, I, I've been playing around the settings. I can't find a way, single way to get things to be good. So, uh... You know, I've given up on that. All right, let's see this. By the way, for those who don't know, Con creation is my full-time job now, so if you can spare anything and become a member, and that support will be really, really meaningful. Outside of that, the name change finally happened, so I can stop talking about that. Hooray! And let's begin this. Hey, they finally changed up the opening. That's quite a bit different than usual. Waking music. Start off with Lucina, alright. Those with the power to shape the world bear an incredible burden of responsibility. Father Fates Resolve. All too well. Her name is Fates caution. Resolve, and she looks like she's from Fates because she doesn't like to wear pants. Swap extra I've turn debuff of her B slot. We already knew about that. She's gonna be very popular. Arcane Prima, Speed Defense Snag, Alarm Defense Res, and Attack Speed Clash Four, and in Future Sight. Gonna be really popular. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Her arcane weapon inflicts penalties, can empower herself and an ally to smash foe defenses after swapping. What is this? Wait, the arcane weapon has this ability? Okay, we're gonna read over this and uh, dissect it in a bit, but what? That's kind of weird. Not a lot of heroes can use this really well. Interesting. And then they do new heroes join the battle. I guess that makes more sense. Secret Dreamer, Severa. Well, if you're asking me, I guess I can make an effort. Still one of my favorite characters. Oh! 
Oh, it wasn't. Oh my god. It's finally happening. Oh, shoot. No, they're gonna... They're just gonna give a summarize what they're gonna do as a specialty now. Shield Pulse. Shield Pulse has evolved, chat. Shield Pulse. Let's go. Leave it to me to oversee the well-being of our troops, as well as the army's resources. I consider it my duty. All right, Laurent. Nobody really cares because Muriel's already in the game and she's better. But hey, congratulations. The dream lives on. Chat. Oh, all right. I don't want to pause too much, but what do you guys think about this? They are now putting in, and I can't believe this, summaries. They actually understand that nobody wants to read through 20 pages of text before they have any semblance of a clue of what a character does. I'm really happy for them. Finally. Also, they're going to kill people like me. Why watch me when you can just read this one line and you're done? Yeah, the added TLDR. I grow weary of you. <laughs> Show us your tail. Do they think we're all furries or something? <laughs> At least the new music is bopping. Mending hand. You are getting NTR'd by the TLD army smut. I'm not a tasker. I'm a member of the healing hands. You have squirrel hands. How does that heal? This is the title I know. Music's dope though. Mending heart. We already talked about that yesterday. That's one of the best C slots in the entire game. Heals allies and gains strength when they're healthy. Use divine vein to upset warp effects. Ah! Denial. Mm -hmm. Warp denial. Still the worst? Chat. What kind of battle cry is that? What kind of voice direction is that? <laughs> but yeah, double application of her C slot is incredible. So that Lindsay is doing nothing. I think the only thing that I'm 100% gonna like about this new book, the music and Validar. And they're not showing off, but Laurent is the demo, Valdar is the GHB, so. All right. You guys know how it goes. It's not a color sharing, it's not a color shared banner, so that goes really well. Sorry, I just realized we're kind of lagging because I have Genshin Impact on in the background. Not that I would ever play the best gacha game ever. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Uh, when Genshin runs in the background, the recording uh, lags a bit because I run too many things at once. Relax, you still have 12 months. Oh wait, 12 months of what? All right, let me try and catch up on everything. Um, I think in the future I'll, I'll catch up on uh, dial, catch up on things twice. They still don't have summaries of keywords. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they still don't have summaries of keywords. At least they're listening a little bit. Though, can we just be frank? This is stuff that wasn't complicated and that they should have known to do. All right, but let's not badger them on this. I'm glad they finally did TLDRs. They really, really need to. They already did it in the game. So... Honestly, all you're really doing is just taking the text in the game and putting it in the trailer as well. So, you know, this is good. This is what you should be doing. Smart idea. Let's see what else you guys are saying. It is a slight increase in effort. <laughs> slight? I don't even think slight is slight enough to describe this, but you're correct. It is a slight effort. They saw people in summaries and finally wanted to do it themselves. It's smart. Uh, honestly, I should be doing it more consistently, but um, I haven't been. When Ninja Shamir is about to become God after this ban banner. All right. Happy for Shamir. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Ratatouille. <laughs> okay. Her squirrel form actually looks like a Pokemon. Uh, reminds me of Naruto to a certain degree, but not as cool. And it goes also quest reward. Yes, we get two copies of him. He's also demote. 
Update is out on Android. All right. Can't wait to pull for Lucina. Okay. okay. So cute. Super is going to re remember the 70% DR calves. Here's your God Sword solution. All right. All right. I don't think I'm missing anything big. And the dream lives on. Essentially, I think this is essentially Shield Pulse 4, but I'll read it. It, it looks like it, but I'll read it. Make problems, sell solutions. That's that's phase motto. All right, chat. Let's go over the banner. Hey, what do you guys think? You already knew the heroes, but what do you guys think of the skills? Well, it is interesting because I feel like they're trying to be different. Starting off the book eight with the best possible results is what they're trying to do. Look, as it, at least since that's what it looks like. Anyways, let's start with Lucina. Axe Cavalry, Alexis Tipton, her VA. She's had two VAs, right? And Tipton is the current one. And then ours is Gesso King. I think Gesso King did a great job, but is it me, chat? Doesn't. I don't want to ruin Lucina for you guys. But isn't her chin a bit. I, 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 do I, should I say it? Her mouth, her chin, her nose. The proportions, ah, you know, I'm not going to ruin anything. You can piece it together. It's, there's nothing wrong with Lucina. She's gorgeous, of course. She just looks like a Fates warrior. She looks like Camilla's sister or something. I don't know. Especially with the massive chin. I don't know. I don't know anything. Laura Bailey was the first VA, correct? Correct. All right. Anyways, here is her stats. 40 HP, 59 attack, 53 speed, which is 47. Uh, 37 defense. I'm still not sure about Tipton Oh, is also 31 Pala, defense. Kagaya Summer, the Raven of the Inner Palace, and the Robot Girl from Nikkei. Okay. Yes, I know. Uh, <laughs> and then she has 23 res. All right. But the new swap ability into extra action with snag usage. They really like doing this stuff, but it's only really on Brave Crom, Fallen Crom. They don't, not a lot of heroes use this well, so. All right, let's read over everything. Attack speed clash four, you guys already know what it does. Let's start with Future Sight. Unit target ally swapped spaces, grants attack speed plus six treachery, and if unit shoots combat, reduces damage from foes first attack during combat 40% to unit and target ally for one turn. Grants another action to unit. These special assist abilities just get dumber and dumber. Good lord. Self buffing, debuffing, damage reduction, as well as well, it's still a movement assist and an extra turn. It might not have a lot of words, but it contains a lot of BS. All right. Very nice assist skill. That's one of the best in the entire game. You can use that as extra movement. You can use that to move people back. It's really, really nice. As well as, you know, debuffing with. Treachery and snag. Okay, but Arcane Prima, slaying ability. At start of turn, if units HP is 25% or above, attack defense minus six on closest foes and foes within two spaces of those foes through the next action. So that looks like attack defense menace. But better than oh, it's better than menace. Mm, less range, more more effect. At star combat, if unit's HP is 25% or above, all stats plus 5 unit, inflicts all stats minus X on foe, executes highest penalty on each stat between target and foes in two spaces of target, so it's meant to be used with... Or, or is it? It's just highest penalty. Okay. Uh, oh, it's meant to be used with a snag, that's why. Okay. House penalty on each stat between target and foes in two spaces of target. Calc each stat penalty independently. Neutralize effects that grant special cooldown charge plus X to foe or inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit. Now specials and during combat and also if unit speed is or foe speed, neutralize effects that guarantee foes fall up tax and effects that prevent units fall up tax during combat. Null specials. What the heck? Null specials, null follow up. Uh, essentially, it's going to have the plegian effect. All stats plus five and some debuffs as well as slaying. That's a really good axe. So it's official. We don't have auto double axe. Some of us were thinking maybe an auto double axe, but no, it's not happening. Also, we have speed defense snag. You guys know how this works. Speed defense minus four on foe during combat. So that's passive. If a movement assist skill like reposition, shove, pivot, etc., including future sight is triggered, you do speed defense minus seven and sabotage. So you do sabotage plus treachery. Oh, that's dumb. On nearest foes in four spaces of both unit and target ally after movement and on foes in two spaces of those foes equip the skill that can trigger the savior effect through the next actions. So that's very, very, very nice. Alarm defense res is also there. So she buffs attack speed defense res plus six very easily. 
and grants herself Kanto. So yeah, uh, in this show, defense res plus three based off of adjacency to units less than or equal to one. Easily one of the best calves in the entire game. In terms of axe calves, this is your best speedy axe calf by far. There's no competitors. Anyways, her arcane weapon inflicts penalties, can power herself and an ally to smash foe defenses after swapping. Yep. Tons of debuffs, tons of buffs. She even has Kanto because of the alarm. High value fodder, very modern BST, just a giant stat stick. Very nice. Now, Rats Husker. Oh, shoot. Now, Secret Dreamer, <laughs> Severa. It's because I saw the trees, I immediately thought of her. Severa, who here is a Severa fan? Both my hands are up. I love Severa. Twin Tail Sundrays, classic. Anyways, infantry, sword hero. Julie Ann Taylor is the VA. Confuzi Kokin, Kokon is the artist from Fire Emblem Awakening. She's very popular. This is one of the most popular characters to not get into the game with her base form. She's already in the game, but just not as her base form. Anyways, you guys know what Tax Speed Finish 4 does. You guys know what God Like Reflexes does. So let's focus on the big one. Buffer 4. Is this officially Shield Pulse 4? But way, way, way better. At start turn 1, if foes attack and trigger units special, grants special quelling charge minus 2. Oh boy, instant godlike reflexes. Inflict speed defense minus 4 on foe during combat. Passives. If a skill compares unit speed to your foe speed or ally speed, treats unit speed as if grand plus 7. So that is just, you know, tier 4 speed skills as they are. If unit speed is over foe speed, reaches damage from attacks during combat by 50%. Okay. That's official. That's shield pulse 4. As long as you set it up, and she has a way of having null specials and faster cooldown. She'll just continuously set up godlike reflexes. It's just the first setup that's annoying. So yeah, they essentially com combine Shield Pulse with Dodge 4. And I think this is the closest thing to Shield Pulse 4 we'll get. And this is the one that makes the most sense. Striving Sword, slaying ability. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants all stats plus X to unit during combat. X equals 25% of foes attack at start combat. Minus four, maximum 14, minimum five. She can get plus 14 all stats. Isn't that a bit nutty? And inflict special quill and charge minus one on foe per attack. The evasion shield pulse stream is officially alive. I wanted yes. this for so long, and I was convinced it was dead after the Hardy incident. The uh, Hardy incident? What do you mean the Hardy incident? Huh? 50% not 40%? They're they're 50%. All dodge fours are 50%. Alright. And also, units attack triggers units specials. You try to reduce damage by X percent effects from foes non-special skills. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, pour one out for Felix chat. If units within three spaces of an ally and foe's attack triggers units special, units next attack neutralize reduced damage by X percent effects from foe's non-special skills, resets at end of combat. If units within three spaces of an ally grants, oh my goodness, an ally and special triggers before or during combat, special quality charge minus two after combat, which means you can switch off of godlike reflexes and go vital astra if you wanted to. You can go with a more traditional build if you wanted to. You do not have to though. Instant godlike reflexes is way better. Listen, she has the best kind of damage reduction because of godlike reflexes. Godlike reflexes cannot be, you know, removed. It is a special damage reduction. When it comes to uh, skill damage reduction, you can re remove those. But when it comes to special damage reduction, you cannot remove that. So that's guaranteed. She will just always guarantee remove 40% of foe's attack. And then, of course, converts 50% of her speed into damage output. Godlike reflexes on her is immaculate. Add that to the finish for some healing and more attack and speed. And of course, every time it triggers more damage, she's really stupidly good. This is on a level of Summer Fjorm. So again, rest in peace, Felix. My man's is very, very dead. Not like anybody really used him, but yeah, come on. Let's be frank here. Felix, you know, he has beautiful hair. A beautiful face. Kind of gloom sometimes. It's a hot dude. But what does a hot dude have in the face of a hot girls? Nothing. You're playing Fire Emblem Heroes after all. 
Felix never took off, and he's been buried twice now. Rest in peace, my guy. Female Tsunir's being better than male Tsunir's Nimsmug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he's not really a Sun's Ray, Hardy right. Fighter broke the game for a while. Also, it's now Severa's reflexes that are godlike love. Yep, her reflexes are godlike, but I still really, really like Fjorm. Remember, Fjorm does DC extremely well, so... And uh, Fjorm's setup is still really good, and her uh, her special works on both faces as well, so... Yeah, I, I wouldn't discount Fjorm, but it's between those two. When when it comes to best... Sir, uh, hmm... When it comes to best survivalist sword hero, I think it's between Fjorm and Severa now. But yeah, very nice. Reduces the damage she takes and her counters stop her foe's non-special -spe damage redu reducing skills. Yes, yes. So 18 damage turns into 6. And then she heals back 7 <laughs> on both hits. Crazy. The Elucidator. This will go really fast. Laurent. Chat. Does anyone want to tell me how many color tome heroes we have in the game that are not five star locked? And you want to tell me how many color tomes you can inherit? Laurent was set up for failure. VA, Chris Smith, artist Suzumi Mar Marichi. This is Muriel's son, but I think everyone likes Muriel more, so. Anyways, he's just going to keep his base tome. Don't even bother changing it. You can kill Nime, I guess, but why would you do that? Uh, Hivir. Dirdir, I'm sorry for butchering it. Attack plus 5, attack minus 5, guard. It's not even a great color tome. Iceberg, attack res ideal. Rails attack res 3. He does have very high res and pretty good attack, but I'll be honest, there's no point. If you want to make a new mage, uh, let's be frank, it's the GHB hero. It's not him. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I gotta say. This is doomed. His magic slows special triggers and increases attack. Receives attack plus 16, res plus 11 under right conditions. Yeah, doesn't matter. Hashtag Mirio's better. Mirio's also better fodder. Unless he's demoted uh, his rouse skill to 4 stars. That might be pretty nice. Chat, be honest with yourselves. How many of you guys are furries? <laughs> Ratosker. Do you guys like Ratosker? This design, IMO, really boring. Is it me or does this fa feel like Fates again? Like half the banner, half. Because it feels like when it comes to Lucina, right? That's a that's technically a OC version of Lucina. It feels like she was wearing Fates armor. Just just ask Camilla. And then you look at Ratosker, and it looks like she's wearing Fates maid outfit, right? See where I'm going with this? She looks like Felicia. She reminds me of Felicia. She's clumsy enough as a squirrel to fall from a branch. That's crazy to me. Anyways, the mending hand. I just don't think much of her outfit. I, I think it's... I'll be honest. I think I enjoyed the Fates made outfits way more. Anyways, Ratosker. Cav, Beast. V VA, Madeline Doro, artist, Kozaki Yusuke. Kozaki Yusuke, your great art is being wasted here. I think if Kozaki Yusuke had a better uh, a better outfit that he could work with, I think he would have done um, immaculately. Kozaki Yusuke is one of my favorite v VAs, uh, artists in this entire game. Anyway, Speed Astro Hero. All right, let's go over this. Luna, attack speed clash four. You guys know what it does. World Tree Tail, <laughs> Kanto two. So just like Regan, guarantee Kanto and Kanto at two. Sling ability. Man, we didn't appreciate what we had with Sida Nimsad. I already miss her Nimsai and she hasn't even gotten her New Year's out yet. Go figure. Okay. She's a Midori plus a squirrel. Yeah. I never cared if anyone called me a furry or not. Rat Husker, eh, meh, cute, but nah. It's Felicia in a furry cosplay. <laughs> Rather, I don't like it, but would like to have it. Uh, they're trying to revive the Waking and Fates back in 2018. We're going back. I like her. I don't think she has the most interesting design, but I don't dislike her at all. She doesn't stand out to me, but I'll talk about that later. In terms of... I'll just give you guys my list. In terms of Fey OCs that I stood out to me that I immediately like... Fjorm? Regan? I feel like I'm forgetting someone. 
Was it just those two? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't think much of Peony on her release, but I liked her by the end of it. No, 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 I'm talking about OC princesses. Oh, that's it. It's just Fjorm and Regan, and by the end of Regan's playthrough, I didn't like her. And whereas with Fjorm, I liked her throughout, and I still like her. Fjorm's the only one I, I like, period. Yeah, I didn't feel much about Ash or Seether. Uh, I was slightly interested because Seether looks like a Xenoblade character. But that's what, that was about it. You mean you didn't like Seether and her mating press? <laughs> no. Alright, let's go back. World Tree Tail. It's Kanto 2, slaying ability. At star combat, if unit's HP is 25% or above, all stats plus 5, grants attack speed plus X unit, X equals 9 minus 3, times number of allies with HP 40%. Oh, over 40%. Minimum 0. So you get up to 9 extra stats if you have more healthy allies. Makes sense. Grants special cooldown charge plus 1 a unit per attack. Great. And reduces foe's damage from first attack by 40%. As a beast cap, she's already going to have that, so let's. Oh. She still has it. Okay. During combat. And first attack only means only the first attack. For effects that grant units attacks twice, it means the first and second strike. So brave effects. At star turn, if unit is adjacent to an only beast or dragon allies, you transform attack plus two, attack events minus Y. You guys know how that goes. And of course, uh, based on movement, another 30% damage reduction on the first blow. So she has, what, 58%? I forgot the number. Over 50% at least of damage reduction. So, yeah, World Tree Tail is very nice. Beast Agility means she doesn't even have to work herself as a, a beast hero. She just transforms at all times. Anyways, removes condition to transform. Speed defense minus 4 on foes during combat, the passive. And if unit speed is over foes speed, neutralize effects that guarantee foes fall up tax and effects that prevents units to fall up tax during combat and deals damage equals 10% of unit speed. You know what? I think if it wasn't obvious already, this is our best free-to-play yeah, this is our best free-to-play free hero in the game, period. Don't argue me on uh, Brave Heroes. I don't think that really counts. I'm talking about just play through the book and you get a free hero. This is the best one by far. Because she has no follow-up, damage reduction, damage reduction. She has Clash, which means she doesn't have penalties on her. She has easy extra stats, faster cooldown s through slay and charge. And, uh, yeah, tons of stats. She has everything you would want. And Kanto. Most heroes don't have Null and Kanto. She has both. Anyways, really good. And then, of course, she has a, a field ability, a terrain ability. Most heroes don't have that period. Food for Embla. This might also be accurate to story lore Nimsmunk. Well, Embla doesn't have Kanto, and I, I hold that against her, but yeah. Uh, Mending Heart. After unit acts, if Kanto triggers, applies Divine Vein green to unit space and space within two spaces of unit for one turn. That's why she just spams this everywhere. Also restores 7 HP to allies in two spaces of unit after combat. Her C slot is amazing. Also grants all stats plus 4 unit, inflicts special quantum charge minus 1 on foe per attack, and restores 7 HP to unit after combat. What is she missing, chat? Oh, she doesn't have damage reduction reduction. She does not have damage reduction reduction, fine. But she has everything else. Healing, terrain ability, stats, debuffing, or, or at least debuffing during combat. Uh, null follow-up, faster cooldown. I, I'm i just going to repeat myself. Null penalties on herself through Clash. This is as close as a perfect hero as you can get, and she's free. This is most likely how you're going to deal with a lot of god swords as a free play uh, player nowadays. Anyways, very nice hero. Uh, nothing bad to say. Heals allies and gains strength when they're healthy. Uses Divine Bane to upset foe warp effects and specials. Yep, yep. Yeah, Immaculate on a Gale Force team especially. Because when she retreats with a Gale Force team, they can't follow. Look at that Alincia. She can't teleport anymore. So despite the fact that she's so close, they can't move close on her. That's so useful. Anyways, 40 HP, 60 attack, 46 speed, uh, 38 defense, probably 34. I, it's a suspicion. The suspicion is this from um, Sharina, and then 21 res. We'll see for sure in a bit. Diamond's coming up. Anyways, really nice abilities, and that's your banner chat. What do you guys think of the banner? This isn't about 
what you think of the characters, to be clear. But what do you think about the banner? I think this is a really strong banner. It comes out on the 7th of December and it goes until, well, it's probably like a month, so we'll see. But yeah, this is your new hero's banner. Should you pull? Should you pull? Let's pull on that. Will you pull on Awakening Banner? All right, let me read what you guys are saying. Update is already out. Shut up. Update is already out. Someone already Meaning said that, like... Defines are ready. Also, cool. stats have been data mined now to Link. Yes. I was doing the trailer first. We got a top three God Sword and maybe top three Beast and maybe a top three Fast Axe Cav. No, that's incorrect. You got the top Axe Cav. You got a top three God Sword and you got. At least a top Beast Cav. So uh, this is a very impressive banner. However, it's still a standard rate banner, and I... Ah, man. Save save up for Hero Rises, chat. That's my suggestion. Lucina's top? Yeah, is there a Axe Calf who's better than Lucina? It's not even close, come on, guys. I have to pull? Oh. I have to pull on this banner. I have to give buffer 4 to a certain princess that I can finally return to her PRF special with. Dude, you are such a simp. Alright, shouts to uh, Gmo making the sacrifice for his girl, Fjorm. Shouts to you, dude. Was it double spark? Oh, sure, we're all, we'll check that in a moment. Oh, shoot! Chat. Lucina. Is that? Oh, or Severa. No, I think it's Lucina. Is Lucina a hero rises? Oh boy. Listen, I just don't think you should go for this banner. There's one really bad hero on it, on Laurent. And I think you just wait for these heroes. They'll be reran and they're going to be popular. A couple of these. Jeez. They might. They might win a Hero Rises, or at least be on the banner. I think they have a chance. That Lucina is so good, and it's Lucina. Come on. All right. Well, we'll see. Anyways, you guys voted yes. 47% of you guys are going to pull on the banner. It's split, but honestly, a split result is pretty good. You got multiple summons, so pulling for the banner is kind of smart, but I would say I would save. Lucina's rearm, so she has a good chance. Severa might might not. Severa might not, but she's very, very good. I sure hope people don't vote for a permanent pool unit. Sagama, even if you have a chance at her, you're gonna have like a one in how much chance? It doesn't even matter. That's poor thinking. RP Arcane Downfall, Death by Power Creep, of course. Yeah, Arcane Downfall's got nothing here. Nothing. All right, uh, I think we'll talk about the heroes with the data mine. So I'm gonna set up the data mine. We'll put in the ratings and stuff for the data mine after this. I need another Lear to give pledge so I can abuse tempo and charges. <laughs>
He's still. Oh, hello, hello. Greetings. All right, so uh, we'll, there's so much stuff tonight, so we'll just start with the data mine. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. And, and, that, and that's what I thought. Now I am? Yep. Yep. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? You're sure? Yeah, we're sure. For a second there, at least. Okay. Yeah, maybe that was second, happening. But hopefully not now. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah, oh. I I don't understand. Not I switched again. my microphone as soon as I opened Paint, which makes no sense. That what, Paint? <laughs> yeah, that's. I was looking at that. I was like, what? Why did that's... it switch microphones? <laughs> makes no sense. Whoops. Interesting. <laughs> Text to drawings? I, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, that's confusing. Alright, well, let's do this. Alright. It begins. At least it's not as big as it could have been. If everything happened today, that would have been a real pain. What doesn't happen today? What are you talking well, about? The, if the Fae Channel happened today, that would have made things a lot worse. I guess. Not a lot worse, but... Well... In, in your mind, it's okay. In my mind, it's not okay. I still haven't done my sponsorship that I wanted to do yesterday. <laughs> ah, <laughs> That sucks. <sighs> we've been doing pretty well on sponsorships. We've been re-invited back for a couple of them, but like, if I put it at the end of everything, it's usually not going to be the best. I already got the stats, I see. Ah, shoot, I didn't even do anything with that. Uh, does anybody have stat IVs? Oh, shoot, uh, that stuff, that stuff isn't old. out immediately? What? I mean, uh, oftentimes I'm the one that does that, little... but I was trying to be blind about everything here. Oh, also, yeah. Stats came out first, not the skills, which is unusual. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I can take a look. Uh, there were some people in one server of mine who were doing uh, IVs, I think. So yeah, let me. Check. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want to check, because I'm remaining blind on Ivy, uh, refines. So okay, I'm, good. A, I, yeah, I I'm a big supporter of plagiarism, and I think you should do that already. <laughs> well, I will indeed do a little bit of uh, theoretical plagiarism here. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got everything now. We're approaching 50 speed soon. Uh, yesterday we checked out a statistics video. I'll release that as a video. I thought that was so interesting. One day we'll breach the 50 base. It might not be until like 2025, but it's we're up. getting close though. We are. And when GT6 comes we have 48s. We have 48s with Super Bow, and that's the scary part. Hmm. Yeah, I mean we're basically there, so. Uh, those stats Kinda. are are immaculate. As we knew, indeed. All right, we're good to go. You guys are good to go. So. Yep, mm -hmm. IVs are all set. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick check. Yeah, I'm gonna go into. Oh, that is just what the question is of res plus three tome. All right, chat. Welcome to data mine. We're gonna go through a quick run through first. And this is your book eight data mine with Awakening Heroes, though they're not gonna call it Awakening Banner because the Mythic Hero, whatever, super <laughs> always supersedes <laughs> everybody for some reason. Yep. Anyways, Rat Tosker by herself and Lucina. By the way, this looks like a partial Fates banner because Lucina looks like she took Camilla's clothing or at least inspiration from Camilla, and Rat Tosker looks like she took inspiration or you know straight up uh, Felicia's clothing. Though I think Fates maids are way cuter. I agree. I like yeah. four in particular, but actually we gave. Fates a little too much uh, harshness last night because this is actually awakening great knight armor. This is not fates. For once. I know, but listen, are people gonna look at her armor or look at her thighs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, well, that uh, the cool. outfit. The outfit in general is all from awakening, including that uh, famous I, gap. Thing. You know, technically I speaking, know this that. is uh, awakening fates banner because Severa and Inigo are also. Uh, Technically. Technically, and Lucina even goes up in fates, so there's that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, 
chat. This is, an email. This is not an awakening banner. You've been misled <laughs> uh -oh. all along. It was actually a fate's banner in disguise. <laughs> wow. Fate dev wins again. again. One amiibo rude. and two mainline playables from fates. Yes, the oh my goodness, the amiibo. Most noteworthy. <laughs> yep, right. 10 minutes. Go Freya! Uh, and technically yeah, Valdar's from uh, Warriors, so this is a Warriors banner too, haha. <laughs> that's, okay, sure. That's, that's... <laughs> want to get, okay, if we're getting this pedantic, it could technically also be an Engage banner, huh? <laughs> It's all Dex's fault. All right, well, let's go over the heroes real quick in terms of our stats. We have the Mending Hand, Rad Tosker with 40 HP, 44 attack, 46 speed, 34 defense, and 21 res. Boons and Banes, please. Rad Tosker okay. is a 185 BST Blue Beast Cavalier Astromythic with speed super boon, woohoo, HP attack super boons. So, obviously you get one neutral, but hey, if you get a plus speed, that's 50 off the gut. All right, that's good. Uh, we'll move on to hero number two. So, oh, sorry. Here's what, how I imagine formatting going forward. Okay. We're not covering every hero. That's taking too much time. And frankly, from the results we see, people don't care about most heroes anyways. <laughs> so how about we, uh, out, uh, unless it's a special occasion, I think we go three of five or three of four, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, just skip the banner demote. Skip the demote, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. at minimum and try and skip one of the other heroes because even if we argue like say last banner what's her name again is she what is it oh shit is uh, this doria is a doria is a doria is a doria let's be frank nobody used her so no we did, no. <laughs> we did like the comparisons and whatnot for her but it didn't matter so I, i'm gonna say going forward let's try and just agree on three of the heroes to check out I mean, it'd be we, nice I think to we could talk about them all. Them, but comparisons? But we could, yeah, well, we could skip no, no, no. comparisons. For... Well, we could talk about it. Yeah, yeah, but the comparisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah that's way too long. Yeah, that can save right. a bit of time. All right. Okay. Okay. For my sanity's sake, and so one of these videos can ever become edited, they take way too long to edit because there's so much footage to go through. Fair enough. And I have to fix all the Dex's issues every <laughs> single time. Uh, yes, clearly they're they're just my issues. Yes, I'm glad you realized that. All right. <laughs> Fates Resolve Lucina, 40 HP, 43 attack, 47 speed, 31 defense, and 23 res. Boons and Oh, 47. Relatively what low the attack. Heck? The attack yeah, is definitely not the tame. highest. But Lucina at 184 BSD is a boo is a green axe cavalier uh, with both attack and speed super boons, right? With an HP yep. super bane. Makes sense. So the reason why I fumbled at 47 a bit more is because. Now we know, since yesterday, after the stream, uh, we check out the Fae Reddit, and we found out 47 is the highest speed in the game right now. So yep. she is tied for first. Right up there. Yeah, she is. 47 is, like, the standard to be super fast, and Lucina definitely peaks that by not only being 47, but having a super boon and being able to speed refine. Yep. So let's see if Severa can do the same. The Secret Dreamer, Severa, has 4 HP, 4 3 attack, 4 7 speed, 37 defense, and 24 res. I've never seen this before. So, <laughs> Severa trying to be Lucina is 193 BST. That'll Sword please infantry. all the shippers. Uh, uh, speed and... Wait, that's a ship? Probably. That is, it used to be a very popular ship, but not I as mean, much anymore. But Chad, if you have any pictures, videos. put into some oh. into Sanguine on our Discord. <laughs> Love to see some. <laughs> I didn't know that was a ship. What the heck? I've yeah, seen Severa ship a lot of characters. Like, they last do have support, so, yeah. It's probably and for a me, classic era ship, yeah. The classic era ship for Lucina is Spider-Man, so... I mean, yes. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, mm, I forgot about that, yes. That's, yeah, a real classic. And the classic anti is Peppa Pig, right? <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> oh lord. She uh, does have a Peppa Pig wiki page. I will never get over that. So, Severa has speed and res super boons, and attacking defense super veins. That's fine. She just needs speed. Yep. yep. So she can really get need. 51 at base, which is really, really nice. Immaculate. Um, yeah. It's as fast as you're going to get without Dragon Flowers on a 47 last gen. So, great. All right. Now we got Inigo, 40 HP, 44 attack, 45 speed, 34 defense, and 30 res. Inigo, at 193 BST Sword Infantry as well, has, what do you know, a speed super boon and HP super bane. Meaning he got he the super uh, boon he needed. Yep. Meaning he is Dragonflower's notwithstanding, tied with Lapis and Speed. 
I hate this guy. Why? What's the point of Lapis? Nobody even made her plus 10. Okay, well, um, <laughs> like one person made her plus 10. If you love Lapis, she's basically it's like a slightly unoptimized Inigo, which isn't bad, all things considered. It's literally, it's not like... No, it is know, bad. Five more, it, it's, yeah. How long ago did we get Lapis? Last generation, Let's see. technically. Uh, it was yeah, but a how much while time? ago by now, like four... Five months during ago? summer. It was July, I want to say. So that'd be okay. five months ago. At least five. No, months we're ago. not through December, dude. Well, we're not through. De okay, so four and a half months ago. In that case. Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to point out. In four and a half months, you basically released a better version of her. Now I get it. We have that BST bump, and somebody's gonna get power up like that. Yep. But this is rough because people were super happy about Lapis. People did try to make Lapises. Yeah. And. It it still works, it but does. It, it does. I mean, if you're going, let's put it this way. If you're a person who likes Lapis, I don't think this really changes anything. If you're yeah. a person who just wants the best possible God Sword demote, that sucks. I wanted the best possible cute God Sword demote, and now this sucks. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to some people who, 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 yeah, I'm going to raise some people who think Inigo's cute. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> the Shadow would not like you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, Lucidator, Laurent, has 39 HP, 46 attack, 30 speed, 24 defense, and 43 res. I pray for him, because... <laughs> well, I will say, Laurent at least got lucky in terms of his stats, because at 182 BSD, he got both attack and res super boons with HP speed defense. Uh, sorry, HP speed super banes. So, easy up, um, IVs, plus attack, plus res, you're done. Yes. The problem is, no easy weapon, unfortunately. Nope. You pick one... Or the other, and that's and literally you might as well it. Just keep his because it's the easier. Yeah, way it's do. slightly better. Laurent is the main reason that, well, I didn't want to do comparisons because we were going to waste our time. No yeah. one's going to build him. We can this guy is comparisons until we get an arcade. Hundred percent doomed. Until uh, arcade then, comes, then we can talk. It could I mean, happen someday. It maybe, could happen, but, but just be then, for Laurent. Yeah, which and, and Nime. Nime. And okay, I guess some who sure. somebody Nime uses, Nime. I suppose. Jeez. I don't know why she is as bad as she is. It will never stop bothering me. It's sad. Maybe right. post for fine. Now, if you guys were making a mage this time around, this is your guy. The Fell Architect yeah. Valdar with 42 HP, 46 attack, 17 speed, 35 defense, and 43 res. That incredible min-maxing. Insane <laughs> level of min-maxing. Valdar at 183 BST has speed super, speed res super banes. So, no super boons here. But, mm -hmm. the base is more, more than competent as it is. Yeah, he's slightly higher VST than uh, probably, I, I'd say most mages have 180. He has one more so, than Laurel, yeah. which mm -hmm. is part of why. So, not a big deal when you consider, yeah, the stats speak for themselves here. <laughs> Wait, did we get the stat uh, skills for him? Um, we did, I can post those, yeah. I oh, was actually they just looking for in. them. Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, Psst, da, 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 da. yeah, if you want to take care of that, so I don't yeah, I overlap with you. Okay. Um, I guess, for what it is worth, I'll just say Inigo has 4-star attack speed form and 5-star wrath. That's kind of huge. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. the, the best budget A slot for speedy units has just been brought to the game, so that's awesome. Uh, on the other hand, Validar has four star attack ploy and five <laughs> five star brash assault. <laughs> Why does it say four here? That's not no. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, it says brash assault four. That's so funny. <laughs> and then for Laurent, Q4 four star attack as ideal. So now that's in finally a four star main pool skill. Five star rouse. Okay. We'll start here. Um. All right, let's see this. Ooh. Sorry, chat. Give me a sec. Let me. We have all these nice screens, and I'm trying to use all of them. Where did I put it? <laughs> yeah, nothing else. I can already say this banner is going to be sweet for pr cheap fodder. Ooh. All right. Let's go over Valar's weapon, which is going to be the biggest thing, because it is a perf. Yep. So, Grimly Ill text. Res plus three. Oh my god, that's 
<laughs> he's already the best player then. There you go. Yep. <laughs> At start turn, inflicts defense res minus six, panic, and discord on foes in three rows or three columns center on unit with res less than units res through the next actions. Oh, and it's he's not... got ploy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's... Oh, so you just use it with ploy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Different statuses, but stack them. Jeez. And the big thing is it's it's not, it's just beats their res. So that's nice. At start combat, if units HP is over 25%, inflicts attack res minus six on foes during combat. You know, makes a guaranteed fall attack. That is. The... Yes. Mm -hmm. We knew that was going to happen, but like, I, I wanted that confirmation because that's what makes him amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that is what makes him consistent. You, you need the follow up or else you're not a very consistent unit. And boy, did they give it to him. Yeah, every one of actually just about all of them. No, the, all of them. All of the all the like evil mages that we have or, you know, villain mages from GHB we have. They all lack this, and this is the reason why they couldn't do very well. Hilda was the closest thing because she can one shot, but even then, that's not She's as consistent as. Double. Yeah. So, but this is I so mean, big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, those will get refined soon, so they're gonna start to finally catch up. Hint, hint yeah, to Iago, maybe. Thing. I don't know what he does, mm -hmm. we'll but see. that follow up is literally turning a gimmick mage into an actual unit, which is awesome. It needed to happen, and I'm so glad it does. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, unit makes a guaranteed fall attack, unit deals plus X damage, X equals total number of penalties. Oh god, he's gonna hit. Oh god, it, what's the point of Hilda? <laughs> <laughs> well, this it, excludes stat penalties, but any penalty status on he, foes he and foes within four two damage. spaces. <laughs> yeah, four damage for each status. So with his base weapon, he's getting eight extra damage per hit. Which but he also fun. has... Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. This is why you use ploy on him, so you get two yeah, more. <laughs> exactly. So you get 12 damage, or actually, no, 16 damage. If you go 16, Hilda doesn't really have advantage because yeah. you put in Discord and, and Panic. Like, that's such a bad position. He should be consistently hitting harder. Also, Exposure mm -hmm. is another penalty status, so he's actually dealing 26 extra true damage. <laughs> in effect. That's true. And also, his range is better than Hilda's. I think Hilda has something like a Menace range. It's a Menace. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, this is, first of all, easy to use because it is just ploy, but also that is a very hard thing to hit, avoid just in general. So, yeah. Ideally, yeah. attack speed ploy, whenever that comes out, would be really good on him to just omni debuff, but even still, like attack res ploy would still work. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't need the speed, so you could reasonably get away with it. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> So, uh, it's a feels bad for me chat with a plus 10 Hilda and everything. Yeah. Ooh. Dang. <laughs> ah. Hilda is more seductive than he is. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't marry Valtar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robin's mother would say otherwise. Well, for a little bit. And then she said bye. All right. Uh, sorry. What was the rest of his kid again? So for his four star skill, he has tack ploy and his five star skill is brash assault for some reason. OK, that doesn't matter. The, but yeah, I don't the know ploy what... he uses well, at least. The ploy is great pre fodder. Uh, yeah, pre fodder. He's guaranteed if you have your get yourself a. Shoot, Sonya. just came out Sonia, which I'm definitely going to do the moment he drops, even though there's no speed there. Whatever. Mm. It's a tech res ploy. I'll take it. Um. I don't know why they gave him Brash Assaults. <laughs> it's strange. Technically, if he gets below the 25%, he can still get an auto follow-up, but it's really silly. It's the dumbest whatever. But That's what I was actually... I think I was telling you that, Legion, right? That they it might just be an HP condition for his weapon, and the Brash yeah. Assault is like, hey, if you get below that. <laughs> cool. So I guess the only thing I can say that can go against Validar, he doesn't have damage reduction because mages lack that. But, yes, but he could always run something like yeah. Guard 4. He could run... Uh, yeah. I or would not hold here. that against him. It's just I not wouldn't either. normal. Yeah. I mean, let's... Actually, he's meant to be want... supportive. So. Yeah, he's a supportive, somewhat nuking kind of unit. And let's put it this way, if you run him with, like, uh, what now, Tempo 4, he could be really annoying to tank. Yeah, him. cutting through yeah. damage reduction and not being able to proc your specials on him could be really really annoying yeah what are you talking about i just think he's annoying <laughs> Fair enough. he will be annoying in general too yeah this is actually kind of meta viable like just straight up i think validar is gonna be 
viable. Oh yeah, okay. give him tempo four and still water and play four and he'll go somewhere. He doesn't even yeah. need still water really. You could just give him the HP defense res seal or HP attack res. Well, no, for his A slot. For his which... A seal. Well, yeah. I would still yeah. probably take other stuff for his A slot, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> boost four. Um, but <laughs> yep. yeah, I will definitely say this. Awakening really hits when it comes to GHBs. Can I just say that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like, mean, we had Wallhart with a really impactful or fine first time. And we had Aversa, who's been kind of, you know, always around in some way. And what else do we have? Cervantes, who, I mean, Vigard exists, but he was pretty neat. Um, you also have Yenfei. Oh, yeah. He Yenfei. worked for a while. Gangrel was... Gangrel was... Solid for a while, but he, he obviously fell off after a bit. Yeah, but no, I, it really is nice um, to see Awakening continue to hit. And GHBs in general continue to hit, because, man, GHBs are awesome these days. Okay, well, let's do some comparisons to show why he's All such right. a big hit. Uh, IMO, this was the best red mage you could make in terms of damage output prior to Valdar's release. Ooh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in the free-to-play pool, I would say so. Yeah, in the free-to-play pool. Well, with, in terms of like one-hit damage, because you can argue Zephyr hits harder overall. Cause it's yeah, hits, that's but... true. Yeah, more reliable doubling. But yeah, I definitely just the straight-up dominant status. I think Hilda wins out here. Uh, yeah. One out previously here. Mm -hmm. So let's do a comparison. 41 HP versus 42 HP. One point advantage for Valdar. 40 attacks, 46 attacks, six point six point advantage for Valdar. Yeah, oh, it's hard. Yeah. The attack yeah. gap these days is just really something. Oh my god, this is so ugly. Hilda has an eight speed advantage, which doesn't really matter because it's twenty five speed. But she loses in both defense and res. Twenty four defense versus thirty five defense. Eleven point advantage for Valdar and forty res versus forty three res. Three point advantage for Valdar. That's it's so min maxed. Terrible. Yeah, this is actually Hilda is like the epitome of. The low defense ish, low speed, high attack res, red mage. Yeah, and she's got the Reeve stat spread and Veld and then Iago and, and all Valdar that. Valdar crushes it. <laughs> he uh, is completely mm -hmm. breaking that archetype, which I think is awesome. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising that he's the guy who does it compared to some units who are really slow in their base games. But Valdar is, he's not fast, but he's also not incredibly slow either so yeah well chat voted five stars that makes perfect sense is a five star if yeah. i've ever seen one straight up uh yeah and this is insane um for some perspective on how good his stats are bulk wise you could go straight up to goto if you want that's true or goto or duo oh Yumi. shoot no it should be goto yeah mm -hmm. oh goto, we'll do goto and duel your mirror i think that's that's fine yeah, I was going to suggest following Man Morgan as an alternative because... Oh, I guess also, there's technically the commander. He's his grandson. All right, well, chat voted five stars, 64%. That That's very fair. <laughs> Highly recommended. You guys should build him. Absolutely. All right, here's Godo, who is the definition of min-maxed. And my goodness, does Valdar win this? 40 HP, it's 42 HP, 2 point match for Valdar. 42 attacks, 46 attack, 4 point match for Valdar. 14 speed, 17 speed, 3 point match for Valdar. 38 defense was 35 defense, 3 point match for Goto, but 42 res was 43 res, 1 point match for Valdar. Oh boy, that's crazy. It's yeah. not far apart at all. And He's he wins well. attack by a lot. Goto, of course, is an insane kit to complement it. He actually yeah, goes Goto's to Goto's just meant to tank. But everything. the fact that Valadar is arguably, I mean, Dragon Valadar Dragon, can but, tank too, which is the yeah, insane part. He can yeah. tank. And the stats are almost identical, if not better in most cases, which is kind of insane. Because this is a demote versus a mythic. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Goto's speed will increase with his Dragonflower. So if you make the Dragonflower argument, Valador actually isn't much faster. <laughs> yeah, so it's... wow. <laughs> his Goto's survivability is higher because of Brilliant Starlight. Yes. But outside of that... I mean, if you just get him some damage reduction, Valdar, some damage reduction through like Veil or well, any number of heroes, actually, yeah, he actually will be t tanking a hit. And at minimum, because his defense and res is so high, uh, you can leave him calm against dragons and not be too worried about it. Yeah, yeah. you watched the trailer, right? Huh? 
Did you watch the trailer? I just wanted to ask because I was going to mention something he about did. it. Yeah. Okay, you did. Lucina's then uh, Lucina's damage reduction buff could help him on player phase. Yeah, oh, okay. If you want, yeah, if you wanted to shoot, if you wanted to go that way, uh, you could also. Hey, Arena. Yeah, any number of like veil or flame if you need to. There's plenty of DR sources, and of course things like guard four can also provide something. So, I mean. Goto is the only one with guard for, ironically, but <laughs> yeah, DR isn't really something valid art can't use. And for the matter, Goto does not hit nearly as hard. Like, it's actually a dramatic gap in damage between these two. So. Wait, right. who was the other comparison? Oh, Ymir. Uh, Ymir yeah, yeah, Ymir. We're talking contemporary. All right, well, here's Ymir. 38 HP versus 42 HP, 4 point advantage for Valdar, 45 attacks, 46 attack, 1 point advantage for Valdar, 18 speed versus 17 speed, 1 point advantage for Ymir, 35 defense, 35 defense, match, 41 res, 43 res. <laughs> just what? He just wins in everything. Why is Valdar, everything. Why is Valdar so good? He's I... holding up so well. Wow. He loses in speed. That's so funny. His one loss. Okay, I mean, impressed. we waited all this time for Valdar, and he did not disappoint. Not at yeah, all. Yeah, in fact, he overperformed anything I had thought of. Yeah, wait. <laughs> the wait was worth it. <laughs> maybe th maybe that's why, no. <laughs> but maybe that's why they delay things, because if they released Valdar too soon, he would be the greatest hero in Fire Heroes. That's right. He was building his power. He was just waiting. He was just, he just hiding in the shadows. He wanted to see more normal. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> let's sum it up for Valdar. Uh, best debuffing per de best free-to-play debuffing perf weapon free yeah i would say so best yeah. free to play ploy hero Passively. free yes mm -hmm. that one i think is just a straight up yes best damaging mage free to play hero um as far as damage I, scaling as far as damage goes should yes, be he should probably. be probably because there's not a lot with? of let's put it this way most there's not a lot of fast mage demotes that have perfs yeah there's zephyr arcanes are not as good as this outside of slaying so that goes for all three of them so yeah i think you could just straight up argue as the best damage output if mm -hmm. not at least the best damage stability also my headset mm -hmm. died so i'm gonna be deaf for a couple seconds okay also best min maxing for a free-to-play hero i i've mm -hmm. frankly never seen better yeah <laughs> better. it's pretty incredible especially for a mage yeah min maxing is incredible i, I mean, thought limb stella was Fairly min max. Oh when, uh, shoot! Rest in peace, Limstella. Yeah, Limstella yeah. in the garbage can. <laughs> garbage can now. <laughs> yeah, Limstella had a half blade tome and anti follow up and big debuffs at the cost of the ship Allied damage. Ship. Yeah, but Valder yeah. laughs at all that. Yeah, Valder just completely dunks on them. So yeah, a little sad. Limstella has balance bulk thirty two thirty six. Valdar has literally. What now? Is that seven more res? <laughs> and still more defense? And that was the whole selling point of Limstella was having a defense stat. Okay. For reference's sake, uh -huh. Valadar has the fourth highest defense of all mages. Um, yeah, it's an out by um, New Year's Asker, Gatekeeper, and Goto. <laughs> That's it. Okay. The rest, there's a couple calves in there and armors like Robin and Valentine's Alphonse and Sophia. But yeah, he ties with New Year Alphonse just for perspective's sake. All right, well, chat. Also, wow. I think that Oof. sums it up for Valdar. Uh, amazing character, killed all the other free to play mages. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Wow. Th this is supposed to be the unit that has the defense debt. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm still yeah. losing in three defense and even one HP as well. Well. Jeez. Uh, highly recommended build fits in every sing single team fits in honestly even in, like competitive modes i would take him yeah, just, yeah. why would you not useful. if you're using a composition that runs a bunch of different types of penalty statuses already and they don't overlap with validar like for example mark um has sabotage and stall which are not overlapping validars whatsoever so if you run things like that with him i mean that's two mages but just hypothetical the damage the two is two different insane. color mages. That's fine. Yeah, two yeah, different color least, mages. They don't overlap that much. And of course, who doesn't want to inflict the foe with like eight different penalty statuses potentially? Yeah, if you run ploy on Valador and run those two other statuses. That Wait a sec. Gives, aren't you getting like some crazy damage per hit? Like over 30? Isn't he just basically marked then? 
uh, with different mm -hmm. statuses. Different statuses, but yeah, he, he has kind of the same idea, I guess. He doesn't have Mark has tempo slang, just to be clear. So yes, Mark so. does spam specials, I, I know that, but like, the fundamentals outside of that. Yep. There's some similarities for sure, yeah. Yeah, the, of course, Pretty the big, big thing ones. is all these units have different debuffs, which is cool, but yeah, functionally, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's painful. I love my mark, but geez, Sathosh stall versus Discord and Panic. Well, I mean that's not too bad of a gap between. I, I wouldn't even call it a gap. The gap between, between. Well, stall is the one that is very situational. Stall is all or nothing. Sabotage but... you can always work with. Yeah. Okay. No, this is still really good. Uh, he's. Yeah. It, uh, in my eyes, again, it's not the same statuses, but he's as close as it gets to a mark as a free play uh, yeah. hero. Yes. It's insane. That is Literally. True. And, of course, he doesn't have good specials, but he does have better damage on hit. Alright. So, yeah, if you want to use one of these archetype units of, like, ploy-based mega debuffers, Validar can do that in spades. Mm -hmm. To say nothing, of course, if you can get them in, like, Katria Ball Formation, and suddenly you have a unit with, what now, upwards of 80 to 90 attack in effect, hitting you twice, that's fun. <laughs> also, you would love Robin, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I think that's enough yeah. about Valdar. Let's move on to next hero. Uh, All right. Okay, I'll make an exception for this. We'll do one extra. We're just skipping Laurent okay. tonight. Because, that's totally uh, fair. Those. He probably compares the best in Mime, but yeah. Yeah. Severa and Indigo would come up with a lot of the same solutions. Um, hmm, whatever, I'll just do it. I mean, talking about it takes some time. Yeah, there's, there's one, one we'll just, comparison we have we'll, to do. Yeah, we'll we'll just do the most obvious one first. Let's start with Lapis for Indigo because, well, Lapis everyone was happy about when she released. Yep. And. Unfortunately, remember the post? There was a guy going for plus 10 Lapis and he made like two plus 10 Diamonds and oh, he still yeah. didn't oh, make a plus bad. 10 Lapis. That was Oof. a bad situation. It was insane. But this is like people legitimately really liked her and really wanted her. And at the time, she was by far the best user of Fallen Crumbs. Yeah, What's it called again? Yep. Arcane Devourer. And uh, let's go over this right now. So Inigo has one less HP, three more attack, same speed. Five more defense and two less res. But let's be frank, I would rather take five more defense than two uh, more res. Yeah, that defense comes in really nice. And honestly, even having 30 res, it's weird because if you think about it, he has more res than somebody like Vigard. But <laughs> funnily is, enough. But yeah, nonetheless, better min maxed, better attack because of the BST. And for what it's worth, Null Blade is actually decent. So, did we go yeah. over what Null Blade does? It's Petal Fall. Yes, like I predicted, which I feel good about. I'm glad you have meaning in your life now. Chat, who yeah, do you I think we should rec uh, compare in terms of like a top tier god sword him? A top, so yeah. top tier god sword. Well, I guess, I guess Summer so. Fjorm. There's a whole bunch of options if you want to chat. Yeah, Fjorm is Fjorm, obligatory. Fjorm, Fjorm. Violet Lucia. Oh yeah, Lucia. Oh yeah, Lucia. Well, here's Fjorm first. 43 HP versus 40 HP, 3 point advantage for Fjorm, 43 attack, 44 attack, 1 point for Inigo, 46 speed, 45 speed, 1 point advantage for Fjorm. They have the same offensive stat line. Alright. Yep, uh, some. Some. Spread. Uh, well, not spread. Whatever. Uh, 28 defense, 34 defense, 6 point advantage for Inigo, 28 res, 30 res. What? 2 point advantage for Inigo. I know he's a generation ahead, but he wins on defense and res. Yep. Okay. I mean, it's not like he will ever do better than Fjorm, period, but the fact that he holds up this nice stat-wise is pretty cool. Okay, uh, how about we go to an important one? Is Lucia dead yet? Uh, she is struggling yeah, no. more. <laughs> I don't see her as much, but you I don't see her as much, nearly yeah. as much, yep. You it's have to give her Gambit, and dead. you really need Gambit to support her. Yeah. But still could be an unwinnable situation for people. It's just hard to use. I yeah. mean, isn't this technically just comparing Lapis? Because don't they have the same stats yes, except for, just just, except for one HP? Well, it's just to point it out. But yeah, okay. So this one's real quick as well. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because if Lucia doesn't outspeed you, she doesn't win. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if a Demote Godsword can do that, well, cool. 
<laughs> um, I do feel like it's obligatory to bring in Laszlo at some point, just for the... Okay. okay. I, well, here's Byleth. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to say, a certain person, who I won't name in this segment, said that Laszlo is still, uh, by a good mile, I believe was the quote, the best in ego alt we have in the game, base Laszlo. You know where that's going. Yeah. Well, uh, shouts yeah. to crazy people. Stay yeah. crazy. All right. Yeah. Well, this one is pretty clear too. Same HP, same attack. Two more speed for Byleth. Two more defense for Inigo. Five more res for Inigo. Oh God, that's so stupidly <laughs> good. He literally just took the BST and threw it in res. Yep. And fair enough. Finally, we're doing Laszlo. They're both demotes. Okay. Well. Destroyed. What? What are we arguing about? Even if you give him all his flowers, it's to argue you don't build this unit. Can for you speed. compare him to Lazlo just for the funnies in honor don't of that incident? Stop. Line? Okay, so I I made him plus. Oh, sorry, plus nine, plus ten now. If you go plus ten, Lazlo gets in a go. You have fifteen more <laughs> HP, which is great, but that's not that useful. But you only have two more attack, eight less speed six more defense and two more res if you have a maxed out laszlo that's what you get over a base i'm so glad he got his yeah. base form that's pretty sad you better take that six defense and two attack advantage to the bank because it's all you basically got all you got literally all you get and i guess a 19 my brave sword that's Hooray. depressing oh, you even get plus three defense for your trouble wow Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Nope. Well, we'll move on Stay now. Down. Yeah. Now, this is the god sword I, I'm really interested in. Severa, 42 HP, 43 attack. Why am I going over the stats again? I can't wait for his refine in 2028. So here's your peak speed. If we make it to 2028, chat. If we make it. So, why? Why are you guys talking about so far in the future? So we like have like about that stuff about yeah, some, far out refines and all okay. that. Can we get to 2025 first? Yeah, look, can we just get <laughs> well, yeah, to 2025 just first? About four. Can we start with four? <laughs> oh, yeah, 2024. Why'd you say 2025? Uh, GTA 6, anyway. Oh, oh. okay. No. Fair wow, that's so lame. Dude, th this this is what I mean. Come on, <laughs> oh, no. stop measuring our life by video games as stupid characters in a gotcha game. Come on. I just, I just, well, I was gonna, I was gonna mention about, GTA you know? when we talked about Lucia because now Lucia actually has a new meaning to millions of people. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. Well, this is gonna go fast because we're just comparing the god god swords. Yep. Which are the best of the best. So, so once I again, mean... Fjorm. Yep. Oh boy. So real quick, Fjorm has one more HP. Severa has one more speed. They have both the same attack. Severa has nine more defense at the cost of four res versus Fjorm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So let's uh point this out right now. Fjorm or Severa. Who's better? I still think it's Bjorn. Hmm. I... Uh... I mean, the thing about Severa that I like is that she completely ignores DR. And that, yeah. I mean, obviously not nice. on every hit, but on the most important hit. And that counts for a lot when DR is running around everywhere these days. You find it yeah. on melee units, you find it on ranged units. You find it's literally just any unit worth their salt who's attacking into you will likely have some DR, unless you just bowl them over, in which case, it doesn't matter. Okay. But, so, I don't know. So, here, first off, if you were... The most common DR that's actually noteworthy is dodge. So, if Severa has to pierce that, it's already a problem. Second, most DR is in the range of, like, 30%, so it's, it's something you can overcome. And third, uh, I guess this is the most important... Do you really need your god sword to be killing the mo like straight up killing or do you need them to be able to survive because uh, yeah those are part yeah. of that what Severa is trying to do because she does have guard and she has some of the tools that you need in order to she does have stuff in and she does have up, tools so i mean big thing of course is stat scaling she gets effectively up to nine extra attack and speed um through her weapon than a standard plus five all or nine to everything i should say well yeah nine to everything yep. which is nice but it also does depend on your foe's attack um 
furthermore, if it other than the guard, it's just DR piercing um, spiral. Even as I am, so I can be compare that to that Fjorm, right? She has sand scaling up Savera herself, can actually stand which is more up to wind claw, she has which she gives a crap ton of value. Um, yeah, distant counter, damage reflection, so her damage could actually be better. Uh, ironically, furthermore, she has multiple types of damage reduction, so it's hard to break it. And, uh, what, I think I mentioned the Nulsi. I think that's one other thing about Fjorm that I'm forgetting, but when you really stack it all together, the boons that Severa has just aren't enough to change the Godsword meta. I would still say Fjorm is generally better in terms of a, in terms of a Godsword, but I like um what Severa brings to the table I, like I think that, yeah and I think that she does uh what Felix was doing but better because Felix needed Felix to think is actually losing yeah what? well I think because you can is, Felix is in a graveyard right now yeah, yeah Felix yeah. actually just got stomped it's kind of yeah tragic. buffer four kind of just trampled him I mean he has bulwark yay <laughs> um yeah Felix is out sorry but if you need an offensive godsword, this is now the way to go, but, I mean, let's be honest, we all use godswords to tank, and Severa doesn't do that poorly, doesn't do that as well. So, okay, so yeah. here's what I see. I think I'm seeing a side grade yeah. in, in the in the respect that fair. you're giving up the distant counter that Fjorm has to be slightly better up close, is what I see. Yeah, well, she does have a lot more defense as well. Yeah, right. that part's nice. That makes her a physical godsword, basically physically oriented. You're not incentivized to run <laughs> you know, the DC stuff. How many times am I going to have to say, Diamant, how are you looking over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, to sum it up, I think Severa is going to do better against other physical heroes, other godswords. Fjorm yeah. does better overall because range oh. units. Because as soon as Severa tries to go DC, she's going to give up all her advantages and it's not going to matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she can use Prime, but you have yeah, to buff her up Prime, too much. But it's, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, good luck doing that. I'll just Yo, say this that. does it so much easier. She doesn't need to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, you lose finish healing, which is, so, you know, the point. Yeah. Frostbite Mirror does give things up on Gallic Reflexes, but it gets it all back with this encounter. So that's basically yeah. what it comes down to. Also, it's easier to use. It's too cool down. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well, not that it matters for Severa, but yeah. No, but it's still nice. Yeah. Um, and yeah. remember, her weapon does have the option. If you, for whatever reason, don't like Godlike, you can switch it off because she is anti-DR whether you yeah, use it or cool. not. I do like that they did that. It, it doesn't pigeonhole her into one build. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I think but, you um, can go yeah. vital. Okay. Well, that said, we'll move on. Um, Byleth. Oh boy. Byleth obviously. Oh, no. Yeah, Byleth is. Wow. Mid -maxed. Byleth only has one Byleth attack advantage and one press advantage and loses out on everything else. Yep. Mm -hmm. Five defense and two HP. Yeah. That's. I mean, a big thing to note about Fallen Fema Byleth, and this is where her meta relevance is questionable and I, I, questionable in the sense of long term she doesn't have stat scaling she has buff immunity not stat scaling like severa like fjorm so the gaps can only get larger from here especially when you consider the 25 percent of foes visible attack if they have 60 attack that's um uh, minus four so it'd be 30 15 11. that's pretty easy to get and that's six more than what byleth gets mm -hmm. To all stats. This is true. No, Byleth has dull all in her weapon. Yes, it, it does help, but like I said, six dull stats, that's the equivalent of dull yeah, all. No, it's absolutely. Easy yeah, absolutely. So there's someone is definitely better. who uses Byleth a lot, she does fail to speed check sometimes. Like, she needs help. Yeah, yeah. I've encountered that at times. I use her in light <clears throat> season. So uh, I'm glad she does, yeah. otherwise she's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the, yeah. if they gave her stat scaling on top of everything else she does, she would be she would basically just else. be weak to only fire sweep, and even then, null C oh. four. All right, Disgusting I think this unit. one's pretty pretty clear cut. Okay, we'll go on to an, another one, Tamara, because I think okay. that's the closest similarity to to this point. Sort of, sort yeah. of. Uh, it's a stretch, of course, chat, but Tamara. Have, has anyone seen Tamara? Where's, where's Tamara, chat? Where's Tamara? 
I have, I have seen, I have seen uh, like one arena. Couple? Yeah, not many. Um, I've seen more Anas than Tamaras. I, I guess all engaged fans yeah. are just casuals because they're, <laughs> they're not showing up the high end. That I've been seeing a lot right. of Ana in high end actually, and I hate my life because I just can't double her. But okay, Tamara not as much, which is a bit of a shame because that pulse stuff is uh, actually really good. Yeah, but yeah, it, she's a very odd unit, very unique but odd. Well, Tamara um, loses on five on HP, two on attack, one on speed, one on res. She only wins on nine on defense. That's which I guess is the point. Which is fine because she scales off defense, but still, that's that's a uh, that's a pretty big one. Yeah, I mean that's what you get from being forty six defense god lance. You gotta sacrifice some stuff. All right, uh, so we're going quick into the last comparison. I think it's Robin. Mhm, mm that's fair. Selena, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we still don't have Resplendent Selena. That's the part that gets to me. Yeah, I'm waiting for that, especially. The, oh, God. And the I worst part is her. that Sephira basically is Selena's design. Like it's even closer than Laszlo versus Anigo. But it, this art is just so much better. It's oh, so it is. Better. You're right. Well. Okay, real quick, Robin, 40 HP versus 42 HP, 2 point advantage for Severa, 46 attack versus 43 attack, 3 point advantage for Robin, 45 speed, 47 speed, 2 point advantage for Severa, 35 defense, 37 defense, 2 point advantage for Severa, and then 27 res, 24 res, 3 point advantage for Robin. Who you got? Hmm. Uh, I would generally take Robin just Robin. because you can slot him into like any team and he can help out a lot. So the funny thing to note here is they both DR peers on special. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I was going to mention that. It's a pretty. Pretty fun uh, little yeah. tech option. Yeah. Well, I put and it up I mean, for voting to know. It's between Fjorm, Bylev, Felix, Robin, and Severa. Oh, shoot. We'll show Felix at the end of this, but. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be biased. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking Bylev only because that's a favorite. Fair I'm enough. taking Robin because you can slot him onto like any team and it yeah, might be out so much. I, I have to give yeah. him Robin. Rally Spectrum yeah. is one of the best things ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it can't be neutralized by anything except, you know, the Thor. neutralizing mm -hmm. bonuses stuff. Yeah, Thor. So this yeah, is getting awkward. Yeah, go ahead. The, the special charges he gives is very relevant right now. Yes. Big time. Big time. So this is kind of getting awkward because where would she where would she go? She seems so, so good. And she, she is does. so, so good. Yeah. But somehow we have so many god swords that are somehow different enough that this is actually something you have to think about. <laughs> the god sword yep. meta is one of the most intriguing ones because it is so diverse and, and plentiful at the same time. It's more There's diverse so than it's given credit for. Oftentimes people say, oh, all god swords exactly the same. You just copy paste the build. But. This goes that to show stop that being that stopped being case six months ago. Yeah, but only no, six months yeah. ago. Prior yeah, to that, exactly. I yeah, wouldn't argue against it. It got that's a little true. spammy, but no, God Swords have really been all about flavor. Um, we're in Flavor Town now, uh, right here. So the the big thing, of course, is what kind of place I want, and a God Sword will probably be able to suit it. Not all of them, only a few, but that's the nice thing. You mm -hmm. basically have the pick of whatever you want to do. Paul and Fima Bible for Fiorm for super tanking. Uh, <laughs> Felix. Or Severa for, like, godlike tanking. Severa, Robin for offense. Uh, Lucia for consistency. Alir for support. Robin for support. You you really just have. And Brave Marth, I will give it to him for vantage. So, you really just have all these different options. And as a result, it really is hard to say where I would put Severa in relevance to all of them. She's outside of top three. I, 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 I the think more so. I think about it, I, yeah. I, I think she's in well, top What do you think is top so three? Because uh, we know Fjorm is probably still number one. So I can't put well, Robin out. He's kind of like tier Robin's, zero yeah. because base, yeah. unless you need strictly a god sword based on team, he's almost always better to have in your team than anyone else. But yeah. on a, in terms of a pure carry, I'd probably take Fjorm because at range, she's so good. And I wouldn't be worried, too worried about her going up against other god swords. Yep. So in terms of a pure carry, I think I go 
Fjorm. In terms of Fjorm, yeah. overall, I go Robin. Yep. And then you can make an argument anywhere from... Probably between Byleth and Severa. Am I Byleth and Severa? Uh... Well, who else would be... I, I Just trying to think. Who would be beating elsewise? Because it's not Fjorm. You know what? She might be in the top three if you consider her better than Byleth. But I'm thinking about it and like... It's... Byleth? I still think I take Byleth because... If you don't beat Violet's speed check, you just lose in many cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she folds your hand. Like, yeah. if you, she literally will just win, period. Yeah, you just cannot beat Divine Pulse's insane damage reduction. Like, if you give... But the thing is, you have to support her. You need to figure out where to get Null follow up. You need to figure out how to get her speed up. But if you can do that... Don't think you don't really even think about win. anything. You just get her inside the battle and you win. Literally. And they can't even get past her because she has Lunate Bulwark. So it's like, what are you supposed to do then? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, Severa is very good all-rounder, in a sense, because she has solid bulk, but then she also has insane damage secure. So, if especially considering that she is more independent in terms of stats, she's probably easier to use. But... I think I still have to put Byleth third, if only because she is a game ender. Yeah, Single I agree with that. But close fourth, I'd say, for Severa. Um, I still have Lucia really high, but... Lucia, I would put Lucia yeah. a little lower because of just how much you need in order to reach yeah, She's like Byleth, today. but that is while true. she shuts down, she shuts down more, but she's also so much harder to maintain, which is with saying... With every something. God Sword release... I bump her down by one because all these new god swords realistically if you have the same supports which you should if we're talking about high end mm -hmm. uh, high end competitive modes she should lose those fights because those new heroes have much more many more advantages in terms of bst and their skills just do way more yeah i mean let's put it this way right J just to be clear the only things that are seriously noteworthy on queen's blade for lucia are preventing specials the impenetrable dark no defensive terrain which doesn't even matter most of the time and no ally support effects that's it those are the only things that are noteworthy and most of those outside of the specials don't even matter much yeah because if she can't outscale outscale the speed stats she's gonna lose and then it really doesn't matter right i mean Severa, for example since she has dr pierce she can probably Mollywop Lucia. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's fair. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do the last one being. Uh, just to see how far we've come. Oh my goodness. Well, chat, uh, artwork, it's pretty clear who's better. Oh, oh, I still Zaza. hate this so much. Yeah, Zaza, like please. This. I'm so glad you haven't come back after Emerin. Please stay that way. Wow. I, Cancel Dex you, chat. He wants this man. Yeah. He wants Zaza to lose his job. <laughs> Zaza, you should have a healthy, happy, lovely career in art, but just not in Faye, please. Okay, well, this is pretty evident. Uh, five point advantage on HP for Severa. <laughs> 18, what? 18 more attack advantage for Severa. 12 point advantage on speed for Severa, 5 point defensive advantage for Severa, and then 4 more res for Selena. Congratulations. But this is this is stupidly rough. Because this is just painful. we're talking yeah. about at complete maximum, she would still lose by 8 attack, 1 speed, uh, but she would win by 6 defense and 14 res. But honestly, that's not good enough. Not, not, not at all. I, for what it's worth, she definitely went from being a mixed tank, which is the dumbest thing I think any gods... Uh, why is she like that? To full defense? Mm. Good! <laughs> this is all I'm going to say to that. Good. She should have gone that way from the beginning. But, I mean, I will say this much. It is funny because they both have weapons that kind of rely on foe's attack. Except it was originally... If the foe's attack is better than yours. Then you gain stats and, what was it, true damage on special trigger. Which is the dumbest thing. Why are we doing that? Because <laughs> you're a terrible unit. That's, oh my goodness. Yeah, That's a Gen so, 1 refine for you. And honestly, it wasn't that bad for back then. But yeah. It wasn't, but 
yeah, needless to say, there is a zero reason to even look at Selena. And I mean that literally. Just <laughs> don't. Pick up a Severa right. if you really want to. Yeah. Next hero, Fates Resolve Lucina, 40 HP, 43 attack, 47 speed, 31 defense, 23 res. Uh, a stat line like that is untouchable in this in the world of Axe Cavs. <laughs> Axe Cavs, he's straight up. Like, that is a low competition class. Just in general, but especially for speed. There's only one unit that actually has the same speed. And then it goes down by five, and that's Spring Carla. Okay, we'll go Carla first. Yeah, for Carla. reference, mm -hmm. every other Axe Cav is 42 speed or less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Axe Cavs are historically a pretty slow type. Okay, well, we have the Spring Reveries Carla. 40 HP, 40 HP, match. 45 attack, 43 attack, 2 point match for Carla. 47 speed, 47 speed, match. 24 defense, 31 defense, 7 point match for Lucia. Lucina, 22 res versus 23 res, 1 point advantage for Lucina. So, Carla, Carla has wins. two more so hmm? two more attack, and she should nuke better. Yeah, well, she definitely nukes better. She has a DR piercing, Pavis canceling special that also takes her speed stat and scales it into that. If you run an AoE, she is, what now, 70% of her speed turns into the AoE damage? <laughs> so she's, she's a really good AoE nuke. Yes. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Because yeah. that's all she yes. does. <laughs> she's right. extremely hard to tank, but that's it. Yeah. But this is the why. Uh, so, okay, between the two, who would you rather use, though? I would uh, rather use Lucina, I think. Lucina, because can, generally? She's easier to fit on a team. The thing and with she Carla, has a lot of good synergy, I think. Uh, so, I will say this much. Um, Carla, if you don't kill whatever you're trying to attack into, she's useless. Which happens. And, which mm -hmm. happens. I've had a brave Dimitri take like 10 damage from her. It was <laughs> one of the worst days of my life. Um, yeah, so if Carla can't do that, that's all she can't. That's all she's trying to do. Lucida, she doesn't hurt as much. But man, she first of all, she still hurts because of treachery, but she is so much better rounded. Um, and of course, you can't give him plus one movement, Carla, so you don't even have like a movement um, justification like you would with Ira. Mm. So, yeah, especially when you consider the extra momentum you gain off the swap, which doesn't self isolate, by the way, um, and is actually pretty nice in summoner duels for turn wasting or whatever. Yeah, I think Lucina is a lot easier to justify. Carla has a niche, but I think Lucina is just better rounded. Yeah, guarantee value on her. Yep. I think I have to. I lean to Lucina. It's close, but I lean to Lucina. It's close. It's close. Right, I agree but, with that. Yeah. Okay, let's do Fel Exalt because uh, they're not like the same story. class, but this is the same idea in a lot of senses. So both rearmed, both have a snag. Both get an extra positional skill in their uh, a special positional skill in their assist. So both 41 HP, clash. both at clash. 41 HP versus 40 HP. One point match for Chrom. 45 attack, 43 attack. Two point match for Chrom. 46 speed, 47 speed. One point match for Lucina. 29 defense, 31 defense. Two point match for Lucina, and then 18 res, 23 res. Five point match for Lucina. Well, look at that. Chrom has the better offenses. Ah, uh, who would you guys take out of two? I know they're I different take, classes, but I, I honestly that. would take Lucina. I value. I think her support is much more valuable than the sabotage that Krom inflicts. Uh, they both inflict sabotage. It's exposure. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, but um, I think that the extra stuff, including the treachery and the DR, and basically the she feels like she has a lot more going on than Krom does. Krom feels like you oh. just swap or you sorry you reposition and then he debuffs and that's that's pretty much it he's not buffing anything no and it's pretty straightforward but he does a lot more with the debuffs involved as far as like damage output i mean so as, far as damage but that's about it let me pull back up rickinson king crom so fate unchanged first of all keep in mind it's a reposition so that's a matter of flavor already um, but it inflicts exposure as well as ice, uh, sorry, not isolation. Exposure, not only on the target, but also on Savior. So, lots of true damage on Krom, better momentum, potential with reposition. Of course, for Krom himself, 
He has 40% first hit damage reduction and breath, as opposed to Lucina, who has full tempo and stat scaling. So, they both have no follow-up. It's, I... I don't know which one I prefer, actually. Tempo's really nice, I have to say. Tempo is yeah, really Lucina nice. also gets free debuffs. Like, you, they'll literally hit anyone on the map. They're global. Yeah, she also gets the straight-up debuff. It is actually kind of funny. We'll have to see. I, I'll just say this right now. We might have to see this, but I think Arcanes might be power creeping themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they have, they have. They've been getting better over time. I mean, we started with a Luthner and that. You know, was humble beginning. Oh yeah, but I think that specifically now that they're getting stat scaling between uh, Ganunga Gap and Lucina, I think that's actually mm -hmm. kind of starting to happen just in general. Yep. Well, that is true. I think. But uh, I think it might be Lucina, especially since Krom. You need to give him alarm because they kind of mm, forgot yeah. that. But it's not by much, and Krom is definitely more scary to tank because of the. Straight up true damage that doesn't require any penalties. Status, yeah, Krom's right? not invalidated by this. No, but I do prefer Lucina. Hold yeah. up, uh, before chat forgets, uh, while you can argue reposition better than swap, there's no um isolation here, yep. so yeah, this could be better. Period, anyways. Yeah, it depends on what you're trying to do. There's yeah, a reason a dancer, why you can really make it work. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why Krom versus Lucina has always kind of been a point of discussion because. People always go back and forth on which one's better. The self-isolating reposition or the straight up swap with a refresh. It kind of goes back and forth because, you know, repo is better, but not isolating yourself is great. <laughs> right. Okay, so I just went over the list of Axe Heroes in the entire game. She has one competitor and one competitor only. And so if she beats this, then she's the best offensive Axe Hero in the game. And I think I you guys know who it is. Yep. Oh boy. Uh, it's Anna versus Lucina. Wait. Oh shit. Who else is there? <laughs> as far as straight up, I was drawing a blank. Goes, I don't think there is anybody. Oh yeah, there's there's no comparison. Dimitri, I guess, but that's about it. That's a pretty old one. That's a stretch. Uh, so twice Anna, Anna versus uh, Fates Resolve Lucina. This is the for the axe matchup. And Anna, for those who forgot, should be moving three spaces. So, yeah, Lucina should still outmove her, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so, 40 HP versus 4 HP match. 44 attacks, 43 attack, one point match for Anna. 47 speed, 47 speed match. 31 defense, 31 defense match. 27 res, 23 res, four point match for Anna. So, all wow. her stat advantages just went into essentially res and one attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's actually pretty comparable. Um, for those who forget what Anna does, I don't blame you. Uh, she gets no follow-up and Hexblade, um, based on the number of allies within two spaces. She gets, um, five to all stats, stat scaling off foe's attack, um, up to ten. So, twice what a foe penalty doubler can do, or, like, just under twice. Um, also gets DR having, and through her... Harmonic skill. First of all, she's a great Gambit user and she comes with Prime. Through her Harmonic skill, she also gets 99 healing and 5 cooldown to herself um, for her own Selfish Combat. Plus uh, Resonance Shields. And yeah. You sure you're not missing anything? She seems to do everything. <laughs> and Resonant Blades. Oh, and Resonant Blades. And Resonant Blades. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gonna say. Yeah, so this unit just does uh, so much. For all intents and purposes, this is an adaptive damage, full no follow up axe flyer that has DR having, uh, full resonance, and self charged prime with gambit <laughs> off of five cooldown because it's a miracle loop. Awesome! <laughs> I, I don't want to pick between the two. I've just thought about it. They're. This is Anna, <laughs> Yeah, Anna's one of the most ridiculous heroes in the entire game. And Lucina's just so good in everything. So, yeah. I don't really I mean, know. <laughs> let's put it this way. Lucina probably hits harder because of dumb, um, pressuring damage. Plus, she has... Um, oh, doesn't Anna also have Kanto? Yeah, yes, Kanto 2. Kanto 2. As if I, did for I I knew I forgot something. Come on with this unit. She has um, also has a very realistic prime. She just needs if she has like echo, uh, the X slot, 
she'd be done yep. by it herself. Oh yeah. That's that's the other part about Anna. She's very yeah. easy to set up. That's why uh, I really can't pick because <laughs> she's so complete. She is. And I mean, for, again, for what it's worth, Lucina has more mobility options. Yes. She has uh, insane stat support, not only to her uh, debuffs, but to herself through buff statuses. Um, plus, of course, the fact that she has tempo slang. But yeah, it's hard to say between these two. They're both ridiculously good. So it One looks like harder to kill. So mm -hmm. I guess that might be something. It looks like the best axe hero in the game is between two awakening characters. That's all I took out of this. Well, technically engage, but yes, also technically <laughs> awakening. You definitely yeah, been that's... spooked by Anna before. Yeah. Uh, when the Anna comes into your comes like she just charges straight into your team, and you're like, okay, I'm cool. going to beat her up, and I'm going to win this game, and then you realize I can't beat her up. Oh well, I guess I I'll had... lose. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's over. Great. I think I had one instance where I was able to kill the Anna, but by then the damage had already been done. I, I had to break the miracle and then kill her twice. Cool. I legit lost three out of the four matches in my SD run one time when she came out because of her, because she wouldn't die. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> yeah, cool. Have this unit with 70, 80, 90, 100 I, speed and a miracle and a follow up. Also 50% damage reduction. I believe cool. that was SDR as well, so. Yeah, that's about right. All right, chat. Well, rate Lucina, and I guess this comes down to it. Ah, I, I want to give you guys a definitive answer, but I can't. They're, they're I can't either. Both way too good, and their roles are kind of different, so. Yeah, yeah. Lucina's more support-ish orientated, but she can still do battle really well. Yeah. yeah it looks like she's supposed to smack, like, savior units. That's what it looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, she has this I, I think help overall, out. Anna's the better unit, like especially SD wise. I think she just fits the mode better. Certainly. But everywhere else, it can go either way. It definitely can go either way. Yeah, if you I got one think... copy, that Lucina is yeah. much more valuable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'll definitely say, if you give her breath support, she is one of the best Gale Forcers, which oh, is yeah. kind of sick. Free. Um. Yeah, I think I give it to Anna by a slight margin, but yeah, very slight. For the same this reason wow. why I have Robin ahead, but Anna's so dominant. I don't know. I, I this is this is too close for me to vote. But all right, I think yeah. this is fair. You guys voted her as a five star. She's absolutely a five star. Uh, there's no no question to ask about it. Since we brought up an axe and a sword, we could bring up Brave Crom. Oh. Why? He's so dead at this point. <laughs> just just a little pain. Uh, I just gotta make sure. Casey, are you here? <laughs> Damn, what's his name? Faded Honor? Yeah. Faded Honor, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna bring this up. We hyped this man up so much. Yep. Did he deserve the hype? Heck yeah, he deserved the hype. Yeah, for sure. But we're Fire Emblem Heroes players. We don't read, we don't have any imagination, so it doesn't matter. This unit is one of the most complicated units to use in the game. And the stats do not start out enough. Yep. Not fast enough, doesn't naturally have Kanto, and that's all the things that you need to know about holding, holding him back. And so the new Lucina has one more attack, five more speed, six less res, but six more, sorry, six more res, but six less defense. And one less HP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the thing that sucks. Late 2022, we still had units in the 42 range speed be fast, but then they decided to just jump it to 47 out of nowhere. So Krom is technically from last gen, and that and yet because of that min-maxing difference, it just went into his defense for some reason. So, L yikes. Listen, I, li I believe in his potential, but I'm always about practicality. Yep. I don't care of what can happen. If it never happens. Exactly. So, I mean, so like, I've never seen it happen, so it doesn't matter. For example, if you give him, what do you know? If you give him uh, Halloween Anna support, a plus one movement and I'll follow up a hex blade lance cav that's getting stat scaling off all of that is pretty cool. But you have to be very like careful about what you give him. You also have to keep in mind that you're running at a disadvantage because problem is just a slaying breath 40% percent damage reduction calf 
The rest is all buff statuses. Cool concept, really hard to use. So, compare that to Lucina, who just does most things already on her own. Yeah, it's pretty clear who's easier to use. All right, we'll move on. But yeah, I think she's better than Dad just because usability. Yep. Yeah. At least the alive one. All right. Rat Ratata Tosker. Oh my god, I hate Ratatosker. this name. Ratatosker. Ratatosker, the mending hand with 40 HP, 44 attack, 46 speed, 34 defense, 21 res. How about we go through this discussion first? Best free to play, like, anything? book character that we've gotten. Oh. Or maybe just anything, because when you go over her kit, she lacks damage reduction, reduction, and that's it. She has mm -hmm. literally. It she even has else. damage. She even got damage, which, by the way, Beast Agility 4 is awesome. In terms that of the free units we got, wow. it's either her or Peony. Yeah, Peony is like, let, let's be honest, as much as we kind of just accept Peony exists, there is yes. a world where she doesn't, and that is a much worse world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think is Peony so is still the most impactful free book OC to this day, and I doubt that'll ever change unless How we get another dance. Ever. Refreshers. As good as a refresher yeah. is, you still get the core functioning of a refresher from another refresher. That is true. But in terms or, of anti warp. I like a mythic refresher. And, yeah, yeah. In terms it, of anti warp, how you're going to get that. And even if you argue Gatekeeper to me, I will argue this back. Gatekeeper sits around. Ratosker is not sitting around. She's yep. dominant. She's scary. She's yeah, she is mm -hmm. actually good in combat. I will say this much, you can't really... This is one thing that I've been thinking about a little while ago. You can't use her very well with Corrin. <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah, uh, the field will override Corrin. each other. But she's not yeah. supposed to. She's supposed to be in, use, in a Gale Force team, man. That's so good. She can just retreat, and then you can't, can't get chased off. very easily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. As long as you keep in mind, you can't really do HP-based Gale Force with her because she heals herself and outlies. Yeah, you can't womp force it, but uh, who cares? There's so Sorry, many other ways to do it. I need to interrupt this. I just read something really weird. Acaridid says, I still use Brave Crom and Aether is a shadow offense. Aether is a shadow? Oh. And then he ignore says, ignore there's a shadow. shadow. Why'd you write the shadow then? What the <laughs> heck is, what is on your mind? <laughs> Probably that yeah. Laszlo. Come what? On, <laughs> That's so weird. I, I, I misspoke, but to type entire word, but not just the word, a name, that's... That is an impressive that, Freudian slip. Yeah, that's that's a huge slip up. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah, but going back to this, uh, yeah, very impressive character. That stat spread is immaculate. We needed this. We badly needed this. I think Shez exactly. was good in a lot of situations until you fight the true god swords, then he wasn't good. He wasn't good enough. He couldn't do his thing. He didn't kill them, and then he died. Rat yeah, Tosker, wait, though. Summer Mail Sorry. Summer Mail right. In terms oh. of free to play heroes, we got that can handle god swords. Yeah. Yeah. He can't speed scale. So, great arena unit, at least. But yeah, I agree. But Rat Tosker, that's her job. And yep. this is why our first comparison's Eater, because that was her job. And I think Rat Tosker does pretty well. Actually, really well. Exceptionally well. Actually. Did we just get Eater for free? <laughs> Kinda, yeah, actually. Same HP, so, same attack, same speed, one more defense in Ratosker, and five more res. That's, that's crazy. Kind of funny. Yeah, that's... Wow, but we did literally just get Eater. That's that's hilarious. For what it is worth, so... For those who forget how Eater works, and don't worry, I do too sometimes. Um, she has... What, what was it now? No follow-up. Um, buff stealing. Um, I love Binding Necklace with, uh, I want to say she also has, uh, I know she has her perf A slot heals a ton via special proc. She has breath, I think I mentioned, and I think some damage reduction in there. Am I missing anything? Because I feel like I am. Yeah, she has like Omega Surge. Let me go look at her. Yeah, she is healing when her special triggers. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm missing one effect out of H's oh, weapon. Oh. Also, Shots Neko yeah. for no seeing the titles. Hand of Nothing versus the Mending Hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, that's actually they really good. are opposites. And they're both blue beast calves. I have to look at a pan for this. 
Yeah, I, I honestly forget exactly what... But nonetheless, the, the big thing is they both have stat scaling. Aetris is off of buffs, though. So you have to be buffing up or else Aetris doesn't get scaling. As long as you keep your allies somewhat healthy, Ratatoskar can get up to 9, you know, speed. Which is kind of sweet when you consider that basically catches her right up to whatever Aetris can realistically do most of the time. Mm. Um... So yeah, as far as God Sword killing goes, Ratatoskr is right up there. And of course, there's a whole lot more to go with it. Um, yeah, Arcane Nihility, here it is. So, 15% speed true damage, that's right. So, and no damage reduction. Um, except in Beast Sense. So, I guess the question I'm having right now is, who's better? Ratatoskr is better because she's free. I was about to say, yes. I would take her for anti-warping because that's actually unique, whereas Aetor does have really nice combat and can heal and can just, you know, keep herself going, but... Aetor cuter, though. Fair enough. Mm, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> that part I'm not going to dispute. All right, um, they're both really good, but it's it's just very clear. Aetor never took off, unfortunately. No. No, no. not... not she didn't take off the worst. I have seen her, but there's definitely... It's easy to say she didn't really hit the meta mm -hmm. much. But yeah, where Ratatoskr is free, uh, big difference. She's going <laughs> to hit the meta. There's no, cho there's no choice of that for the yeah. matter. You will have to accept that the Astro Season just got a whole lot more different. Uh, a whole lot different with anti-warping... I just realized, yeah. even if you have, even if you can set up Catria now, it just doesn't even matter. It might not even matter. It might not. You, If you're using Catria balls, you're going to have to not accept warping as a proper means of using it. Like, or you have to figure out a way to kill her with a near save. Good luck with that. Um, because otherwise, yeah. For all she can just run in, break break a block. Even if she can't attack, break a block or something and then just run away. Yep. Kanto 2 is a huge thing to note here because that mobility is insane. It's you, you First of all, there is no Kanto control in Anima unless you uh, inherit it. There's no Medius yep. with it by default. So it's harder to counter control her. Combine that with the fact that, yeah, like I said, you could literally just break a structure. She doesn't have to go and do anything. In fact, she doesn't even have to go in, if you think about it. You could just end turn with her like you do with Corrin and still get some level of terrain. Yeah, so... so... Warp should be dead. <laughs> it should Warp? just be dead on animals. Yeah, I mean, if you're using, like I mentioned, if you're using a Kinoka line where it's kind of hard to get Ratatoskr to go anywhere, turn one, then okay. technically... <sighs> And then There's my counter argument is, why are you just not using Elamim? Uh, because of Freyr. Okay, well, they have to use Freyr then. That's on the perfect line. <laughs> no, well, there's always the seventh slot, which is never on the front line, so... Okay. Yeah. Well, if they do that, then sure. But, like, I have seven escape ladders, and I gotta yeah, use it on I, something. <laughs> I was about to say, I can just accept that. Not to mention, if you end turn Ratatoskr twice by a refresh... You could technically just kind of put the terrain in a position where most of the line is covered. You just gotta have to figure out how to move in that tight space. Yeah, that team that you just mentioned, they're not gonna have cancel control, so you should be able to. You could have chances of figuring it out. Yeah, and not to mention, even if they, even if they did, it's very unlikely it hits. In fact, I don't think it can. So, yeah. Okay, this just made Etherades a lot easier. Uh, counterplay, easy. And Astra. Mm -hmm. And Astra. Okay. Uh, what's a really good comparison? I, I'm out of ideas. Uh, certain other blue beast mythic in Astro Season. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Darthus. No, she is in Light Season, isn't she? Yeah, Darthus? she's light. Oh, right, she's light. Uh -huh. yes. I can't spell her name. Uh, N -E if you just do N-E-R, -E 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll just have to find it. I wouldn't know, because she's one of the only mythics I don't have. Do you know how many characters in this game have N-E-R in their names? It's painful, <laughs> but uh, good luck getting a dental fricative on your keyboard. Oh my god, there it is. 
The God of the Land, 40 HP versus 40 HP, match, 42 attacks, 44 attack, 2 point match for Rat Tosker, 47 speed versus 46 speed, 1 point match for Nerthus, 30 defense, 34 defense, 4 point match for Rat Tosker, 20 res versus 21 res, 1 point match for Rat Tosker. Okay, I feel bad for people who went for Nerthus now because. Well, they are contrary seasons. I, I know that, but not very many people use her in light season, anyways. Yeah. It at least, I will say this much, Light and Astra both have a really good Gale Force Mythic now. I mean, Freya kind of already did Light Gale Force before Nerthus, but... Yeah. Um, both seasons have a good Gale Forcer, but that's really the big thing Nerthus can even do. She has good stat scaling that doesn't take much work, like Ratatosker, but all she really does uniquely is gravity and damage reflection. Whereas mm -hmm. Ratatoskr has just straight up speed, true damage. She doesn't have gravity, but I mean, we know what she does. It's a lot more than that. <laughs> so, uh, it is kind of Doesn't funny. Doesn't Ratatoskr have better stat scaling as well? Um, attack speed nine going down with allies. Uh, Nerthos literally scales off her special, so unless you change off Gale Force, she has her peak scaling by default. I think okay. she gets. 10 to all stats with Gale Force. I want to say correctly. 15? Yeah, I want to. I think it might be 15 to all stats total. Um, I can double check her Mythic Battle. But I think technically she has better stat scaling, but not by much. Um, mm. Let's see. If you run a higher cooldown special, if you run Gale Force on Nerthus, I believe she gets 10 to all from a weapon. Yeah, so she gets 5 to five. all. An extra five yeah. all compared to basic weapons. So is actually, she missing Kanto or no? She has Kanto in her C yeah. in her B slot, yeah, I believe. Uh, oh, no, she has alarm. Oh, that's she right. has alarm. She has, yeah, yeah. Alarm. it's worse Kanto. To be fair, Kanto um, one. Just Kanto one. Okay, they're too close. That's the, but I'll yeah. take the free character when they're too close. Exactly. I mean, I will say this. At least Northus is tempo. But wait, she has tempo, right? In her B yes. slot. Okay, thank goodness. It's, I, I, it's I, somewhere. I don't remember where it is, but it's yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's in her B slot. Uh, I was. I love trying to remember these effects sometimes. Yeah, so <laughs> that's something. But yeah, it's close. But I do think that Ratatoskr being free says a lot. All right. Uh, All right. So the most disruptive hero on this entire banner is free. Yep. Well, both of them. Well, the most yeah. disruptive <laughs> two heroes, but. Predominantly Rad Tosker because uh, the warping meta is very dominant nowadays. Yeah, we needed, we so desperately needed more of this. I'm so glad that we're getting more warp, anti warp, just in general. It needed to happen so badly. All right, is that everybody? That's it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, there's not a lot of beast caps, right? So, no. let me know. I'll double check if there's any other. Really Unless you want to do Freyr. No. Uh, <laughs> you, I mean, you could do Embla for what it's worth, because she has that agility. Sure. Free. We'll Why do Embla. Yeah. All right. Uh, this will close it off with the God of Closure. 41 HP versus 40 HP, one point advantage for Embla, 43 attack, 44 attack, one point advantage for Ratosker, 44 speed versus 46 speed, two point advantage for Ratosker, 31 defense, 34 defense, three point advantage for Ratosker, 24 res versus 21 res, three point match for Embla. Uh, That's not a, the best comparison, but it shows if nothing else, Ratosker's stats for is insanely good. Yeah, and for what it is worth, Embla gets up to minus, uh, sorry, she gets five dollar stats by default and up to minus nine attack speed defense based on the number of foes. So she has basically identical stat scaling to Ratatosker. Um, they both have um, guard going on. They both have full no follow up. It's funny because Beast Agility Four has defensive no follow up as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which Embla just gets in a weapon, so that's kind of silly. But the combat is actually so close that technically speaking, because of Ratatosker's extra base speed. She might be able to double Embla just straight up, which they will never interact. But it is interesting to note that a free mythic is able to compete with, if not directly kill, one of the most dominant mythics of Dark Season. Yes. Pretty cool. All right. And I think that's a good place to end it off. Yeah. Uh, oh, shoot. Sorry. I didn't ask you guys to rate her. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, this should be a five star, but uh, yeah. easily for completion reasons. Astra Astra's really looking nice right now between Remix Plumeria, Ratatosker, and Saether. It's really nice over there. Yeah, or Veil. Vale. Like, there's so many and options Vale. In Astra. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, I don't even yeah. care. This ETH too... rates has gone so easy at this point. People aren't even trying. <laughs> yeah, there's too many options, honestly. I like to see what I can. I like to experiment with different play styles now. I'll definitely That's why try I... her out. That's why oh, I've no. I, I will not be trying her out. I will not use her out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to Dex for saying obvious. Okay. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I Check. I am pretty uh, pretty you know set in stone with my mythic arrangements. So for me to try a new unit, super flimsy. So whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I have too many merges in Astro, so I can't use her. Man, why am I the only person here who's destitute? Yeah, I have like sixteen merges on my three main Askers, so, uh, Astro Heroes. Glad to didn't hold back mm. the ones on the I free really unit. Which are the free protect like was actually those. considered super you good know, for their I time. I don't like the rates on those. Those are so up and down. Super good for their time? Keep in mind that Regan was the first unit to introduce Kanto. Oh yeah, that's right. Damn. Kanto yeah, introduced on a demote. I remember right. being and very we, excited about that. We, we made up some BS excuse as to why she could do it. Oh, she has these mechanical legs, man. That's why she could do it. No, man. That's not what it was about. No, it was just that Kanto was coming, and we didn't know it was going to be as common at the time as we did do now. But Peony still is argue is just as good as ever, honestly. Um, but otherwise... Air definitely wasn't as influential, all things considered, besides being a mythic. <laughs> Chat, what the heck is this? Do you guys gave her one star? Oh nice. my god. I put I put that in, but like, come on. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Uh to sum it up, five star hero, best yep. free to play well, maybe just best free to play character we've gotten ever, but yep. amazing. Yeah. Definitely giving uh, her guild wars immediately, huh? Yep, fair enough. All right, let's sum it up. Uh, right. This entire banner. Shoot. Uh, I was supposed skip. to prepare for this. Uh, if looking at it as a sum of everything going on here, nine? Because Laurel I think that's is pretty so fair. confusing. Laurel drags it down a bit. Laurel, I'm skipping everyone it. Else. There's just that, no chance. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm mostly skipping skip. it because I actually want to go for... Uh, Gold bank still, but that banner a, is just much safer, much higher yeah. rate. It makes more sense, and I want to yeah. point this out: the fact that I think Lucina might might make it through HR. I think she has a good chance. I, yeah. She has a shot. Yeah, she's if popular. Rearm, so she's a special class, mm -hmm. and horny fans. It'll depend on how much Shoot. people coordinate on a dream. If it's green dream this year, then I think that Lucina is a very strong chance. Yeah. But it depends. Honestly, if we get another green, like really good green unit, because right now it's like Claude, Lucina, yes. Claude, Anna. Lucina, and Haythor. Oh, Haythor? shoot. I, yeah, I don't think about it. Actually, Haythor might. That's, Maybe. That's not bad, but I, I, I would doubt I want, it. I, think, I want something else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe Anna. But yeah, if, if that's that's your core three, Green Dream might start look really good. That, and that's yeah, a Robin really too. good three greens. Oh, Legend Mill Robin. Yeah, keep in mind he's not that old. <laughs> yeah, he's de yeah that one's pretty valid too. Even if we employ, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in, in December, kinda, hmm. and in December when we have the new Edo Guard released, she'll also make it in on green. So uh, <laughs> winter Edo Guard, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's inevitable. You wait. There's still the young Edo Guard that could happen. Winter also, young Edo Guard, there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, but oh, a Leer. Sorry, we forgot about Ledger and Leer. Yeah, Legendary Green Dream. Oh, Green Dream okay. is actually kind of. Wait, wait Rearm I... Sonia is legit too. Oh, yeah, Let's Peony. not forget how scary she is. Yo, that's kind of. Wait, real, hold up. Honestly. Maybe Green Dream is real. Okay, so. I think it, yeah. Severa, no offense to her, she's just outside top three in my books and so yep. there's a lot of other god swords not focused on her so it's it's more about lucina 
and Rad Tosker. Rad Tosker will be on the Mythic Banner at the end of the month, so there's no necessary... You're... It's a Legendary Banner. Legendary Banner. Oh. Santa whatever, Santa she'll be on the Banner. Will be yeah. a thing. Nim -ha -ha. Uh, you guys vote the Banner 5 stars, 60% of you guys agree with that. Uh, Fair. <sighs> yeah, because we'll have tickets, sure, but it doesn't really make sense. And Lucina has a good chance of being HR. I think it's safer to save for HR. That Green so. Dream might be just too good to resist. Yeah, mm. I think that might be the way I'm I'm currently leaning towards. And of course, the banner definitely gets vaulted up a considerable amount if we include the GHB because, whoo mm -hmm. yeah. So if I summed it up, I think the banner's nine out of ten. Laurent yep. really drags it down. He's almost worthless, but he I wish almost he he's fodder. But uh, Inigo pisses me off. <laughs> but like, I begrudgingly I... accept how good he is. Uh, Valdar is amazing, but Severa... Nowadays, if you are a god sword and you don't release top three, it's usually not a good sign. I like feel Yeah, right. for, a for aging purposes, I agree. Yeah. It feels wrong to say, but it's it's true. It's just a very volatile meta. And it's not to say these god swords aren't usable even when they fall out. It's just... Uh, it's so competitive. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I will say this, if I were to pull here, I would love basically all this fodder on Legion so much. Yeah, of course you would. Mm -hmm. But your Legion is still running attack speed ideal 4 and close call, so what does that say? Distant pressure. Legion? Oh, he's switched back to distant pressure? Yeah, I prefer it. Interesting. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, I'd be running a completely different build with, like, uh, Arcane uh, Threema barrier or yeah do dodge godlike prime but no i do not have any of that expensive yeah 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 exactly yeah it's too give him insight it's too far insight no all right chat we sum it up essentially a very strong banner uh i would vote for skipping though but you guys can let me know it's just that this not to mention christmas banner which, by the way, we and then of course whatever banner ends up having the mother load of all tickets later on. Yeah. So yeah. Christmas is coming, and I hope it's not three houses because I want to skip. Yeah. They'll okay. At least one. All right. So chat, here's what we're doing. Um, I don't have time to go over every hero today, so we're gonna go look at the summary of the refines, and I'll go over a featurette tomorrow. And it's just uh, look, I have a sponsorship. And let's right. be fair here, face stuff doesn't pay for shit. <laughs> so now I can just post the uh, PM1 image in that case. Yeah, we'll yeah. just talk about the PM1 I image. We're doing that. I was about to post that. You can post it. That's fine. In the meantime, though, um, I got to go through some polls, which gives me a quick break, which I need. I did not sleep well tonight. Er. Well, we don't know that yet. Well, yo, oh, that is relatable. Last night, yeah, I haven't been sleeping well, so. Yeah, understandable. Just the image here. I've been sleeping okay, but I just haven't Nobody been sleeping enough. Nobody asked you. I, sorry, oh, okay. I, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope you sleep forever. Well, thank, thank, you. You, thank you. Eventually, I will. <laughs> you know, one of these you're days better. you'll be right. Oh my god! All right. Um, I guess for reference, compiles have been updated for the limited tide. We have Winter Mirabilis, who has Brace and Stance three, oh. Speed Cantrip, Ground Orders. And New Year's Plumeria, who has Close Ward, Quick Repose 3, and Attack Death Rain. As well as Summer Mail Chez, for those plus dining number for Attack Speed Soul of Water. Dwyer, Chad, Odin, and Kamui. Furthermore, for anyone? Yeah. Uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, Grails got updated to have Marla and Kellum, Kellum for the three people who care. Kellum. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for those, if, if anyone asks me, should you come back to Fire Emblem Heroes, I would say only on condition you play it casually. Yeah. And you, you can at the very least, the free to play units can actually. Don't go nuts on Summer Duels. That's what I'm saying. Well, don't yeah, take Summer Duels seriously. You <laughs> will be frustrated. It's stop being about strategy. But if you don't care about that, I think it's fine. At this point, I'm pretty mm -hmm. casual about the game. Uh, I, and for people getting upset at me, the. the the alternative was quitting, all right? It's be a casual or quit, so you pick. And my contemporaries, they pick quitting, so... <laughs> being a casual is fun. I like being a casual. That is... Hmm. that is the way. 
Oh, by the way, Sever um, Severa's um, buffer four promotes out of shield pulse. Yeah, Those I mean, are... that's what I thought it would be. That's well, what I, I guess there was that a chance sense. it could have been buffer one to three, but shield pulse is the straight up prerequisite to buffer four, so you don't have to get new fancy pre fodder for that. Hmm. Well, I will look up exactly who has well Saber is the one that comes to Saber. mind if if you have him lying around. Oh my god, have Saber? Saber? yeah. It's kind of brutal. But you also have Base Fjorm, uh, Legendary Corrent, and Flame Lin. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Fodder Flame Lin! For the <laughs> Shield Pulse prerequisite. Uh, That's great news, yes. Shield Pulse is easy to get. Relatively. I, I Relatively. Didn't realize how hard that skill is. One day it'll demote straight up, and then it'll yeah, be the be easiest nice. dodge to breathe Fodder. Dude, I them. merge Saber to plus four, because there's nothing yeah, to do with Yeah, I regret that. Yeah, I, I so regret merging them. I, I don't plus know. one mine. Uh, that one is the worst. <laughs> feeling. <laughs> I will probably fodder my plus ones. You think I have the heart to fodder Severa, Chad? No way. That's my Twin Tails, Sundari. Uh, I would never give uh, her up. Uh, no, it, she's just really good. I, I don't say this much. Look, everyone with the merged sabers in the chat is so freaking <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like everyone did that, nobody thought no Shield Pulse was useful. Yeah. Nobody had wrong. faith. Jimo well, got Except so happy when I, when I told him. I was the first one to tell him about this and he got yeah, of course so he's excited happy. and then yeah, he was he like was oh, so not, it's not quite as complex as i thought but i'm still happy yeah the fjorm fan man <laughs> that's crazy mm. i would love to give to rucker as well but uh <laughs> that, all right chat so what, anything else huh? this is what we're doing uh quick polls gotta get rid of the polls because it's uh last day and then um afterwards uh we'll go over we'll go over the weapon refines but yeah, oh, Valado uh, is voiced by Dio in Japanese. Fun fact. Ooh, Takahito Kayasu. Dio. If that man wants Wait, a job, so he can take any role. Four is directly yep. <laughs> an evasion side grade to shield pulse. And in English, he's voiced by Frederick and Bartra and... I'm trying to think of who else. Yeah, essentially Buffer changes the five true DR to dodge. But uh, side grade is with the most relative quotation marks you could possibly give it. Oh, and Valbar, too, that's right. Um, it is still a dodge skill, so as far as I remember, it should still be shield pull, um, buffer fours for do uh, god swords, god axes, god lances. All right, chat, quick break yep, to yep. pull on a bunch of banners. Let's hope we get oh, lucky. Boy. I don't know, blue, maybe blue, maybe call us, maybe. Blue or green? Green, uh, maybe. Are you? Probably blue. Uh, yeah, I like I, I would always go blue. <laughs> blue just has the most value. Green, yeah. green has the two best waifus, though. Sure. <laughs> we got Jello and we got Freya. What Bad. kind of kinks do you have? Just not normal human beings, I hope. <laughs> yep. Most All right, here we go. Furry, Let's see. Furry. All right. Yeah, I don't know why it's called Buffer 4. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. What is it buffering? <laughs> I mean, Buffer why can also be used as like, it's like a barrier. Oh, so. it's not so. Why is it a tier 4 if it Buffer 1 doesn't exist? Anyways. Sorry, chat. Uh, I just realized that there's no really? audio. But it's coming out of my oh. tablet speaker phone, which is weird. Oh, that's weird. Interesting. It, no, it's doing it again. What the heck? Oh. I've never seen that before. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, just gonna do it with no sound. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, no sound I'll, gaming. Hope that, hope that it figures it out by next time. Ideally. Fighting got looks over, by the way. It, it's been over for a little bit, but nonetheless. Yeah. Oh, you guys can hear? Wait, I heard me... the, the sound oh, effect JC from your side. Said... Oh, okay. From your, oh, your yeah. Voice. Here. Oh, okay. That's weird. Alright, bottom right, always right. Let's do it. Bottom right, always right. Um, Give me a waifu. Waifu. Now you're going to get Thrasher. Waifu. <laughs> Defu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I'm <laughs> free. <laughs> Oh, no. Actually, Freya. <laughs> well, you I'm called it right. I've never gotten Freya in all the years I've been playing. I've wanted oh, her damn. all along. Oh, oh you've oh. never gotten her? No, it's my first Freya, guys. Oh shit! Well, I it's a good thing. It's actually she's usable now. <laughs> the Lady no. of Nightmare Freya. I'm Freya, ruler of Dokoheimer, a god from beyond this mortal realm. To be summoned here, disgraceful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chat, guess I've used. Oh my okay. goodness, that's amazing. 
Minus HP Optimistic plus speed. Plus speed minus HP. Yep. I'll say minus defense plus res. I, I appreciate Faye doing all I can to make me not quit this game. <laughs> <laughs> Your reward for willingly destroying your brain cells speed. tonight plus SPD HP so lull. Let's see it. No! Shit. The exact <laughs> opposite! Shit. I, I was tempted to say, wait, what if it's minus speed? I didn't want to jinx it. But... Ah, shit. I was, yeah. It's all Dex's fault. His thought, it threw everything off. Shut oh, the fuck so up. Unfortunate. <laughs> that's yeah. so unfortunate. I hate Dex. Well. <laughs> Now I now I can be punished for thought crime. Okay. Yep. This yeah. is 1984. A good day for not quitting Faye yet. Not today, my uh, friend. I mean, not today. She's still well, worth using. At least my Freya collections. Oh wait, I kind of need Eater, but technically speaking, Freya collection complete. Well, you're summoning like that banner, so you have maybe, a chance for Maybe maybe I still have a chance to complete it. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm gonna go. Hey. Don't get tempted, don't get tempted. Don't. You could just straight fruit her if you really need to. <laughs> Give in. Uh, 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 red? My Flumira is my most merged. Yeah, if you're trying to prior prioritize Flumira merges, I'd say red. Yeah. And Green kind of pointless. Blue kind of pointless. Carlos kind of point. Okay, it's red. Yeah, it's red. Rhea and Anankos are interesting in their own respects, but... Yeah, yeah. Anankos is actually pretty nice. And it's pretty a red nice. day! Technically, That's what day. the Soviets might say. Oh, that felt really good. It did feel really good, actually. Mm. Wrong dancer! Yep. Hey, look, it's Awakening. Can she get her get resplendent? Her resplendent? <laughs> Please! <Yeah. sighs> it's one of the most new... Like, it's not the worst art, <laughs> but it's so bland. <laughs> Yeah, so Akira did not hit it out of the park with that one. Not yet. This, this banner is this so banner's trash. Ass. This banner is ass. <laughs> I mean, I it could be worse if Blue Flame. And Zeke Refine is not that far away. I keep getting him, so uh, he's fodder to me. Oh, well. That's, yeah, whatever. What clash does he have, actually? He doesn't uh, have Clash, he doesn't he's Catch. Catch. Oh. He has Attack Defense, Catch, Low Attack Defense, and Death Res Menace. Tier 3 Law. For Gore. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course, Tier 3 Law, because Tier 4 Laws didn't come out for years okay. after his release. Well, I you thought know, he we'll, had we'll, Catch. We'll do the rest of Summons Clash. tomorrow. I feel like okay. we use all our luck tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got, you got your Fair luck. enough. We'll do these tomorrow. Also, we'll save some time, because uh, we've got, still got quite a bit to go through. Yep. Yeah, there's stuff to Take talk about. Away. Can't wait for what? The refines, because oh, I mean, yeah. depending on how things go, I might just refine everybody here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me um, edit this image slightly. But yeah, I have, a, I have a sponsorship. need to do it. So I'm not gonna try to get out. Which just for those don't remember, uh huh. For me. It's playing the same ad for me twice on Twitch. Awesome. Uh, that's hilarious. Nice. That happens on TV, Twitch, everywhere, really. What are you gonna say? Uh, for those who don't remember, this is my full time job at the moment. So, <laughs> uh, if you're angry at me, it's practically the same as saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat, go on the streets, like, come on. <laughs> don't do that. Quit that job. That's messed up. Alright, but with that said, um, also as for the ads, you're getting a lot right now because it's holiday season. It's not on me. I'm playing the minimum amount of ads that I can't be, that can be played. Fair enough. You can't, and for those who don't understand, you cannot turn off ads. You can, nope. but you'll never be broadcasted otherwise because your your stream cost them money to do and it earns them no money because mm -hmm. you're not running ads so why well, would they be like good. well i guess we're going to sh show this to everybody which will take time <laughs> away from them watching other stuff other content that has ads so you actually can't turn off ads they just don't tell you that but people have tested it out if you have no ads you get less impressions if you get less impressions you'll never get watched so 
Yep. There you lose, go. That's, lose. It's not really an option. It's a bad cycle. All right. Uh, but yeah, let's go over uh, the weapon refines. I will do the thorough uh, featurette tomorrow. Wait, this wasn't the entire image. Oh, this. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, there was only five refines. Yeah. It yep, felt yep. like. No remixes until next month. I definitely looked at it and was like, there should be more, right? <laughs> On the off months, where there are no remixes, it feels like there aren't many refines. Yep. Mm. I forgot Eleonora had both uh, attack and speed super boons. Wait, why did PM1 cut off the bottom? Because uh, of his next month refines thing. Because... No, he, he, he cut off the bottom here on white down sphere. Yeah, you can't see the whole thing. Oh. I didn't even on. notice that. Does it have anything important down there? You can, uh, you can technically no, it read it. it. It doesn't, yeah. but it's just weird. Yeah, it ends oh. right there. As long as it doesn't have anything important there, it's not the worst, but still weird. Yeah. All right, shouts to PM1 for making this image. Still the best at this, always on time as well. Always consistent, mm -hmm. the legend. All right, we'll go through these real quick. Uh, going into this, who do you think will have the best and the worst? Actually, some uh, of you guys have already well, cheated. I can't, <laughs> I'm not, I can't I'm not looking, that. I'm not actually looking. So I'm hoping that Iago's is probably the most interesting, but Eleanor's is the most meta. And I mm -hmm. think Wrath is going to be the worst. Yeah, I, Raph being the free to play hero definitely thinks the worst. Yeah, I Before don't know. Before I saw, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead. I don't know how they're gonna make um, Pal Pala interesting. I Same. Want Before that this, one to before be I good. saw everything, I was thinking Shannon or Eleonora would probably get the best refines, but I wasn't quite sure which. Shannon, I'm very hopeful for because he has some very interesting potential. It's just they have to really make sure he gets there. So, and I will we'll say see. the exact opposite. Shannon, I'm not hopeful I for because so. they took a giant doo doo on Marth, and that's what I believe in. <laughs> well, God sort of finds Canada being pretty bland, depending on uh, who they are. So I will acknowledge that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and now that we've seen Valdar in his full glory, good luck to <laughs> you, Riaco. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, Andrew cut out for a second there. That was weird. And Elnora, um, I have her. I have her as a former hero. So this is actually the most meaningful one to me is Elnora. I have yeah, one minus oh, speed copy, good. so. Damn. I'll still probably refine her though. Yeah. All right. Well, let's begin this then. We will start with the free to play heroes. Let's do Iago first. Uh, since, all right. Since he needs all the help he can get and really maybe cool this well, one. To be fair, yeah. The supportive unit at least has something going for them to start off. Yes, but people stop using him, so... Yeah. Yep. Uh, Iago's Tome, res plus three, at start odd number turns. If any foe's HP is less than units, HP minus one, and that foe is not adjacent to another foe, attack speed minus six, and guard on that foe through its next actions. At start even number turns, if any foe's HP is less than units, HP, and that foe is adjacent to another foe, defense res minus six, and panic on that foe through its next actions. So the uh, threshold got better. It used to be uh, you had to have three more HP than them, and you also only debuff from minus four on two stats. Minus okay. three, if I remember correctly. I think yeah. it was four. I can always check. but Because I remember that debuff being basically worthless. Uh, oh, no, it was minus four. Still yep. useless. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wrong, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah. Well. laughs> Standing by it. Not a great debuff. So they fixed that. Which is nice. Okay, but so it's now modernized. Yeah, it's modernized. Yeah. Also, like every other hero at this point, all stats plus four, or, you know, attack defense minus. Well, all stats plus four is better. Yep. Uh, at star, odd number turns, grants defense res plus six. What? <laughs> he's self-buffing. Why? <laughs> oh, interesting. He's keeping oh, the turn gimmick into this? the rest yeah, wait. You keep this reading, is keep reading. super goober. Foe cannot make a fall attack and you tries foe's bonuses during combat. So he now self-buffs instead of just debuffing. No. Uh, to, based on even well, odd yes. turns. Uh, to no. unit allies within two spaces of unit for one turn. At start, even number turns. Yeah. Uh, 
grants attack speed plus six. If you didn't shoot combat, you makes a guaranteed follow attack. So only he's only scary to fight on even turns, and he's only uh, harder to kill on odd number turns. <laughs> That's yeah. So silly. He wants to kill you on the even turns, and he wants to tank on the odd number turns. I see. Such a cool gimmick, but also the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It looks really fun, but like not practical at all. No, I, I, I disagree. It depends on what you're using him in. What reliability is so important? But you get good effects regardless of the turn. Well, let's just keep reading. Yeah, if unit shoots combat, makes guaranteed fall. And Hexblade to unit and allies in two spaces of unit for one turn. That's probably the biggest thing, just getting Hexblade. Additionally, mm -hmm. yeah. also has plus four again based on foe niche in combat or HP over 75% on foe. Interesting. I like this hmm. refine a lot because it leans into support, whereas a lot of these uh, gimmick tomes have just sort of tried to make combat better, like Garna, for example. It barely changed his gimmick at all. His gimmick was basically like a side effect more than anything, whereas this actually leans into the terms so actually being really important. Okay, so yeah. I appreciate Yeah? He's gone. <laughs> I, I can't tell if he stopped on purpose or he got yeeted to another dimension. <laughs> I think he got yeeted. Same. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he all, goes. Right. all right. Well, I'm feeling bad for him because Valdar. We know Valdar now. Yeah, so. Valdar is a lot easier to use. And of course, infinitely better stats, actually good combat by default. Like More consistent, more dependable, yep. higher potential because of ploy usage. Yep. Not that Iago can't, it's just it makes more sense to go with Yeah, exactly. You get more debuff statuses through Valdar, and they're more like consistent than how they are applied. Yeah. So it's good. In fact, it's great. It's just... You're doing it the wrong time. This should have been like a month earlier or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really does come down literally the fact that we have two quote unquote gimmick red mages in the same month. That that kind of sucks. But don't yeah, get me it's wrong. It's not good timing, but still. I it mean, I a... like the difference between them. Yeah. It is a really cool refine, though. For If nothing else, for a demote, this is a really cool refine. Two buff statuses every turn. It just alternates between them, and your foe has to play other toes. Yeah, if it lines up correctly, like if you get to attack on the right, you know, turn and end turn on the right turn, I mean, it could be really good. But is that going to happen every time? And <laughs> is it going to matter every time? Because yeah. I'll be honest, the reason why Yago fell out of favor is because Garden Panic ended up not mattering. Sometimes yeah. well, you, just, you don't care. Well, so small. Right. So sometimes you just don't care. Like, okay, I'll take the stat debuff. I'll take the guard. It doesn't matter. Like, I have special spiral. Guard's doing shit. Yeah. Or I'm not buffed anyways. I don't care. Like, it could just be stuff like that. And it just ends up being nothing. And so the buff ability does give him a better presence on the field. But again, it just it's not the better. De the higher level debuffs from Valdar versus the lower level debuffs and support versus consistency on Valdar versus potential on Valdar versus... Nothing. That's that's it. Well, <laughs> that's I think the yeah. easier thing is that Iago will take far fewer rails to plus 10. And it's Yay. it's easier to just stack up HP and res on him and just make him a completely supportive unit compared to someone like Valdar, where you kind of have... You might want to make him offense. You might want to make him a hybrid. So I think Iago has distinct enough of a play. Yes-ish? Uh, I, so, I don't yeah. like that argument. It's well, like, I'll, hey... You could invest in copper, or you can invest in gold. Yeah, so, and Dex is like, I'm, I'm all in on that copper, man. <laughs> so I don't, think Iago, I don't think I think that's comparing apples and oranges because Iago, every odd number turn, he's basically hitting the foe's offenses, and he's buffing up his def his and his allies' defenses. And on even number turns, he's buffing up your offenses and hitting the foe's defenses. So it's pretty easy to play around, provided you know, for your team with Iago, provided you know how to actually use him. I... Well, that's, yeah. They still have to be within two spaces of him. It's not free. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you gotta but still it's, have some. I mean, for a supportive unit, I don't think that's that bad. It, for a devoted supportive unit, this is fantastic. The only thing is, so, in the context of Ether Reigns, it's not too bad. I'll say that. Um, it's also good for Prime support. It gives yeah, two it's, statuses it's, every yeah, turn. Yeah, it is pretty sweet for Prime. Uh, for Wind Claude, yeah, it gives for a White Wind Bow, Wind Claude, it gives four statuses in total. So you're giving them like what eight to attack and speed just from that alone. 
Uh, I would counter argue and say, why does Claude need any of the rest of the stuff? Yeah, he's yeah, killing yeah. them anyway. Well, well, I'm not so saying he gives it, him these but I'm statuses. Just, it's just Jesus. extra stuff in general for so, any unit who likes statuses. I do like Iago from any three options perspective because you can choose which turn you act on um, a little more reliably. Uh, savior on an odd turn or offense on an even turn. It, it's not that hard to do, but from a summoner duels perspective especially, let's put it this way. So first of all, Validar has a much better presence and his support is still honestly almost just as good if not better overall mm -hmm. because it's easier to hit those effects. It's all ploys, it's all lined up. And Validar mm -hmm. has a much better res stat to start with. Yeah. Um, furthermore, Iago, yeah, the, the status is really cool. And I actually do, again, if nothing else, I really do like this refine, but the fact of the matter is in summoner duels you can't choose which turn the battle happens on reliably if it happens to be that your aggressive team is getting to attack and it's not an even turn oops, you i mean the neutralizing bonuses is technically both offensive and defensive but uh, uh it's kind of i don't like great. coin flips yeah we play it's enough we, does this game has enough gotcha i don't need to gotcha in the turns as well yeah, it is actually. Well, I mean, you can luck completely. You can well, yeah, but it's controlled luck. You can, you can play around. I mean, the summoner, the I think summoner Hopefully, you can. Exception. That's just another thing to worry about. A unit about. like this, well, like, a unit like this, cannot rules. generate the tempo off of to be the one who decides when things happen. Your opponent's more likely to do that. Right. So. Okay. Uh, so to sum it up, oh, also to clarify, if you have a plus ten hero here, there's zero reason. Look, like Sotha's refine was not good, and I still got it. I would yep. never tell someone with a plus ten hero to not get the refine. Absolutely. So that's not the arguments we're making. The argument we're making is if you're a new player and you got a, or a, or a player deciding between uh, a hero to make whether to commit to a hero because they got a refine or not, that's the argument we're looking into. Yep. And because Valdar's here, <laughs> it's yeah, rough. exactly. And Dew is a resource that has to be expended. So well, if it, Valdar it weren't not... here, I would absolutely recommend. No, yeah, if, if Valdar wasn't here, this would be easy. Such an easy recommend. Yes, and and to be clear, if you want to play around this, it is a really cool refine that does a lot of things that is passively that most units can't even do actively. So that is really cool. It's just, it's a very odd play style that you really need to be willing to play through. And honestly, until Pulse Tie 4 comes out, you can't full send into the niche and be able to make it super effective. So there's also that. Well, but... you can still run things like Sabotage very easily. Yes, I'm just looking at what makes Iago work the best, because at the end of the day, keep this in mind. Yeah, he gets a guaranteed follow-up player phase buff every once in a while, but his combat is pretty much neutral. Like, uh, sorry, uh, nothing still. So. Oh yeah, it's still not yeah. good. Well, yeah, okay. but he's not really meant to be yeah, usually but... involved in combat. That's okay, well, that that's the problem. Evolder. Validar is. Sorry, at all why did I say Evolder? Well, Validar. That's, well, yeah. that's the, well, that's the thing. Iago focuses more on support. Validar focuses more on combat, in my opinion, because I think Validar okay. does have nice... Validar does have Panic and Discord, which are nice, but compare that to Iago's statuses, and yep. it's not as much. Objectively. Not as what? Objectively... Validar's support is easier to use and honestly more concise, but objectively Iago does more support. It's just that's it. <laughs> so not easy to give everybody the recommendation to just go full send on a commit. Are you seriously support? giving yeah. him more value than Valdar? I mean, I'm giving him more value in support. You. I'm not giving him more value overall. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, because he buffs his allies. Whereas Valdar is only debuffing. Yep. But oh, yeah. That's oh, that's, that's not a big enough difference because. Not really. Let me put it this way: if you had the choice of putting in a support hero, or a hybrid, you're or a hybrid. a hybrid, right? Like if if it's like Dual Asker versus Iago, which is not a fair comparison, but <laughs> no. that's probably what's gonna come down to for like the people who are competitive, right? Yep, you want to be able to do as much as possible. Right, and that's the problem. Whereas, like, that's why Valor is so special, because in a, such a comparison, he could still win out in certain situations. Mm -hmm. It's just for Iago, it's way harder. Yep. 
because so, he checks Valdar checks yeah. off more boxes. Iago does not, and Iago's lack of consistency. Your opponent has played around it, but so do you. And right, you could there could be times where like I could have won that match if I could wait one more turn, but you don't have that turn. And even if you did wait that turn, that's still a turn. Right, exactly. Turn economy does matter in certain modes. So playing with that as an actual like effect of the unit. It's not always the easiest thing to do. Um, it's cool. It's really cool that that's a thing, but it's not easy. So should have released this like yeah. a month or two earlier. All right, that sums it up. Yeah, it literally have without breaking the order. So there's that. But that's realistically that's what they should be doing. I I would not prefer them to break the order. I like the consistency. You like it to be predictable. For okay, grammar fines, yes. You're arguing for a lack of consistency for the character, but sure. Okay. What? When it comes to refines, I really think like if they're smart about things, they should have been prioritizing certain things over certain things. Because if it comes like it, it, it is, some characters just won't matter and they don't matter post refine anyways. But we're going to give it to them anyways because it's an order. Uh, I mean, I'll just say this much in that regard. It is kind of nice in a sense that Iago gets his refine at the same time because that means, well, I could have refined Iago, but. At least I, now I know I didn't technically waste the do on a unit who you have a was going to get immediately yes. invalidated in my particular playstyle. I mm. know that up front. So it, it sucks a bit for Iago that he has to directly compete with Validar, but it makes the choice easier. Well, for the longer you wait for anything, the choice is easier. Well, yes. Yes. That's okay. the short of it. All right, we'll do Raph now. Uh, All right. So I'm going to get out of the way for that one. Yeah. <laughs> he is gonna have a slaying weapon most likely because he actually had a slaying bow. I it think he's one of the indeed. last slaying weapons. Okay. To find. So if I learned anything from yesterday's stream, the more words the better. This is not a lot of words. That's a very short weapon refined, so let's see what this is. The uh -oh. Sasean Wolf Bow, slaying ability, effect against flying foes. If you initiate combat or is within two space and allies, all stats was for thirty percent damage reduction on first shot. Oh boy. Short and Exciting. Sweet. Additionally, if UNC HP is over 25%, another plus four stats, which is not a lot. Guarantee fall attack, neutralize <laughs> effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on you during combat. You that, is just, up? that is just barely better than Nastrum, and technically it can have less attack than Nastrum, but yeah. That is so boring. That is Very. actually really boring. It, it, look, I know someone's going to argue this immediately. Is it usable? Yes, yeah. it's usable. Yeah, usable. It passes the arcane test, not by much, but by a little. It's nice to have slang in general. But when and we talk about bare cool. minimum, this is what we really mean. This is, yeah, this is, this is literally as like little as they could have done. bare bones as it gets here. Yeah. He followed in Python's bomb. footsteps. Not as bad, but... Well, not as bad. No. I mean, he's a ways after Python, so it makes sense, but yeah. And slang. Yeah, he's very cut and dry. Not oh. unusable, but... Uh. I don't know what you're going to do with this. 33 attack, 35 speed. So if you're desperate for an archer, I guess he's your guy. But other than that... Yeah, uh, he's yeah. he's like... I guess he's the archer cap now, but not by much. Uh, I mean, you could technically just do an archer cap with Nastrund, and they'd be comparable, especially if they have modern stats. Yeah. Okay, but you have to get Nastrund, but I get your point. Was, yeah. Uh, the, the point is that he is in the main pool, he's easy to summon, and all that good stuff. Yeah. But I think the bigger thing here is he remains speed res form fodder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I guess defense smoke if you're pretty foddering that. Yep. All right. Uh, there's not much discussion here. I think it's adequate. It's like a 6 out of 10 IMO. Yep. Yeah. Maybe even 7 out of 10, but that's as high as it can possibly get. Yeah, no, that's pushing it, I think. At least he got tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Without tempo, this would just be. Ugh. Yeah. All right, into so. the final three we go. Um, let's do Shannon because I think that's the one because we Very just got a God Sword and it will save me from scrolling left and right one more time. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real right. answer here. Balmung, speed plus three, wow. foe initiates combat or foes HP 75% or above at start of combat, neutralizes units' oh. penalties, grants all stats plus five the unit, neutralizes effects that. Oh, he has no specials essentially. Yeah, full, full tempo. tempo. Oh, Temple. Uh, that's not bad. All right, SR combat, if HP is 25% or above, all stats plus X unit during combat, 15% unit speed, SR combat plus four. So another oh, plus four scaling. minimum, scaling based off of 
Speed. Mm -hmm. Invisible speed. And if you outspeed your opponent, you get 40% damage reduction. So he has dodge, stat scaling, full tempo, and penalty immunity. So spamming Imperial Astra. Doesn't get slang. Yeah, it doesn't get slang. Kind of I, was, I was thinking that Wait, might happen. Is he not spamming Imperial Astra? Technically it's two he is. cooldowns. No, it's... really. He can't be stopped from getting it, but he's not exactly spamming it. He's not spamming it like Lerce is, I'll say that much. Wait, why did but, they do this to him? <laughs> well, I don't know the, why they didn't get the him. The one slang. thing I don't like is the dodge. I think the I think the idea of speed scaling was helpful for him because he needs all the stats he can get. It's just that dodge they could have given him something more important. Like okay, well, yeah. I don't know, true I'm glad. You know, I I got a Marth level refined, so I'm glad Shannon got a Marth level refined. <laughs> <Ish>. <laughs> sort of. It's missing something. And it's it is, definitely it's really just missing slang is what it's missing let's be honest here yeah well then that's good enough because that's pretty big yeah that actually does kind of bite not gonna lie you can run yeah. at least you can run gambit on him yeah that's pretty cool and he can genuinely kind of run that but he would lose imperial astra <laughs> i do want to point out even of all of this he might not be good enough he he is slow his base form is slow yeah you I mean, he's trying to. He everything he does is to make himself an actual god sword. Shannon, I believe, in even FA four, not the fastest unit, but Balmung has so much speed on it that it kind of uh, he is out. pretty fast in and of himself. He just doesn't have a high speed. What do you? Growth, it's thirty six speed. No, oh, no, I'm your time with the game. Oh, okay, yeah. uh, in game, yeah. in, in game, game, he had yeah. decent base, pretty a, medium. No, very speed good growth. base, but it was just the the, the, the yeah. growth was bad. So Balmung was all the speed he got later on, and that's exactly what happened here. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that. And for what it is worth, yeah, dodge stacking is dodge stacking, but that's still, what now, 70% um, perpetual damage reduction with a tier 4 dodge? That's not bad. It's not yeah, bad. I, I think the one thing that saves us from being, like, aggressively mid is that he has stat scaling, because without he that, that. Yeah, he without that, he struggles so much. And it's Omni stats, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so he won't be struggling in any particular stat. I mean, his res will still not be great, but otherwise... I don't okay. see him being a modern god sword. No. That's the problem. Not quite. He's a... Def he's oddly, like, kind of almost like a... Generalist uh, defensive near save? oriented, like uh, uh, um, Soren near save. Yeah, you kind could, of you could make sword. him a near save. Yeah, which is weird, but I mean, for sake of reference, if he hits fifty speed, that would be um, an extra seven to everything on his um, refine. So twelve to all stats, for perspective's sake, it's not bad. Thirty-seven defense is also pretty good. This is a weird. This sorry, I feel like the not bad refined banner <laughs> or not bad refines. Um, <laughs> well, that that honestly happens a lot these days. I feel like. No. Not it all, doesn't. Not, not really. It's more rare than. I I think that if anything, the reason why it's happened here, well, besides wrath, is just the direct competition is literally in the banner that's coming up. <laughs> right. Let's go into the final two, though. Uh, let's go to Elnora before we get to our first trio hero of all time. Uh, Elnora, Mirage Longbow, effective against flying foes, speed plus three. If unit initiates combat or is in two spaces of an ally, attack speed plus five to unit during combat, deals damage with 15% of unit speed during combat. Okay, sure. Huh. And Fokonaut counter counterattack. Uh, did that There's have a speed check on that. It used to be a speed check, yeah. yeah. I remember you, that. I think the weapon itself was literally just speed plus three, and if unit outspeeds, foe can't counter. It yep, was it was a, very cut and dry. Yeah. Can I also point one thing out to everyone? Does it is it me or does it feel like you should just never get a formal hero anymore? I know, right? Without, yeah. Sorry, without a refine. The skills being outdated just feels. It's yeah. So between outdated skills and the amount of speculation, it's oof. Because <laughs> I, I think people know as a TMS player, uh, I love TMS. I love Eleanor, therefore, and she's a she's a fun character. This is what I got from Hall Farms. Oof. Yikes. <laughs> well, well, if only that was tempo four. four. I mean, I for what it's worth, those skills aren't invalidated so far. All right, so let's keep going. She also gets slain. Oh my God, why did Shannon not get slain? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? 
That's hilarious. All right, slaying at start of combat units HP is twenty five percent above. Attack speed plus five. Neutralize units penalties to attack speed and neutralize foes bonus to speed defense. What the okay, shit? Okay. This is okay. not the time to find to figure out fair refines. No, give me something bullshit. <laughs> this is way too fair. Come on. I mean, it's definitely a lot more meta relevant. I was about to say it. It is. It is nice, but. It's she got very it. simple. To sum it up, well, I, she... I'm pretty, pretty fond of it, honestly. Okay, but let me sum it up so we can talk about it. To sum it up, she got easier criteria for non car attack. She very got attack speed plus 10, slaying. She cannot be debuffed for attack and speed. Her opponent cannot be buffed for speed and defense. Oh, wait, so she, actually, she actually always gets fire sweep because if Yuna initiates combat. Yeah, so. she just yeah. straight up has sweep. You oh, use okay. Really Unless nice. you have null C disrupt, you love. will never counter. Granted, I redeemed her only on her first Hall of Forms run, but it's not on the rerun like inside. Hinoka. Yeah, that lull is kind of unfortunate. Again, it feels like a Wrath. It's better than Wrath, all right? But it yeah, feels like it's... It's it's almost it, just the bare minimum. More damage output, more attack and speed, and to guarantee your attack and speed. The only thing that throws it above Wrath is she got slaying. That's really nice. Well, Wrath actually has slaying. Well, he has slaying, but in return he doesn't get. Well, I, I, I'm I'm saying he's missing something, like yeah. like to the level of slaying. Slaying's a game changer, by the way. Yes, he, big time. It's it. If nothing else, it's a simple looking refine, but it does everything to make Eleanor good. Especially when you consider the skill availability we have these I days. I think so, yeah. Okay, I agree with that because for those who forgot, this is her base bow. <laughs> Did you remember how simple this game was, <laughs> chat? <laughs> Even back in 2019 to 2020, yep. things were simple. Well, even back then, that was an unusually simple weapon. <laughs> yeah, that one was comically simple. I've been trying to tell people that I think that was the golden age when when everything was fair. <laughs> what was the most unfair then, thing back then? Got annoyed. Um, Reinhardt. No, he wasn't um, unfair. Back you could tank him 2019. Canto, oh, in 2019. The early Book 5 Canto, like Regan Canto. No, 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 we weren't there no. yet. Byleth. We Byleth was the most unfair thing because she had null faults and and uh, tempo. So it was like, what the sh what are we supposed to do about this? Who <laughs> was the most meta unit at that time, though? I'm trying to think. Hmm. I remember uh, Lucina being good. Wasn't Legendary Lucina out at that time? Yes, hmm. but she wasn't absurd. Way you, out. You, no, she was, yeah. Krom. Oh, yeah, Krom. Krom. Legendary Krom, Krom was yeah. out? Legendary Krom. Speed, Legendary yeah, Krom. Uh, yeah. He barely makes the cut, but that I think that was the scariest character I, back yeah, then. Yeah, easily. That would definitely be it. Easily. But if that's the scariest character, like that's that's acceptable. Yeah, yeah. considering that, that was he was back really only no scary. He was really only scary because he had a refresh. Otherwise, oh, Bray Bike. Ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe Bray Bike. Bray Bike was definitely up there. Okay, so no, no, that's that's still that's still my era for most fair fair uh, era of a year of Farm Heroes 2019. I yeah. guess 2019, early 2020. I, I, I'm not completely straight up on, on on the dates, but yeah, the scariest units were probably Bike and uh, Krom. Yeah, at least as far as I can remember. It's probably a couple of other ones, but those are the main ones. Okay. All right, let's go to the last hero, White Down Spear for a dual pala. Attack plus three, if you shoots combat or is within three spaces of an ally, inflicts attack speed, defense minus four on foe during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed fall attack. Number of flying allies within three spaces of units greater or equal to two, unit attacks twice. If unit is within three spaces of a flying ally, and cancel remainder plus one. Oh, okay, so well, you get Kanto if you're near a flyer. Oh. You, that's hilarious. When oh. you trigger the right condition. <laughs> but that's still- so, It's funny because they figured out how to make the weird proximity flyer condition happen again. But why? That's it's just, odd gimmick. They're committing to it. Yeah, but why? It's not a good gimmick. <laughs> it's not a bad one. It's just fire metal. A funny one. Any ally, not just flyer. <laughs> you should be running Paula with flyers. True. <laughs> it, you would be actually but. shooting yourself in the foot if you didn't. Okay. It's like, hi, I'm in a wheelchair. My gimmick is I can stand up and walk around for three seconds. How about you just get me out of the wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um. Sure. They tethered to cancel onto being near allies. Sure. At start combat, units HP is twenty five percent above. All stats plus four to unit during combat and deals damage equals fifteen percent units attack. And also the number of flying allies in three spaces of unit is greater to equal to. Grand special. <laughs> what? Jeez. 
It's like she oh, really I'll, wants to be near flyers. What is she'll this? be a complete hero if she has one of her sisters, essentially, is what they're trying to point out. Or like just be near Otherwise, flyer. Otherwise she's just being wheelchaired around. It's a triangle attack thing. Yeah, but she's essentially she's stuck in a wheelchair. Somebody has to push her or she can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, you literally have to get two flyers nearby or else no. <laughs> It just you get nothing. All right, it's official. This is the most meh, refined batch I've seen in a long time. This is so sad. Yeah, this it's one's been definitely... the most meh one since like a couple months ago, I think. I'm hard pressed to remember the last time it was meh, but then again, I'm. Was it was it last month? Memory. Pretty meh in general too. No, last month had somebody memorable, did it not? Dimitri. Mm. Yeah, uh, Dimitri. yeah, I guess Dimitri was the. And for what it's worth, Flame Emperor's Refine was definitely solid. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, last month was really good. So as always, Dex is wrong, and no one should ever remember that. Well, uh, all, forget the other, that. all the other refines... Plumeria's Remix good. and Refine were weird, but they were still really good. Oh, the Remix was really good. I don't think the Refine was anything special, but... It's good. Ma the raids. Mabori's was decent. Okay. Uh, is it time to pass judgment? Six out of ten. Dude, that's that's even, that, that might back? even be high. No, it's I'm five gonna, out of ten. I, I'd still I would, say I'd give it a six and a half out of ten. You could, no, you could Eleanor. Of, um, specifically because of Iago and Eleanor. Which, by the way, Iago, best refined of the batch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say so. That. I think Eleanor's might be the most meta relevant, but I think Iago's I, the best refined. Mm -hmm. I was about to say... Iago definitely is the best refined. Yeah, I think I disagree with what Legion just said. Because if Shannon had four more base speed, <laughs> I would say Literally. he's fine. He at least gets plus three base speed, but still. I mean, he get, for all intents and purposes, he, uh, he has 20, I believe. If you're super committed, I, I, I think he's okay. If you but, commit to Shannon, he is able to hit real Godsword stats, just like yeah. any other. Yeah. But you have to commit. Which, I mean, that's a Godsword thing. You have to commit to them just in general. But nonetheless... Um, right. Shannon's a hard commit. Eleonora is probably the most meta relevant if you give her like physical no follow up, for example. But yeah. very straightforward. She's gonna be a really good catcher ball uh, ally. And honestly, even without it, oh. not a bad unit. Just in I mean, general. Yeah. Very safe. Summer duels. Very yeah. safe unit. Um, mm -hmm. Paula. I mean, besides the fact that she's freaking weird, uh, guarantee fall, triangle attack with ooh, breath, damage, and canto. I, I understand what combo. you're saying. Yeah. But do you remember we got another TMS character who's much more deadly? By default. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, Subasa's really good. <laughs> really That's good. the problem I have with this. Subasa doesn't have any of these issues. So why are you doing this? <laughs> and we have one I mean, more TMS refined to go. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. TMS refined is very solid. At minimum, we have Mamori and Itsuki, but yeah, Subasa is. Um, I mean, for what it's worth, Pollock and Quad, but that's really about it. Even the That's her only really advantage. Works. But then again, Subasa is really, I mean, she's double effective. I don't even think it matters. No, yeah. I mean, 15% of units attack is pretty solid scaling to kind of catch up with that. And for what it is worth, both of them are great Gambit users. Um, okay. So, I mean, it, White Down is a very cool, it's a cool weapon refine that will be usable. It's just, you have to play around triangle attack like nobody's business. It, you, if you don't, you don't work. <laughs> huh. So, I don't know, it's interesting. And of Wait, course, who, we set our piece at extent on Iago. Is huh? it Kyria? That's it? Kyria yeah, is yeah. Kyria. Okay. That's the last one. Which is interesting, because she's also a defense-heavy red mage. So... Uh -oh. I think she's guaranteed <laughs> to have all doubles, and that's that's a good start. That's a good start, yeah. I don't know where they want her to go, but... She is also Kyria. very simple. What is it? Attack plus three, and it's then... Attack res mega res rain, yeah. Yeah. So, but at the time, that was so good. She was she was the tank mage on her. Yeah, yeah, she was. A guaranteed extra attack def res plus six, and that can also kind of support with those stats. It was really cool. I will never Especially forget the time where I got walled out by a New Year Asker and a Kyria, both plus ten <laughs> at that time. 
I will not forget that Aether Raids match. Okay, yep. well. Wow. Scarred. Chaz voted. 63% think it's three stars, and I think I agree with you, so. That's only fair. Go. I'll definitely say from my perspective, I'm refining Iago and I'm refining Shannon because I like him. Eleonora, I might wait a bit on, and Paula, I'm not sure. I'm doing Eleonora. And yep. yeah, you should. I, you definitely should. I will double check to see if I need an archer afterwards because Raph is not terrible, but that's about it. If I have an Iago, I will uh, refine him. But if I don't, um, you may refine him. I'm not I'm just I'm sure. I have, I have all of his merges <laughs> left, so I could. I could it's a fun that. unit. Yeah, if nothing else, he's a very fun unit. Good night, lightning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so. I still have the five star copy we got from a while ago. Oh, there you go. That's true. Uh, it feels. Yeah. Fu I think Iago <laughs> succeeded in the character department because he's just so annoying now. Like he's genuinely annoying to yeah. have to keep track of everything that he does. Dex, they actually put a lot of effort in it, huh? Dex, you Are have you, succeeded in the character. You're gonna say <laughs> character that I'm department. annoying in everything that I do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? It was a compliment. You succeeded in the character department. As well. Yes, followed yes. by a very nice compliment after that, too. <laughs> um, All right, are we missing anything? I don't think so. New songs <laughs> in the concert hall. The um, Squad Ace is Squad Ace. What, what was it again? Uh, shit. It's Attack Speed Defense. It's well, BY. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank uh, yes, yes. Uh, let me you. Let me check out the Severus. It's Squad Ace BY and Attack Speed Defense plus three, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. I can actually, uh, there were some things here for the new expressions of the new characters. Sugma, while I might not earn a lot of money from uh, streaming Fire Heroes, if I show what you posted in Basement, oh, that will no. turn into zero. So, uh, figure <laughs> it out. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, the first one he posted is, uh, yeah. So not yeah, next refined batch, I will definitely say is looking interesting. We got two legendary remixes, which is weird. But... Uh, Lulina's pretty decent concept-wise, and Gorn is definitely good. Mini Nerva, I think a lot of people are riding out on because Fast Axe Flyer with a perf in the Grail Pool. Sick. Ferdinand will become a unit. And yeah, Cheetah with a ridiculous effect, and this is actually kind of neat. But, yeah. I don't know who else is on that refined batch, or it could be. I haven't checked the schedule, but besides Kyria, I don't know. Oh, uh, I should clarify in case people thought I was being too mean to Sugma. I got suspended on TikTok recently. I had to appeal uh -oh. it oh, because Jesus. because I was on Nikkei uh, Reddit. And basically, I it was one of the images of the girls. I think her panties showed or something. But like Ooh. that happens in a lot of games and the game itself yeah. is pretty flimsy on clothing anyways. Uh, yeah, no thank you. And we're always ad limited whenever we play Nikkei, so... Mm. I, again, I don't earn a lot from these streams, but it's better than zero, and this is my job, so I need that to be better than zero. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Alright, okay, I'm gonna do so some ether Raids. Yep. Let's see, so I posted the alternate artworks for, uh, for what's her name? Rat Girl. Ratatoska. Rat yeah, Ratatoska. Ratatoska. And then the there's a thread of art for the two older sisters, Fresvelger and Nithoger. And then finally, just for the hell of it, I posted Baldar's art because it's really, really good. Uh, I think I'll probably check them out tomorrow. Okay. I I want to have enough energy to edit a damn video after this. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, the art Sigma posted was from Mita Cream. I recognize yeah, that. Yeah, who's an excellent artist, but that was not the right art to post there. I mean, if I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I, I'd post it, but uh, yeah, I know how YouTube works. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want to keep getting suspended on TikTok. Oh, yeah, that would also be ideal. But yeah, thankfully, he posted a lot of like safer work ones, too. Oh, okay. I don't make any money from TikTok, but uh, I don't know how th their system works at all. I don't know. Why. Oh, this guy's been suspended three times. I guess we'll just not unsuspend him this time. You know, like I don't. I don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. huh. right, let's do a match. Oh yeah, I tried using uh, lethality Karanya. It's actually working really nicely. Sounds Ooh. funny. 
Oh, shoot, it's Cavacer time. What the? It's Cavacer. Oh, Cavacer. Oh, and Sigurd. She was annoying. I fought her today. I did not. But I, I'm not looking forward to it. She can be sneakily tanky. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, not so sneakily because that's kind of her whole point. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it's True. ridiculously so. tanky, though. Quasanim Psy. Yep. I, I legit had to use two units. I was testing it. And I was like, well, damn. Unless I was using Ninja Zogius, which I just so happened to use. Sugma <laughs> used those bits just to do one of his shitty puns again. At least he's supporting the stream. Yes, that I can say for him. I just wish he was supporting the stream without doing a shitty pun. Hold on, you're not exactly a good pun yourself. Well, no, but I mean, like, he does it for every character. Like, whereas I'll, I'll make a pun every once in a while, oh, but it's like, it's not, I don't take every character's name and, like, try to find a way to spin it. That's unfortunate behavior. Okay. I think I'm just gambling and attacking the Kavacer. I don't know how I'm supposed to tank this. This is the super annoying cigarette that gives everyone extra movement. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he has to hit first, but still, yeah. yeah wait, but considering it's not like the other cigarette where he has to run quick and pull some people forget that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, this team... <laughs> it's funny because Ileana's supposed to be the offensive unit that backs it up, but it looks like it could be so annoying. Kind of funny that Ileana is just kind of chilling back there. I don't. I actually don't even know how I'm supposed to win this one. No, this looks rough. Double dancer too. You can't run. Yeah. Oh my god, ah, this is so annoying. What a suck. Yeah, I hate this. <laughs> Especially since you can't rely- I love that they put that lack of trap in front of Kvasir's, so it's like, eh, try to kill her. You won't. Yeah, that's like, I'm, I'm willing to take that bet, but then again, Sigrid's not a free kill. He actually does hurt. Yep. <laughs> God damn it, I think we're gonna lose this one. I'm gonna try and tank her. I was gonna- I was thinking of pushing in, but then I realized, uh, I actually don't think it would have to be Lin to do that fight. And that's not an easy in. And I can't get out because I have no... He has cancel control and he has um, annoying duels hindrance. Oh. For Lord Asker. Wow, I just found a Brave Crom with Miracle and Prime and Gambit. The ultimate Crom. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> I think that's as good as you can get. Uh, maybe. You give him Prime Gambit and Insight, and I think that's as good as he gets. Oh, well, Insight would be good, yeah. I prefer Pledge. Pledge? Oh, wait, wait, Brave Crom. We're talking Brave Crom. Yes. Brave Crom. And yes, Insight would probably be the way to go. He loses Kanto, but... Yeah, if, he, you're, running he, he, if you're running Prime, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be one pain in the ass, Kavasir. Yeah, I'm, this is the first time I'm fighting her, so I don't even know how annoying she can truly be. 70% damage reduction yes. for her first combat in either phase. Um, her problem is just finding a way to outspeed her because. Yeah, yeah you can't I'm outspeed about to lose her. my speed. Uh, yeah, might as well be over. Oh, that Ileana has ploy 4. Yep. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of that. It's Arcane kind of from Mario. Oh, right. I didn't even notice the tomb. Arcane yep. Plumeria. I've never heard of that one before. Euphoria. Might as well be Arcane Plumeria. All right, let's see out. how this works out. <laughs> Orly, because no DR Pierce. Let's see it. Oh, my God. Pop and the team of course, where Moth has spiraled Ooh. from inside. Oh. Wow, 39 uh, damage is actually kind of impressive, though. 
Yeah, that's why. Well, she has almost no defense, but that's why I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this because I, I don't. That's nasty. I don't think <laughs> I kill her in one shot. No. Scary. Yeah, this unit is actually going to be a pain in the ass. It's yeah, not like good, have... luck or good luck tanking her. It's good luck dealing with what happens next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if she doesn't drop, you are in for a bad time. Uh -huh. But this is also the reason why I don't care about any of these things. This is so inconsistent. You get one yeah. good match and then it goes into mm -hmm. straight garbage afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a match where I don't think Marth really has any problems, conversely. Oh, I'm not going to use Marth on this? Come on. Well, no, but he, <laughs> technically he wouldn't. Nah, he would die to Dimitri. What are you talking about? Uh, is that re Oh, he is remixed. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not everybody I, actually I, remembers. I've, I've done that fight before, though. On a plus 10. Was it plus 10? Um, I've done that fight before, but... Okay. Maybe. I mean, he has the... Yeah, it is maybe. plus 10, alright. Hmm. Deal. That is a decked out Dimitri, actually. <laughs> you know, follow-up seal being as bad as it is, that's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I have two options. I either fight early... Well, there's nothing stopping you from killing Sothis and backing off regardless. Yeah, do you have Disarm Trap? Yeah. You can just hit and leave. Mm, it would be. I would oh, I, I'm trying leave. to get the Sigurd. Yeah, the Sigurd's mm. the big problem here, isn't it? Yeah. If you break the music tile, then. I'm not Yoni... worried about Sorry. Sothis. She can stay alive. I don't care about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, what now? You so break the concert hall, you refresh somebody on the tile next to the fake Kagami Mochi, kill Sigurd with Linja retreat but you still have to get rid of winter cordelia or else the hindrance is up as long as she's dead uh, i think we're good so i'm gonna just stack everyone on the left side also, otherwise dogger is pretty useful here hmm? yeah does julia kill marth i actually don't know probably uh eh. probably not not really I mean, but unless she, she has hardy he wouldn't have a great even with, with it. Hardy. I don't think so because she neutralizes his buffs completely and has Dragon hmm. Wall. That is true, but uh, if Marth has no follow up, she has no this chance. Way? No, uh, not really. We're going up the left side, it's gonna take a while. Got him. Good morning. Yeah, let's take a couple turns. Not so loud. A new dawn at your command, truly. I love that the dogger still runs life and death stacking for Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and Shrine Soaking, of course, but we know the real answer. We'll see this through. Oh yeah, right, Ash can just warp in Linjo without using a refresh. That's kinda neat. Right, boss. Yeah. This way? If you say so. I think I have enough for refreshes to back off. Yeah, as long as you can back off enough, because Winter Cordelia is going to cause some warp shenanigans. But there's only one ranged unit. So... At best, Julia can threaten... My warmest greetings. The tile where Dogger is standing right now, I think. That's it. Yeah. Aww. It we can go fun. for Julia now. If you kill um, Winter Cordelia with Linja, then you get your hindrance off. Mm -hmm. You turn it off, so you can just do whatever you want. Hmm. Yeah, you can hit Cordy, go back, hit yeah. uh, hit not, and then you can run with the, the other button. Yep, you have so many extra actions. Ooh. Yeah, you, <laughs> you got options now. Disarm trap, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we should just push. Ready. I need to use this skill more. I I need to as well. I have a Linja with disarm, and I don't use her at all. Yeah. I also want to have her at some point. Fodder, and so. I used to use her. Oh yeah, that's just right. Quiet now. Um. Good morning. Wonder the, when the, that tier four will be distributed again. I don't need one besides Kagura. Oh, you're just straight up going aggressive. Ooh. Yeah, because I just have to avoid 
Dimitri. Not Does Dimitri have Tempest? Oh, no, he has no Tempest. He has Vital Astro, TP4. Never mind. Yeah, so you, what now? You refresh your Duoni. Peony would refresh Dogger in this situation. That's fine. Yeah, you got Ninjoran, you we'll got Linja. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, it's pretty obvious how we have to go about this then. Oh, that's that's fine. <laughs> Tank Sothis. I think we could do that. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Uh, she won't fury get serious. Build. Oh, it's all furies. Yeah. Yeah. I have seen some built Sothis, and I actually have to respect it. Also, the gravity trap is no longer known yeah. to be real, so yay. It is known to be no longer. Real. Yeah, sorry, yeah. It is now <laughs> known not to be. I don't know why right. they didn't just use the bolt trap. Whatever. Um, that was easy. Oh, we got a rally. <laughs> <laughs> what no far saved us to somebody? This way? Yep. I love getting peony kills. It's so insulting. <laughs> well, now she's been actually guaranteed follow up. We've got stats, so use that. Hey, there you go. Juliet does dunk on Marth, and there was a Dimitri as well, that's why I was going to go Marth on it. Yeah. Yeah, it would not have gone very well. Yeah, Juliet would have, at the very least, do a lot of damage on that. And uh, not die. Yeah. Wow, this is a miracle chat. I actually didn't lose lift on this. <laughs> Lately, it's, every I, loss has been counting. Uh, yeah. Last season, I had a perfect defense season and perfect offense, but I forgot a bonus kill. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I would have gotten rank one. But Oof. my defense already took a minus 39 this season, and I'm not happy about it. Ugh. Oh my god, so many maps. You got it. Man. All right, let's get through these things real quick. Uh, okay, so tomorrow. Tomorrow is go through the refines in detail. And see yep. people's builds. That's the idea for tomorrow chat. Oh yeah, people have plenty of time to do that. Which is good. Looking forward to that. Oh, it's you. I'm probably not gonna build anybody further on this batch. But I'm curious yeah. to see what people do, considering how lackluster it What's is. Up? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for what it's worth, they're very functional, it's just they're very straightforward. Mm. You got it. I just can't believe Shannon didn't get slagged. I mean, I was expecting it, but I didn't think it was a guarantee. That's the thing. You can't. No. You what are you can't talking really about? Be sure he about. needed it. He had to have it. You got it. Well, I think with again with with Gambit, he can make something work. But the whole point is that he is Imperial Astra. Well, uh. yes. Now, I guess he's throw away. Really away. Liked it, that's for sure. Yeah. For what it is worth, Larsa has made it very clear she's supposed to be the one spamming the Astros here, and that he's supposed to be the one with the actual stats. But it is kind of weird because if he just had a little bit of both, wouldn't that have been awesome? It would have been. I guess they changed. They well, substituted no that with full tempo. Yeah. That full tempo does count for something. The full tempo is nice. It, it, he's got nice There's effects. No it's just if he had slang, it would be a lot better. Oh, it's you. Uh, not denying that. Command me. He's boned. <laughs> you got it. Ready. He needed more speed. He didn't get it. He needed to spam uh, Astro. Well, he no, didn't get he it. got. No, he did get more speed. He got speed. Uh, stats Sorry, speed. he needed even more speed. If that wasn't obvious. Uh, well, how would he? I'll, I'll just look at what the numbers are like, but he should be right around the point of some of the slower speed scaling god swords. At this slower point. speeds scaling god swords. If you can't not slower god swords, like, but like, like not fjorm is what I'm saying. Uh, I he's can... gonna lose the fjorm. What are you talking about? Uh, he, yes. That's exactly what I mean. But most god swords you should be able to keep up with. I I'll, I'll double check. I'll, I'll double check. With okay, you. I'm interested to see the. the I don't that. think he does well against anything in the top ten of the god swords. 
I wouldn't say that, considering some of those god swords are terrible, because some of those just they're not like terrible. No, some right, of the top not terrible, ten, but in ten. Ten I, is a lot. I would ex work. I would expect like you know a Cinemarita to beat his ass, for example. Oh no, I would never huh? say that. No. Whoa. Okay. Let's see it. So let me pull up Balmung Shannon plus speed. We'll go plus attack. Why not? And I'll give him the flowers so that he's contemporary. Um, you have to at minimum give him flowers. There's yes. no well, other way. You have to give him flowers. Yeah. So let's see if I go the obligatory finish dodge for build and build spark floor because it's available. You also have to build it fully, yeah. Well, he had yeah. a whole this, this is a not long ago. Sure, as someone actually bet on him. Very few people did, but all right, if you want to make that argument. And then we go for I mean, I did. <laughs> that's that's what I... What I got from the holoforms. I would have gotten him from. I I like Shannon more, so I probably would have got him from holoforms, but I got either. So yeah. He's uh, 36 speed base turns into 39, so you need scaling yep. to catch up at least four, just to match. Yep. So let's see. Ball. Mo so 25 plus speed. Um, flower Shannon has base 47, which yes, that is the same base speed. Wait, as how many flowers? You have to give her every flower. And Marita has to have no flowers for some reason. Uh, Marita. No, Marita. Has, still Mar guess, I Marita only has 43 speed. Yeah. So, I she does have super boon on it. So yeah, plus speed Marita. Yeah, also hits 47. Um, that said. If I, again, putting back up to 50 speed because it's easy math, that would mean that he would be getting seven extra, sp uh, uh, total 12 speed from Balmung. So that would be 59 going up to 66, 70, 79, Oath 4, or Prime, uh, Pledge 4, um, up to 86 speed. If you're gonna make a build for him and Marita doesn't get her build, then sure, you can outspeed her, but that doesn't make sense. I would just well, do no, the raw think, stats because they both gonna... have. That. I'm gonna look at Marita with equal equal footing, just so I don't feel disingenuous. So Marita, on the other hand, I'm gonna pull up in a different pack. If I were to build her up, she's um, getting just five from her weapon, right? Astro Awakened plus speed, max dragon flowers of 15. Um, so she has 49 base speed, going up to 54 with her ascending blade. Um, 61 finish, 65 dodge. Um, 69, 74, um, with C slot, Oath, or Pledge, um, 81 with, um, Form. So she I loses think... by, like, five points? I think that's what it was. You I'm have not... to give him Oath. And to, but but you're giving Marita work. Oath as well. But the reason why this works out for him is because he has scaling. That's the only reason. Yeah, well, yeah but that's, to. well, thankfully he has scaling, yeah. Thanks. But you have to. That's such an expensive call. If you remove that, they both don't have Oath. Mm hmm If they both don't have Oath, it actually... At best, she, he draws. No, that would only drop him down by, like, one point of speed. It gives I him think. one less point across the board yeah. if he's not buffed. Yeah. Which, if you hit, uh, what is this, plus six or plus seven... Uh, plus seven, he wouldn't have to be buffed to get to the 50 break point. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, wait, actually, double check this, seven divided by 0.5. I'm, I'm, from what I can see, they're drawing. No, Shannon is oh, always, always has more speed. speed than she does. So How? actually, I don't think he needs any buff. Because, because he's outspeeding her by five with that oath example but if not he would be outspeeding her by four actually no he hits the break point at 47 speed so um wait how at seven so are speed, you saying he, huh okay because marita at base is 46 speed if you're giving her flowers if you're giving them both flowers that's that's the real Marita is 43 base yeah turns yeah. into 46 with the 15 flowers oh mm -hmm. yes all right it's a super boon realistically you yep. can super boot them both, but that's that's 50 now. Yep. So, how does Actually, he outspeed? Because, because he's that. getting way more from his weapon than she is. He gets seven more from his weapon, that's why. Okay. 
and he's yeah. behind. He has he's more down flowers. Two. He's down two speed, but gets more seven more speed through Balmung. Which, okay. by the way, the next break point happens at 53 speed. So, that being said, actually, if he's buffed, he gets um, eight speed through Balmung. He has to get buffed. He has to get some kind of level of support. Otherwise, okay. Well, so, but that's just one extra point. It, the speed. buff actually just means he over double. Um, okay, just, look, congratulations. Right you can beat a Santa Marita. Yes. But that was, what, that was what we were trying to prove, though. Okay, on. well... I was saying in my in my mind, it was a four speed difference, so he she was drawing, which doesn't matter. It's actually a five to six speed difference. Okay, well congratulations. Five to six speed difference. Marita's not in the top ten. Nah, uh, I'd have well, to double check the top well, ten. Yeah, she might be right outside of it, but you I think wanna know who right? superseded her and I didn't go her on purpose? Senate Fair. Well, yeah, yes. Senate for yeah, then congratulations. You're still. not that's at best you're drawing a Senate Fair. Yes. Um, yeah, okay, then uh, isn't that the point? If you can't even crack the top 10 with a refine, you're kind of doomed. Yeah, as far as actually being able to speed scale properly. As far as like complete meta goes, sure. But yep. I think Not that, you know, so God sort of finds in general. And I mean, Shannon doesn't really the, the fully fact, fit into that. That's the, that's the, but that's the problem. Point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. Is that the problem? Well, right. yeah, but it's I think it's a problem shared by uh, by Larce and by Marita and by the other, you know, non God sort esque. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, for example, just for sake of perspective, um, Lucia has, I believe, five less dragon flowers than Marita. So a buffed Shannon still doubles Lucia for whatever that's worth. Um, ouch. But. <sighs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Alusha, Alusha that's has not a good example. That's no, not a I good just... example because Respective. we're talking a scenario where Lucia doesn't doesn't have support. Because if they both have support, Lucia's going to win. If they both have support, huh? why is Lucia winning I don't know. Again? Yeah, they would pretty much. It would, Shannon anything, would probably have a slight them. edge, but yeah, because probably they're both or something ridiculously tanky with their gambits. Um. Okay. Yeah, at best that would be. Oh, uh, that's your argument, sure. Uh, let's give him S tier, uh, S tier build, and at that point with oh, but support. But Lucia needs that too because Lucia's kid is horrible. Her kid is so. ass. <laughs> yeah. That's more acceptable because people have already done it. Mm -hmm. I I guess, but this is, I mean, this isn't arguing for like you know biggest Lucia fan versus you know like someone who's. Thinking about Shannon because they're there's like, no, oh, dude, Shannon's there's, like, there's almost no Shannon fans, man. He's one of the most popular FP4 characters. I mean, but that's for no, so little. I don't understand why people keep uh, mentioning things like that. This is the most well, popular I, no, character, one of the most popular characters in so and so game from 20 years ago. Truly F popular. FE4 in, in representation in Faye is pretty solid for a reason because if it were FE5, I would absolutely agree with you, but FE4. I would say has a lot more weight to it. So I will just say this much as far as Shannon fans go. Yeah, he does have a very solid fan base, all things considered. But keep in mind that fan base plus 10 him and his release era, and most likely did not continue to commit to him, and probably dropped him at a point where his fodder is very much out of date. The only thing that he really has going ahead of him is that he might be better merged for some people. But you still have to gut his kit to make him work. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the same, the same and, thing as you... Again, as far as what you gain for Shannon over other god swords, you get another dodge layer, and you get full tempo as opposed to just offensive as you often get. Those are your only major selling points on Shannon. Well, mainly because just being more defensive is the and having is, an actual defense main. stat. His defense stat is kind of neat, but those are your only real draws compared to fallen female violence, bulwark, vantage, preempt. Oh well, of course. Preempt, I DR. mean, no, nobody's well, gonna. Like, if anybody argues that he's wasn't that the problem? Violence. That's the problem with God Swords. There's a ton well, yeah. of them. Well, We're exactly. That's the God Sword Severa. problem. We're already giving Severa criticism. Shannon. He actually did a good job keep catching up, but the problem is the competition is as fierce as it is. 
for well, yeah, reason. that's that's why I would never, you know, I don't think anyone in their right mind would argue that the competition isn't what, really fierce you? and he doesn't. What? what? Isn't that what you're arguing for? Because I'm saying it's inconsequential because he can't even break the top 10. And I brought up Marita on purpose because that's not even close to the top 10. And even then, I thought he couldn't even, at best, he would draw well, her. I think that's well, congratulations, close. he doesn't draw her. Congratulations, you beat a Santa Marita, which doesn't matter because I, it's not even a relevant god sword. Well, no, but when yeah. you put him against when you put him against the the more modern god swords, at the very least, drawing is doesn't make him an amazing god sword. But I think it shows it's that just it's, Lucia because Lucia doesn't scale her speed well, and her she was at a disadvantage well, to in begin with. As well, but yeah, she draw. Uh, she, Congratulations, Ryan sent it for her. Like, okay, sure. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I sent it for. I want to double check that one. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. Ascended Fur has 46 speed with 10 Dragon Flowers, and her speed scaling is off Foe's cooldown up to nine extra speed. Um, that's so if he goes Gambit, on... then he's pretty boned. Wow, yeah, that's why, like a counter wait, then. Why is explicitly Gambit making it worse for him? Because of uh, because you would have Foe's to run a five cooldown, cooldown, cooldown yeah, special. Yeah, you would have to run a five cooldown special. Yeah. Yeah, he has to gun so himself if, to use Gambit. Right, if he's oh, using Vital Astra, it. then it, um... Shouldn't be using wait, Vital actually, Astra. Wait, no, no, hold on. Wait, what it's, um... Mean? No, running Gambit makes it easier for him, because she she wants the foe to have a lower cooldown. Yeah, no, explicitly, if you're trying to get her to kill Shannon, then Gambit, Gambit Shannon what will do, do better. Oh, but... It's more so... I, I explicitly mentioned the cooldown, because her scaling is that. Dude, so, uh, we're not gonna find. Okay, tomorrow, let's see. I, I highly doubt we're gonna see a Gambit Shannon. This is insane. That's very. Uh, well, that's one of the problems with that is that Gambit wasn't or wasn't in the Hall of Forms. Uh, when he that was and the available. fact that that's... you're kind of ruining his cool niche of having a really high damage special. Mm, yeah, that too, I guess. If 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 the idea is like we're gonna go copy copy paste build here, and that's the way he reaches his potential. I mean, Arrest. Gambit isn't really common on God Swords, though. They usually run Dodge Force it's skill. It's mostly Lucia. Um, yeah. For it's sake mostly, of reference, Fur it's has. It's mostly Robin. <laughs> yeah, Lucia and Robin. Robin. And that's yeah, basically and Robin, the two. So I completely skipped that in my mind. Those are two um, of five on top. For the sake of perspective, Fur has 11 more speed than Ascendant Marita. Then, uh, uh, then at so then the it problem. would be. At peak. Yeah. At peak. So that would mean that Shannon would be at, yeah, pretty much like just on the range of five of, speed disadvantage. Yeah. So he would need to somehow make up one point somewhere. Which would require some investment, but. Yes. Yes. Equal inv equal skill sets between Fur and Shannon. If Shannon keeps Imperial Astra, Fur would double. Um, which I think. Fur is the second fastest scaling unit after Fjorm. I have to double check what Fjorm's scaling. I, I believe so. Well, Fjorm's scaling is based on her visible speed, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I just need to double check how fast that goes. So she can get like 12 um, Summer Fjorm, which combine that with Fjorm for having the same base speed. Fjorm is three speed faster than that. So we're looking at right around eight more speed on Fjorm realistically, than Shannon. Um, assuming a well-invested Fjorm against a well-invested Shannon. Although I guess... I guess for what it's worth, it would probably be closer to like 7 speed. But, yeah. She is faster by a considerable margin. That's the big thing here. Well, yeah. That, that well, isn't that the sense. problem? Because I'm not even sure if she's in the top 10. Fjorm. Maybe bottom end of the top 10. Wait, at best. Who? I was mentioning Ooh, Summer Fjorm. Yeah, he's there. talking about oh. Fjorm. Well, Summer Fjorm, Fjorm should... is like seven more speed. Okay, well, sure. I I mean, I never questioned he wouldn't be able to beat any of the top cod swords. No, no. It's just important he to can know only really how beat much the bottom speed. end of the top. But, uh... yeah. At b yeah. At best, at best. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's why, that's the problem I have with this. Which goes back oh. to what I said. This isn't going to matter because... Why are you investing super heavily into a character that can't even compete against the bottom of the best? No regress. Unless you really because like you them. like that character. Um, 
I guess the only one because fall of female bio gets beaten now by god swords with scaling. Fall, Shannon could probably do that. But. Listen, if that's your argument, that's great and all, but like, yeah, you realize there'll be like one guy out there that doesn't validate your statement just because one guy did it. What yeah. I do? I mean, that's how well, it that's goes the thing with these old. Units. That's with these older finds, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, this is not the problem. You can't just be saying I'm going to appeal to the core core fans of this character who will go all in for them. A good refine is supposed to be, hey, this guy, you have this character, and with very low commitment, you refine, and now they're very good to very. Well, that usable. would that's an ideal refine. It would be I, great. I love those refines, although, but, those but isn't that the, isn't that not the standard we, it, that should be looked at? Because otherwise, if you put the standard so low, just that, hey, we can compete against. Well, barely relevant characters. I guess well, one thing the I, climb. That's I will say this much well. in that regard. A God Sword Refine, by virtue of being a God Sword, yes. always has what an investment, like, on the high end. Because even, like, Marita and Byleth, they have Hold really on. good refines. That's, that's the try. refines you were talking about was so expensive. You realize, like, when I did it for Marth, it was just Fallen View of Byleth? Yeah. And I'm done. That's not. And then the the build you well, were talking about was how many. Sure, plus the pre fodder. But well, for sure, make that, that argument. Like, you do one. Well, let's gambit see. oath. That's already more expensive by far. Yeah, get, well, yeah. yeah the the main gambit. problem is that we don't have gambit three. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I'm not even. I was never vouching for gambit explicitly myself. I think that it's better to just go straight up dodge oh Imperial goodness. Astra, Could've knowing that Shannon should be faster, deal. or else he's not doing his job right. So, um, but that said, yeah, it's still pretty expensive, but dodge oath exists, I guess. Um, or you could but just it's not run like, something. I mean, you could do Fizzno follow up finish oh oath four don't from physical one follow up don't well no i'm saying if you wanted to from just one ascended fur you could give them three skills that work all reasonably well together yes technically okay uh, well that's not anywhere close to his potential and he'll have other issues against god uh, swords uh well attack speed finish four and attack speed oath four are pretty much those are probably what you'd skills. stay with yeah. it's more so a choice of b right um he needs that speed in, in his B. Yeah. Well, physical follow-up is full speed, but yeah. He needs the he needs the yeah, so speed would, is what he needs. Right. So you would have to fodder two units, basically. And let's not pretend to send Fjorm some uh ascended uh fares that's really easy to get hero. No. This is what I'm trying to point out. Like it's 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 such a so convoluted compared to other characters. Well, uh, again, that's the thing. Ascended is, fur would would be good for someone like Marita as well. So it's not like there's too much of a difference when it comes to that. It is a god sword problem. You Marth wouldn't... got lucky because he has self buffing by default, but the god yeah. sword and a, and a pretty right. decent kit at that. Yes, I'm I'm saying even units like Marita need help. I hope so you realize hard. I consider Mars refine a huge disappointment. I think comparatively, with with brave refines, we expect a lot from those, and so Marth's not being, you know, astronomic. Uh, but apparently, some people seem to be doing real well with them. Just out there. <laughs> oh, those summoner duels people in particular. I don't know they, if they did super well. If you looked at their rankings, I don't think they did super well. They had uh, fun. That's what matters. Holy crap! Oh my it god! Was... How many times do you have to bend this argument? <laughs> I'm. Okay, that 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 time was a joke. Uh huh. <laughs> Apparently, thirty-six people have a max favor. Neat. Um. We'll see tomorrow. Look, we can check him out and see if anyone's committed to him. But I highly doubt it. This is such a flimsy argument. This is. Well, it's not. The argument has nothing to do with with how many people commit to him. It's. That is the argument. That is the. What do you mean? does. I'm saying if you truly if. If you, you are one of those the people. The amount of people that are true Shannon fans out there will be able to fish out, but the real thing is... You want to know something? The, the, the true Shannon them. fans out there would have done it regardless of whatever refine it was. 
-hmm. So it's a shit argument. Just like I have a plus 10 Sothis and she got a shit refine and still got it because it doesn't matter to me. Yep. But that's a shit argument. Well, it's not. It's not an argument even in favor of the refine. It's just an argument in favor of what the what the refine can do. Yeah. Do you even the, know how you're arguing this? The results will be solid, but the, are the results worth the effort? Because, I mean, granted, when it comes to remixes, it's a bit of a cheat because they also get an actual skill, so you don't have to inherit that. But, like, for example, Dimitri is a lot easier to use, just yes. refined, and getting his Well, yes, of course. Uh, it, it's, again, cheating because he gets Clash already. Awesome. but And temp, Double Tempest, some people do that. Done. But it's a lot more complete right out the gate. In terms of even just refines, for example, like Flame Emperor can actually work pretty decently with low, no investment just because of how solid Flame Battle Axe is. Um, yes, we can correctly identify what's a good refine, but somehow yeah. this is, we had to have all this talk just to identify this is, a, at the end of the day, lackluster. Because if you can't even break into the top 10, in your respective class, we're not even talking about top 10 swords, period, top 10 god swords. He wouldn't even be, we're, he'd be nowhere near top 10 sword heroes in the entire game. Because then you bring in the calves, bring the armors, where is he supposed to be? He's not even there anymore. You bring in Lincia, for example, like it's not even an argument at that point. So just 10, top 10 god swords, and he can't even break that. That's problematic. Uh -huh. A refine should at least get you into the top 10, because then at least you can be competitive. That's unfortunate because Marita and Byleth and um What are you talking three, about? The upon their one? upon their releases, Byleth was top oh, ten. No, no, we no, I'm not talking about No no, I'm talking about post refine. Yeah, post refine. We did argue her in top ten. That's what we're talking about. Mm hmm Do you remember her post refine? We didn't have Fjorm back then. Or actually, did we? I no. think we did. No, we, we did were not. missing at least quite a few god swords. There was no Robin. For example. Well, the yes, I know there was no Robin. Okay, so the point time. is, on her on her refine, it was undoubtedly she was top 10. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think at the very bottom of, of, of that. No, of the, no probably we had her just out of top 5. Yeah. You were mm. there, what the heck? Well, no, I, no, I'm just taking a moment to, I'm just taking a moment to, to remember mind, how long was, ago that was. This is before speed scaling really picked up, which is where God Swords got a lot more cutthroat. Well, with. yeah, that's, that's the thing, it was, it the victim of circumstance in that sense and that god swords right after that but, started but that was what it was supposed to be better. she was top 10. that was how well, it's right, supposed to for be for a very brief moment in time i think but yeah that does okay well look <laughs> you want to know something probably next month we get another two god swords and then this is even worse for him mm. they've been slowing down on god swords recently okay well, but... sure dude uh Ish. if your argument's the brief moment in time it's a very bad argument because it immediately defeats itself in the near future. Yep. Well, yeah. I mean, it it all depends on how many god swords they release, and unfortunately, in that, in like the early okay, if you if you want to bet against that, sure, but you're that's a losing bet, and you should know that because in the past six months we've gotten so many new god swords in the top five. And also, just to be clear, the god well, sword does not constitute. It. Just, it depends on the. But the you're only arguing it, competitor. Well, I'm, argu god Lance or god Axe. I'm arguing that in yes. this earlier in this year, I think there were a, an unusually high sort of back to back to back to back. Yeah, basically every month swords. for a while was God Swords, and then yeah, it became early like in the month. year. It's in the since the past six months since summer. It's been essentially this. Well, then we had a little bit of a break in the in the last few months. I, like, I want to say right. October, what what November? break? We average over one God Sword a month because they double Do dip. Wait, hold we, on. What? Um, it's what either we say? averaged over one or one. It either way, it's not a good argument. Well, let me take a look. I'm curious what what the. I don't think that October had one, but uh, that's about Let's it. See. And again, even when we don't get a god sword, we can get something like Tamara as a god lance. Mm hmm. Remember, this counts in the refines as well. Yep, because we also got because oh, he's I a see. refine well, himself, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, you factor in God's words, very important. Then. Well, then yes, because you have to. Which I mean, that's a whole different question to itself. Where does he compare to Larsa? Because Larsa doesn't have scaling, but she does have reliable vital astras. 
And in my books, that's already better because that's what's that's the goal of the character. Spam Vital Astro. Mm -hmm. Or Imperial Astro, because if Shannon were to do that, I don't think Vital is better because the dodge DR is just like nothing. But I, I don't understand where this defense of Shan's coming from because it's a really shitty defense, by the way, if you haven't realized that by now. Well, it's, it's not even a full throated defense of the thing. I was just trying to put into perspective Shannon compared to no, other No, and then I try to put it in perspective why that's not accurate. What I, and I did because I, th because I think that it's comparable to other God's Word Well, at least a large size. Minus the slaying, which. Still, what the hell? I still think Larsay's is better, but. Uh... Again, that's not a very good argument. We're not seeing a bunch of Larsays running around. And then once again, we're going to round about this into, oh, but it's the favorites. Bruh. Command me. <laughs> well, no, the, the favorites thing isn't even an argument. It's just, it's you. you know, Let's if you like you your did favorites, argue go that. For it. Yeah. Well, that's a well, needless that's the thing argument. What's well, <laughs> Again, it's not, it's not an argument. I'm just paying that because you know technically it's true but nobody would argue all well. nobody would argue Shouldn't. it but the fact that it needs to be brought up is making it an argument but okay i thought it was just a brief brief mention but okay the, the point is a good refine at least in your own class gets you in the top 10 at least if, yes, if that's ideal, the starting ideal, point ideal. of a good refine that should be well five star locked anyways demote. well yeah demote yeah. okay sure but that should be understandable, which is why it's so weird to me that we had to talk about this for 20 minutes. I think it was because it was, I don't know, maybe I wasn't being clear in how I was trying to approach it. But I don't even know what you were trying to argue for at this point. I, again, again, I, was, I said just 30 seconds ago that it was that uh, Shannon's Refine, I felt, was comparable to Godsword Refines in general. That was my argument. And I see that um, that in you some can ways, rewind to the Larce refine. I'm pretty sure we had a better agreement on that one being good than this. I mean, hers is a lot clearer. Same Shannon with Byleth. It's, lot, it's like it fits into a role better for sure. Byleth, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh well, yeah, Byleth was also benefited so, by coming earlier. If, which uh, had a better I, uh, coming. Sure. Er, what? Huh? No, I'm saying coming earlier when there wasn't as much competition. And therefore oh, well, more but a, even if we were to put them in context to each other now, I mean, the big thing Shannon does have going for him is stat scaling, but stat scaling aside, Byleth has DR piercing and no follow-up. Worse DR by a considerable margin, but for the fact that she has full no follow-up and DR piercing and slaying off the cuff. Yeah, her refine is probably more... And also considering that Marita... Wow, you admitted it. <laughs> Marita well, drops no, I mean, it's defensive not hard tempo. To admit that. Well, Marita if you can drops admit it, defensive tempo for dull. Not only did she launch better, she ended up better. So then... Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, by... So then who thing. are you talking about? Which average god well, I was, ta I was talking about Larce and talking about Marita and things like those. They were fine uh, specifically, not I their think we on can launch, I know. argue that they're better... Larsay, we can argue, but the only one you have something on is Marita, and Marita's not exactly bad. Marita fits the role better than... Well, she fits. She does fit the traditional god sword archetype due to just she having the spamming god, sword. god The spamming special kind of god sword archetype, which is sweet. But that's about it. And then Larsay is sort of the... Well, also that. Well, yeah, she is that as well. Oh, yeah, Marita has damage reduction piercing. Yeah. yeah, both Marita, both Marita, for all intents and purposes, regular Marita's Refine is just Creator Sword, but it yeah, drops it's very defensive tempo, to creator sword, drops yeah. defensive tempo for dulling speed defense, okay, I'm, which I'm just is practical. Then what are we even talking about? Then we, <laughs> this is pretty well set. Yeah. Well, but, well, this is on the bottom later. end of web of of sword refines. Then these ones are the ones that Violet and Marita, I would argue, are probably the tenth placers, roughly. Yeah, so sort of rounding that's up where, bottom ten. That's I guess. where they're. That's where Shannon's competing. Realistically, how does Shannon do against those two? Out of curiosity, he doubles like, them easily. That okay. part's no problem. But but of course, when he when it comes to the very top guy, actually, he's gonna have. Do you, I'm gonna check that, cause... Do you 
like I'm, I'm starting to feel like people are just forgetting heroes in the top 10. Well, I, like I just said, he's probably going to have more trouble with with those mm -hmm. heroes in the in the top of echelon, like the top five. The bottom of top 10, he may be able to... No, even into the bottom of top 10, because I'm starting to feel like you guys don't remember everyone in the top 10. There's a lot of them. Okay. Well, I'm, well, on, I'm on, well, on point. I'm we've on got, point. Uh, we've got... <laughs> okay, Legion. So you've got, let's see, what? Fallen Female Bioth, we've got Summer Fjorm. Yep, uh, top two. We've got... Yeah, I guess now we've got Severa. Um, yep. I don't know if we. I guess we count Brave Male Robin because he's not really God's sword. Yes. He's like still. Trans Brave Male Robin will but whip his ass. So, so yes, you count him. Well, no. Well, well of course, but I'm just saying. Anyway, counting the God sword. He, 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 he's close ways. enough. He fits it more. Is, he fits right. more as a God sword than. Uh, well, he's, <laughs> he fits I more mean, of a God sword than than Shannon does. Well, yeah, more traditionally stat wise. Then what? a weird argument. Then yeah, go ahead. Despite how weird Robin is, he still has a lot of the God Sword attributes. It's just that well, yeah, he, does, he has the DR, instead of having has... all of them, he does some more unique stuff. But even what yeah, he has, um, is, an offensive-oriented version of not only competes with Shannon, he has the full tempo Shannon already has. <laughs> yeah, that is true, and speed plus three at that. But um, let's see some of the others. I guess you would so, put Brave Marth up there as well. Yes. Um, yes. Let's see. Looking for the others. So, Fallen Female um, Violet ascended for Felix Alir. You have to put Alir up there because of the charge and stat scaling. Summer Fjorm, okay, so. Brave Mill Robin, Lucia, Brave Marth, and then from there you're going to be looking at. How how many is that? Uh, that that that, to that mm, totals up to eight or nine if you want to count both Alirs. Don't. Um, okay. So that's eight right there. And then from there, you can put in Marita and Byleth to round okay, out Okay, so rounding out top ten. You still have characters like Ascended Fair that you can consider, Male Chez to uh, consider. Put in... Uh, Male Chez is pretty much just dunked on by... Um, who's the, the more recent version of... Uh, oh, of yeah. Um, Harkin. Harkin, yeah. Okay. Although Harkin's... I mean, Harkin's not a god sword, but yeah. No. So what's think, the argument there then? <laughs> I think Shez. Well, you well the argument in, is that Shez if you want to put in Harkin, then you'll put in Diama, and then he's even it's further no, out no, on top ten. What, what is this? I'm just saying Shez. Okay, he's better than Shez belongs in there. We're talking about Godswords right like now. Diyama. That's why I'm saying this is making no sense. That's what I'm saying because Shez. As somebody who hates Diama, I will say that Shannon's at least better than that. I think. I have no idea about that. Because yeah. we're, if we're going to argue because, oh, hey, Shannon can take on Lucia, uh, Diamond takes on a lot of god swords for some reason, so... Diamond hurts them. He can't take squat for damage, despite what it looks like. I'm... okay, sure. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know about that. Okay. 25 DR is... 25% true defense DR does not look as great as on paper or in execution as it is on paper. I've had him die to a lot of gods. Okay, well, this wasn't my argument. I, would, no, 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 I, I wasn't just, the one who brought him in, nor Harkin. I'm just a Diamond hater, but anyways. Uh, Again, Harkin is not not on no, the list. I, was, I, I know, but why did, you brought him in for some reason. Well, okay, I was sure, bringing him up because of, because of male Shez. Because I, I was thinking, wait, isn't there someone who outclassed him? And I couldn't remember who it was. So. Okay. Well, there is. But at least Shannon falls below the 10 that I've listed. And of course, you can bring up spice options as well, like Shez. Um, so it'd be realistically like 11 or 12 or something. Right around there. Right around there. But keeping in mind, what does this put him above? <laughs> Fallen yeah. Marita, which I, uh, I'm yeah, going to say see. he's probably above Fallen Marita because Fallen Marita. Marita is so nonsense. Um, Puts her above Malice. So. Uh, young Mia, young Erica, Marita, um, like Fawn Ike for now. Yeah, and also that for now. Like, uh, Flavia, yeah, he wins Catherine. some stuff, but most of these units are from 2021. And right, the older units. The reason why they lose is because their weapons have like two effects. <laughs> so yeah, he beats those. Hooray! That's that's where so. Does I'm, that yeah. put it into perspective? At best, he might be tenth. At best, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. That's 
He's definitely... But he shouldn't be intense, is the real reality of it all. Well, yes, if he had a truly good refine, he would be if catapulted he, into... If he had a... If he had slang, I could probably bump up a couple points. Yeah, I will probably. say that they were fighting an uphill battle with a 36-speed godsword in the first place, but at least he could have kind of gotten a little further. As it is outside of top 10, I think it's totally reasonable, and that's... Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> That's just unfortunate, is what that is. That's why I don't see it, see it as an average refine. It's a below average, average refine. It, it, if it's missing something, because if he had that one little thing, he probably would have made top ten, and then we wouldn't even have to have any of this talk. Well, yeah. I mean, I wish he had a little bit more, but unfortunately yes. not. Okay, then that should clarify things. So yeah, let's put yeah, it this so way. Puts it I mean, into perspective of being a little think a little something missing compared to the uh, even the average refine it depends on what you call an average refine because you could argue like percival is oh an well not refine. no no sorry not the average refine i mean the average god sort of fine if but, i think yeah. i think slaying would have basically made it an average god sort of fine yes at that point. the big thing is it's almost good enough but it's below average by a small mark and in a meta that is as cutthroat that matters a lot I can, I can see it was a little a little worse off than I had originally thought. Uh, I almost thought I missed dailies. Yeah. Uh, nicely. Well, not so nicely, but... Yeah. I thought legendary weapons... For some reason my monitor turned turn off. Oh, that's weird. I thought legendary weapons for FE4 were supposed to be special and big, and then most of the refines they've been given to him have been. They're all. It's your thing, were. Um, for a fine. But Gabe Bolg was kind of whatever. This has been, you know, acceptable, but nothing special. Yeah. Between Balbong um, and Earth and Gabe Bolg, they definitely aren't the most. Meta oh wow, that that's a lot of lag, yeah. Oof. Yeah, because I reset the monitor, which would uh I see it's taking its time. There we go, it seems better now. Um, Alright, Dex, you you suck dick. I want you to know that. <laughs> we had a we had a fairly productive conversation. How was that productive? <laughs> well it's productive for me, I don't know if it was for you. For you, yes, for you. I mean, we got to compare a bunch of god swords, and we got to see ex explicit matchups. But I already um, knew he was because... outside of the top ten. I gave him, I gave him an easy one because I didn't even think he would beat Marita, or I thought he would. I thought he would tie. That's oh, why on, I shut brought up, it up. Sugma. You're you're a snowflake. You blocked me, so you don't you don't get to you don't get to. Oh, try he to blocked you. Cash. He wow. he blocked me on Discord, but on the stream, he still tries to like, I guess, uh, communicate in some ways. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why. It produced words. Yes, it produced words. Well, I'm glad you understand what... In terms of speedy, we're talking about god swords. So, sword heroes, infantry heroes with speed. Mm -hmm. It's on the bottom half of this. Do you understand that now? <laughs> Can we agree on that? Well, yeah. This is not or on the top half, it's on the bottom half. Yes, I would argue only by a little bit, but yes. You want characters to be memorable or and have a moment to shine. He's basically just being free to play heroes like Astrum, for example. Well, <laughs> well I, I, would, I would certainly hope so. Or like older god swords. Yeah, even older than he is, so it's not a good look. But whatever. It is what it is, and it is reset. What do we got? Beyond uh, yours. Oh, oh that's it. that nice. And Hero's Journey again. I love the Hero's Journey orbs. I can't eat Yeah, that. three orbs a day for several days is really nice. Twelve orbs total. Yeah. I mean, I guess to your benefit, I'll say that as somebody who does like Shannon, I did refine Bombung, but that is purely because I actually like the guy. I, if not for that, pff, yeah, right. Well, that's the only reason I got his forma uh, and why I refined him, so yeah. Yeah. Was this what it was? You're just coping with your decision to get his form up? 
<laughs> well, no, oh I think I, I think I probably would have argued. I probably would have argued for this anyway, at least a little bit. Um, but seeing seeing it in perspective definitely um, definitely makes it a little a little easier to see exactly where he fits in, which was indeed a little lower than I thought. Still yes. not, I don't think, astronomically lower than what I was thinking. But. <laughs> I I would hope nobody goes out our way to form a hero and wait for the refine just to end up being on top 10 of the respective classing. Truly would hope that's not what people are trying to do. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Is that just my connection or did everything slow down? That was probably my connection, yeah. I would hope when you use a Forma, you're betting on this character being top 10, easy. Yeah, or, <laughs> it's a, it's a or big just, cost, dude. Or I like the character, and I was like, I, I, then I'll it wouldn't the matter either way. I like the character. Yeah, exactly. To be usable in a real meta context, if I'm at, unless I really got the Forma for the sake of liking it, like I did with Erica. But like most Formas I get are for meta purposes, and while I have made a couple poor bets they generally are supposed to be units that i know can be used like flora like myrrh and they are shannon mm -hmm. i wouldn't i would never i bet on larcy because i believed in larcy but i would, I would never bet on shannon <laughs> well, I, I put a little more stock into him because of having uh a ball among and sort of having the the i guess you could say presence that he does Within Effie uh, Four, but Larce made it very clear she is supposed to be Ira's daughter, so she is. Well, yeah, she got her Ira treatment. Clean setup, unfortunately for Shannon. <laughs> Although slower. But yeah, if I didn't like him, I probably wouldn't have gotten his forma. Hmm. I'll admit this much, I'm kind of tempted to trade Fruit Eleonora. It seems like a fun unit, but... That does seem fun. Uh, but it makes it, me wonder if Shamir will just power creep her. Because <laughs> Shamir also has Fire Sweep, but uh, she is, she's guaranteed to keep her well, she's as well. Uh, yeah, I guess. I like my, my trees colorless for meta purposes. That's why I use Jomka. And why I gave Jomka Nino. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you're like the biggest Jomka super fan that I've ever known. Yep. Jomka's a good bet. <laughs> that, that one I'm actually kind of glad about. I was kind of surprised by that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have Arcane Darkbow now, but he still works plenty fine. He does still work, provided you don't run into someone who's stacking all their speed to the moon. Which mm. you do run into. And even still, he is. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick wash or break. I'm gonna right. start setting up for the next part of this. Uh, <sighs> part three of many. It's been easier to like edit videos because I've been learning. I have a I got a new 4K monitor on the side, so Ooh. yeah, that I can helps. edit without being completely focused on editing now. Which, which helps nice. because editing when you completely focus on it when you're dead tired is oh <laughs> it's impossible Oof, yeah yeah that sounds like mine slowing down to a halt mm. uh. ideally we find someone to edit but we make no money <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it's hard. hard it's hard to incentivize people with that mm -hmm. be you a know. payless editor and get lots of praise and thank yous no, I, I always pay people half of what the ad revenue earns. Ah, okay. But now it earns nothing, so it doesn't matter. Right. Why does Kronya get res on Press Flower? What's this? <laughs> I didn't know that. Alright. Ah. Be right back, chat, and grab some water. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, these two will talk about how bad Shannon is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, yeah, we'll, we'll spend more, more time. <laughs>
I will say that if I were to use him, it would be as a sword near save because at least he has a defense stat. But well, yeah, that's, that's about thing. it. Well, that's, also, I well, was thing dumb. I like no, Kranya's res is last. I just oh, her res is last eyes. instead of first. Yeah, because it's HP on first flower every time. I'm just oh, stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. No, so instead of talking about how bad Shannon is, uh, Which I don't know. Not true, because he's okay. But um, let's see. I guess we could talk about how. Well, realistically, between Iago and Baladar. Um, Baladar. Which one? Well, I I wasn't I wasn't gonna say which one's better. I was gonna say just which one do you think is more fun to use or fits uh, fits your play style more? Still Validar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, you're like, a lot of fun tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, to be clear, I did refine Iago already, but uh, the problem Still with Iago is I don't really have a lot of places I could use him right now. If we get a fourth tier pulse tie and it's working out nicely, maybe I could go further with Iago. But as it stands, it's just the problem is I'm basically using a unit that isn't a unit. I'm using a unit that has good support. Well, uh, that's the thing. Half the time he actually is a unit, though. He is actually a unit half up. the time, but half the time. But the other yeah. half of the time, he's hard to kill. So you know. this is still a unit with no damage reduction. <laughs> well, I'm dropping yeah, well, the pretense. There's, there's a little bit of Lucina damage reduction that you can do, and then auto follow up. But that's only player you know. phase, and you're using a exactly. player phase unit to live things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at this point, at this point, I'm memeing, but it's, it's funny to think about the possibilities. So the thing with Iago, dropping the pretenses of how cool the concept is. He doesn't have any damage reduction, and follow-up manipulation is great and all, but defensive and offensive no follow-up are too common. Well, yeah, so, but that's, that's the same problem you run into with Validar, so... Well, yes, but Validar actually does damage. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That, that's why one is more focused on damage and the other is more... Yeah, so he more can supportive. actually do something with his combat, so... Mm. All right, back. Let's do this. Welcome back. It is time. I'm five time for me to sleep while you're doing this probably all right that sounds good i will also try to get to some degree of reasonable sleep tonight yep mm -hmm. all right Ideally. well you have a great time with this uh yes best of luck at least we shaved some time off with refines hope, a little bit yeah hope the wait was worth uh i will see you guys i mean up probably be on tomorrow if you're doing co-commentary but I'll yeah i'll be here if so all right then i'll probably be around again all have right. a good night Hi everybody nice. night, yep, night. good night to all oh wait before i do though this was uh this was a new mic did i sound any better you still sound like a cocksucker <laughs> <laughs> wow okay that's that's high praise indeed i'm sure all right, uh, you sound slightly better, but your uh, your internet still ruins a lot of things, and that gets easier to notice. You still have to tune your microphone; it's clearer though. Well, yeah, I turned down the gain pretty much to the to the minimum. Um, there are a couple more settings I can mess with, and I need to get a pop filter. But other than that, I think it's I think it's better. So yeah, you, you could just put in your throat. Yeah, I I should definitely just start deep throating mics. That'll that'll make everything easier. I think you're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not awk. Let's let's differentiate ourselves a little bit here yeah you only do and it once in a while <laughs> <laughs> well anything's better than doing it however many times Ock does it anyway good night everyone all right rest in peace all right chat i've been looking forward to this so uh we're only playing a bit of it tonight maybe even an hour uh our sponsor for tonight break the loop our sponsor for tonight is break the loop it's a turn-based rpg roguelike and it involves time traveling. You compose your team, you create a timeline, and you select the events you go through, and each decision will bring one step closer to the ultimate threat. And the idea is, can we get strong enough to fight off the apocalypse? The reason why this is a big deal is because it's a Kickstarter game. It's an early access. You can play the demo right now to try it out. And if you really like it, support the game by pledging. They have 115 pledges thus far, which is pretty good. They have raised $15,000, so they beat their goal. But of course, as we all know, it's always better to go better, do better than just the goal. 
I'll play the videos and whatnot tomorrow. So I'm gonna do half of this tonight, half of it tomorrow. But currently, let's just go over this. The story is, humanity is coming to an end. Ab Abyssal monster has awakened, determined to enslave the world. But that was without counting on the tech ingenuity, ingenuity of Frederick, a genius chronomancer, who with the help of his time machine, forms the top team of the greatest heroes of the past. Reading through this got me interested immediately. I do have one key to give away, but I'll give it away tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, basically let's try it out tonight. It's very fun. I love I love the graphics. It reminds me of Adventure Time, if anyone's ever watched. Well, it reminds me of like modern American cartoons, the whimsical fun fun ones. Anyways, you compose your team of four heroes from 12 available. You create your own timeline for a multitude of random events. You face your opponents in an original turn-based combat system. You strengthen your heroes before facing the ultimate threat. Right now, you can play the demo. And their goals right now, 10,000 euros, new biome. At 15,000, new game plus system, new hidden boss, and mechanics for unlocking it. So their first goal is already big, right? Background, monsters, dialogue events, and new music. The second one, new game plus will add a lot of replayability. If they get to 20,000, transition animations added, like the introduction animation, add a bit more depth to the game, more polish. And at 25,000, even more heroes and more capsules. Here are some examples of characters you have. Pepper Beard, Buccaneer, Helmut, Vital Vitalist, Foxman, Bounty Hunter. And yeah, there's classing in this game as well. And this is Elysian, the Pyromancer. Anyways, here's some of the characters. Albrecht, Mustache Knight, Elysian, Blazing Valkyrie, Helmet, bloody, bloody therapist, lay Afro Elemental. Adventure time is no longer modern, dude. Nim sad, unless okay. you count the spin-offs. The point I, is, we are old AF. Nim sigh. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You're old. I'm not old. You're old. Okay. Listen, it's still a very nice animation. Like the art quality is really nice. Art style is really nice. The animation quality is really nice. Generally speaking, I'm a fan of all of this. Anyways. My head's kind of blocking it, but for the low price of one dollar, you can support them. For two euros, uh, officially, sorry, for two euros, you officially support them. And for sixteen dollars or sixteen euros, you get a you get the base game and da 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 credit in your name in the credits. That always makes me happy whenever I back a Kickstarter. That's actually probably the biggest reason why I back Kickstarters because I want to be. I want to be in the credits. You also get an exclusive Discord role, and game, and one more thing, which is, I don't know. Anyways, Digital Deluxe, Time Expert, whatever. We'll go through this in detail tomorrow. Let's just get into the game. Uh, some quick screenshots from Steam, which by the way, if you guys are interested in playing the game, here it is. And if you click the link, it'll go to Kickstarter, but yeah, from Kickstarter, you can get to the Steam link. Anyways, right now the demo is out. So give it a try if you're so inclined. But yeah, let's play it. I've been looking forward to playing this. I'll do this again tomorrow and I'll give away a copy. All right, let's do this. Ooh, it has good audio balancing immediately. I'm always scared of bad audio balancing. We would like to inform you that our video game collects several types of data during your play. By giving our consent to the collection of this data, you are helping to improve our game and its balance. You can withdraw our consent at any time, or I'll agree. I'll decrease the volume a bit. Though I think the volume is perfect, to be honest. You guys can't hear it yet because I haven't put it up. Alright, perfect.
Let's play. Pretty stylish opening. Hurry, heroes. Our world is on the brink of extinction. In the past, your heroic deeds have left an indelible mark on our history. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's probably why I said inedible. And today, we still need your help. I brought you back to our timeline to limit the tentacled menace. By following my instructions, you have a 98% chance of surviving. At least you can use the backfire on the target with burn. It will give you power for your next attacks. Okay, I just realized this is way too big. Let's play it at... 1440p. So, backfire? Oh, animation's not bad. Elysian's out of energy, so it's your turn to shine, Lee. Air Squall targets two opponents, so it's your most effective skill in this combat. And we only have a certain amount of energy. The energy defines physical position of the heroes and their order of action. The resource progressively charges in battle until it reaches 100, allowing to take action when consuming a certain amount of energy. Oh, shoot, it pierced. Wait, I'm down. Huh, hmm, yes, indeed. Enemies sometimes have singularities to watch out for, but is that my fault? Singularity. Some monsters may have a singularity represented by an exact exclamation mark on the life bar. Its effect can be temporarily neutralized by using a skill that applies silence. So there's debuffs in this game. I don't like to flaunt my genius too much, but to avoid making a stupid kama taking a stupid kamikaze attack, just kill him without touching him. Use Shroud of Flame and let Burn do its job. Shroud of Flame. Now he's Burn, and he dies through Burn. Ah, nice. Capsules, capsules improve the efficiency of your heroes. To equip a capsule, simply drag it to your hero's inventory to make your choices easier at any time. You can view your hero's files by holding down the control key. All right. And like a lot of these games, we get a reward. You finish a fight quickly. You can collect 15 big coins and 100 croniums. Choose one reward. Armored. For each echo missing, reduce damage by 33%. Every time the hero removes an unbreakable charge, they remove an additional one. Reflects 20% damage received from an attack. Thorn armor. I'm going to presume we can use these infinitely. Each echo missing. I don't know what an echo is, so I'll take the armor. Ah, oh, like that. All right, we keep going to next next part. Chat, how's the audio? I think it might be too low for you guys. Since you don't belong to this timeline, you can't technically die. You will cause major temporal paradox, but nothing insurmountable. These regenerators, in addition to providing you with some interesting effects, can synchronize you to overcome this problem. In addition to free heals, enjoy services designed for your needs. Buff 3. I'll take buff 3. Removes change of dephasing on each hero. Alright, I'll take the... Like that? Oh, there you go. Oh, but we have to synchronize. All right, we have to pay it. Heroes start with a random passive, but as their adventure progresses, they can unlock two more, creating new synergies with their teammate. Cost 50% less max HP during one fight. Get an electrical shock to improve your skills. If you stay alive, it's worth it. Oh, okay. Did I not take damage? Was I supposed to pay for it? Or did I take the damage right as we start the next fight? I forgot to mention, time is running out. Each skill will consume your energy and reduce the value of the timer. Finish your battles before the timer reaches zero, and you'll be rewarded with Chronium. Warning, if the Hourglass runs out or out more than once, you'll all suffering defrazing. 
This one looks like he's already on fire. Applies a burn every 100 energy to the timer. Charge a burn on the target. We, we always apply burn. So we want to put more burn on him. Yeah, burn's working. That AoE is pretty good. Fire pillar applies burn. Oh, I, th I think we're just stacking burn. Oh, dodge. Heroes generate echo at the start of each turn. This resource can be used to trigger more powerful techniques. By holding out alt when hovering over a skill, you can bring up information on keywords. Oh, that's smart. Transforms affliction into a burn and increases their damage by 25%. We're still early on, so let's just try things. Burn. Okay, we took a lot of damage unnecessarily. Maybe we should have just gone for the kill there. Uh, I think we just air squall and be done with it. Yeah. You finish the fight quickly. You collect six big coins and 100 chromium. Start with shield 75. For each echo missing, reduce damage. Friendship increases damage and healing by 4%. Decreases damage taken by 4% for each friendship capsule equipped. Oh, so you should stack them. But I want, I want a shield first. We're almost at our first boss. Genie of the Lamp. What are the chances of finding the legendary magic lamp in this ruined world? By rubbing it, a genie appears and asks you what you wish. Power rules this world, so the more you have, the better. Since the <laughs> That's like Animal Crossing. Since the beginning of the adventure, I have a little pain in my chest. I have more and more difficulty to breathe. I think I may have a little anxiety attack or maybe a virus. I think I want power. Genie grants you your wish and makes you stronger. Heroes gain one power and three crit. I think we can get a get away with not healing for a bit longer, even though we we're on the boss. Oh, oh, that's bad. That's a shame. But at least they brought me back some flux in, which will make the next expedition easier. I'm also adding two more heroes to counterbalance this mind control situation. Game over. But I think you have to lose on the first one. Parameters adjusted, more fluxins collected, 200 chromiums transferred, preparing for the next affliction. During missions, collect Fluxin, a time resource that is preserved even in the event of failure, using them to unlock talents that will improve your heroes as the adventure progresses. There are several talents in each category, but only the selected one is active. All right, again, robustness, more HP. Critic. Starts with more big coins. Oh, we can start more money. I don't know what echoes do yet, so we'll find out. Adds a superior modifier on each segment of the timeline. Three heroes start with a common capsule. I only have two, so I get money or HP. I'll get HP. Though critic could be damage. If I hold alt, can I find out? No. All right. Sure, I'll take HP. It's never bad for HP. All right, we can officially put in more. Frederick himself. So we need a support unit now. Frederick, Helmut, or Zoe. Zoe looks like she definitely heals, and I'll need that. Now we get a tank. Foxman. Upper B. It's Apostle. And then Albrecht. I'll take Albrecht. Is Albrecht the guy who fights the fights the windmill? My work, a time machine. I've designed a simplistic interface to suit your intellect. Just drag the circles into circles. Yes, yeah, some circles have different shapes, which I've called modifiers. Dragging an event into a modifier will alter its original function. It's up to you to experiment. Okay. Reroll the remaining events. Set a modifier. Unlock a tile and an event. Huh. Unlock a tile in an event. Oh! Oh, I see how this works. 
So I want a healing closer to the boss fight. And I can put a chest down. And I can put a forge down. But I do want to fight still. Ram Dilemma. Sure, I'll take that. Early on, let's do that. Oh, the fights are the mandatory events. I see, I see. This makes some sense. Um, money or forge? I think I'll remove forge. I don't think we need forge early on. Let's do it. So you can choose your own adventure to a certain degree. Tell me, this time, don't you want to take your time before you die? It's my binge watching day. <laughs> okay. Corrupt optimizer. Sacrifice the health of two heroes. Get an electric shot to improve your skills. If you stay alive, it's worth it. All right. Oh, I can't pay for it. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. All right. I, I think you want that early on, so you can just heal back up by the end of it. Keep as much HP as you can for the main fight. Aegis Zephyr applies dodge. Okay. I'll take dodge. Buff him and his ally. Nice. I want my physical units to... Uh, this reminds me of Dark and Darker, like a place like this. I want my physical units to... Um, okay, we haven't dodged anything. To be more tanky. Alright, let's hit everybody. Put some burn on them. Nice. Over a long battle, this goes really far. Apply silence and poison. Sleeping gas. Is it only one person? Alright, he's silenced now at least. Dodge, nice. We finally got a dodge. Applies plus 50 energy to heroes in the last position. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. He, um, I like Alberic. That's a good combination. 100% hit rate. So maybe we should just get a kill early on now. I think burn applies at the start of battle. Fire pillar. Stacks and burns. All right, one kill. Oh, he got hit. Oh, but you want them to die without a combat. Otherwise, you get punished for it. I see, I see. For each charge of burn on the target. Hit the big guy. Should probably heal soon. Blindness. Oh man. Despite being a tank, he's really good at debuffing. They're blind right now. Put the survival potion on the ground, which heals the first hero weakened. Plus 50. Okay. Let's just heal. Nice. It's nice to have a healer. We have a much more complete party now. Oh, nice. Triple dodge. Oh, does everyone dodge at the same time? Okay. If the target has unbreakable, gains critical. All right, let's do it. Unbreakable. Oh, shoot. We're running out of time. The timer decreases according to energy expended. Finishing the fight on time gives a bonus chromium. If a timer runs out, each fear suffers defazing. Okay, so we only have so much time to finish the battles. I, I can't just experiment too much. That was not a lot of damage. I'm glad we're dodging, though. Apply stealth. 
applies poison. <laughs> Thanks, Legion. Agility. We're not killing anything right now. Uh, but maybe next turn we get a kill. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get hit. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. We're taking way too long in this fight. Homemade smoke grenade, healing potion. Can we get our energy back the next fight? That's the part I, I'm curious about. There you go. Oh, dodge! Oh no, we won the fight though. We're done. We took way too long to finish that fight though. This is starting to get problematic. We earned zero chromiums. We took way too long. Use echo and does damage applies a burn. An attack that uses echo. When the hero becomes weakened, all allies gain two echo. As long as there are three or more enemies, reduce the damage taken by 15%. Reduce damage taken. Ah, uh, this helps. But I also want more damage output, so let's get the burn. Can you not hear the music? Is it too light? Okay, maybe I should increase this stuff a bit. Swollen! Dude! Thank you so much for the raid! How's your stream? Let me give you a shout out. What's up, dude? I'm, I'm doing a sponsorship right now for Break the Loop. Which is a uh, time traveling, roguelike sci fi RPG game. It's pretty fun. It's like Dark and Darker, kind of, without the. Wait, Dark and Darker might not be the correct game. Crud. I'm too tired to think of the correct game. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's really fun thus far. Thank you guys. Blah, 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 it's Count Nightula. Thanks, Ignis. What's up, dude? Thank you for the Dingus raid. Thank you, I'm Ome Te Tevin, WWE Carl. Oh, shoot. Uh, do I have my full only mode? I'll turn it off. Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, yeah, it's Darkest Dungeon. Reminds me of Darkest Dungeon as well. Anyways, it's really fun. The idea is that we're trying to save the world from a apocalypse, and we have a... A chronomancer, so someone who deals with time, and he's bringing together the best heroes throughout history to create a team to fight against this. The chest is certainly abandoned. No problem to recover its content. We got 15 big coins. Nice, nice. Thank you, Al Almighty Goki. Thank you so much for follow. Welcome. Reminds me of Slay the Spire, but I did try that for the first time recently, so that explains it. Oh yeah, Slay the Spire is also really good. Alright, we're gonna apply dodge first. I wanna minimize damage taken. Nice dodge. Once you dodge the first blow, you dodge all the blows. Alright. Fire pillar. I don't know what this thing is. But applying burn early on will increase damage output. Eh. Anyways, the game is really awesome. If you guys do ch uh, check it out, do uh, exclamation mark break. If the game's on Kickstarter right now, there's a demo. So if anyone's interested, uh, it's very readily available to be played. Wait, is that the ult? Well, that's a lot of damage. Look at all those debuffs. Okay, despite this guy being a tank, he dodges really easily. Applies fragility. I think fragility increases damage output from other characters. All right, let's hit both. Oh, he heals. He actually heals. Oh, that's okay. I'll take that. Well, let's silence him. 
There you go. Did he fall asleep? Applies blindness, applies armor, and removes two ram debuffs, afflictions. I have no afflictions. Let's try and beat this one up. Or we have some time. Does it wake him up when he takes damage? No, he's just silenced at this point. We're running out of time. Used all hopefully if we if we get the win early, we get extra goodies. Burn him. Oh, cool, we did it. Just in time. You finished the fight quickly and collect eight seven big seven big coins and hundred chromium. And let's go for armor, sensor, flick science at the it's flicks. On the enemy who has already has one. Increases critical pop by 5%. I think purple is higher rarity, so we'll take it. I was trying out GTA London as part of my extra life donation goals. Dude, that's shouts to you for doing that for charity. Pretty difficult if you're not used to how the older GTA play Monk Omega, but I got about halfway through it. Nice. It's been a long time since I played GTA. Did you watch the GTA trailer that came out yesterday? Unholy Altar. A monument stands in the middle of the forest. The orb is in the center emits a dark glow that intrigues you. As an expert in danger, I advise you to step back to fully taste the evil horror from it. This macabre edifice is clearly linked to the abominations that surround us, and will reduce it to ashes. Let's study it. Trying to understand the will of Yat Sogith is a mistake. Your perception is altered. The next three events on your route are reset and become unknown. No! I needed the healing before the boss. Uh-oh, I messed up. Bad plays by me. Okay. Sleeping gas. There's a burn applied on him already. Get him to sleep. Huh. If the target dies, applies protection 2 to the ally with the lowest HP. So I want to save that a bit longer. Applies blindness. Protection mustache. I think I should use Aegis Sphere again. He dodges pretty easily. I'll, I'll try to improve dodge on my uh, softer characters. Dodge is so good. All right, Fire Pillar. Yeah, hit everybody. Apply burn on everybody. And let's go. Wait, what else did you do? Did you just play GTA London the entire night? I was doing the, the data mine for the new new heroes and stuff. Fifty percent chance of applying burn. Trans affliction into burn. I think we should use Backfire. Try and get the kill. Let him burn himself out. Oh, he's not even attacking. Alright, that's good. Apply Stealth? Yeah. Oh, it didn't die! No! I was hoping he burns out. Eighty-four, ninety-seven damage. Plus fragility. Forty-eight damage. Fragility applied. Fragility. Oh crap! I should just finish that off. Foolish of me. Oh shoot! We're really taking a long time on this fight. All right, let's do it. That didn't kill? What? Per missing energy on target? Uh, Alright, let's get the kill there then. Wait, this would also get the kills, let's do it.
Nice. One remaining. Meteor Strike. Do I want to hold that? It takes 80 energy. Or do you want to just get to the boss without taking more damage? We do have Zoe next. So maybe if we blind him. Ugh, let's, just, let's just end this. I did watch the trailer. Lined up pretty well with the stream. And thanks to Charity, I did it last year. And our group raised 7.6k. Wow. Of which I'm a measly 350. Oh. <laughs> I thought you raised 350 yourself. There was a time when I was a, a part of a lot of um, charity streams and whatnot. Not to toot my horn, but uh, in a year we raised 10 grand. It was a lot of money. Or actually, was it 10 grand? I think, oh, sorry, it was 4 grand. But that was a lot of money back then. Uh, concentrate the damage, affliction reducing their duration by one stack. And increase the damage of the first tick. Huh. These are really good. It should be definitely one of these. Concentrates affliction. Maybe that sh maybe that should be on Zoe. Anyways, I don't think there's anything wrong in being proud of what you do for charity. But uh, I'm, really, I'm really happy for you. It's been a long time since I did anything for charity. Yes, it looks tougher, more destructive, faster, and snarlier than ever you've seen. You've ever seen. But don't chicken out and prove to me that you can kill him faster than you thought possible, and you'll be rewarded in Chromium. Be bold, stay safe. Let's be bold. It's not a big, big difference. All right, first of all, let's try and silence and poison him. Our first boss. Poison fragility. Nice, nice. Oh, shoot. The mind control. He took my healer. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. More damage per... Plus 30% healing if, the, if it's weakened. Fire pillar. Uh, I don't want to hit my own guy. But I don't know how long this goes on for. Jeez. Just do some damage. Maybe the quicker we end this, the better. Let's apply dodge. Nice dodge. Backfire. I have to hit my own guy. Maybe in two turns. Oh, there's only control for two turns. Uh, why you take my healer? Keep doing damage. That seems to be doing a lot of extra damage. I think we got this. Nice dodge. One more turn of control. Oh, there's only one one burn. All right, we don't know his HP anymore. Applies blindness. There, make everyone blind. Oh, he's back on our team. Nice, nice. MVP, MVP, so much damage output. Apply silence. Oh no, that's a bad dodge. He's almost down. Nice, we dodged the mind control. Finish him. No, 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 no. Oh my God. <laughs> Good lord, this one's annoying. Alright, we're, we're done. That should be it, right? No? Let's try again. That should be it. There you go. Yay, our first boss clear. Let's go. 
Congratulations, you finished the fight quickly. You collect 14 big coins, 200 chromiums, and two fluxins. Choose one reward. After 50% of the timer, Zoe gains 25% more power. Geomancer gains... Oh, that's so good. Let's take that. And then we get to the next line of stuff. Alright, chat. Let me take a second. Anyways, it's so late, man. There's so much stuff to do as of late. I'm starting to get burnout. I'm thinking this Thursday, I'll take a day off. <laughs> Swollen, how often do you stream? Man. If you're still here, if you gotta go, totally understand. I'm dead tired myself. Uh, I need to stream earlier tonight. I'll, I was trying to start at 6. If we start at 6, I think we've gotten everything done by now. That's a lot of money you raise yourself. It really does feel nice. I, I think doing it with the community helps foster. I saw you were doing the damage too. Uh, I'll surely assume it was redeemed. I, it redeemed book eight. <laughs> Not quite, but that's a good, that's good faith that you have. Uh, I don't know who Nyat Nyat is. I just try out, I just, I try just about every day if I can, but often fatigue and IRL stuff take me out of it. I actually try to dodge Saturdays if I can help it. I try to stream every day as well. It's, necess it's necessary of how much stuff just to go every single day. Alright, chat. Give me a minute. You can take tomorrow off, Nimsai, if you do. Then I'll have to wish you luck for Thursday stream right now, since I won't be able to catch Thursday stream. Wait, why are you telling me to take tomorrow off? Why can I take tomorrow off? The answer is no, I can't take tomorrow off. Why can't I take tomorrow off? Because tomorrow we have to do the Refine Showcase, and I think I'm going to do uh, GTFO with um, GTFO the game. So yeah. I said I wanted to take Thursday off. You missed GT- Ignis, are you also a GTFO player? I have a slot for tomorrow. We're looking for a fourth. Thursday's game- Oh shoot, I keep thinking- Okay, I can't take Thursday off. But that's- that's fine. Thursday, we're just not doing much of anything. We're just watching stuff for like three hours. So that's- that's acceptable. That's basically a day off. Okay. I don't want to rebuy it. Oh, shoot. You might want to come to the stream then. I'll have a copy to give away. And it should be fairly late at night, so... At worst, I think you got a 1 in 10 chance of winning it. Uh, but I'm doing a giveaway tomorrow for GTFO. I've done sponsorships for GTFO many a times. But yeah, I have a copy of it to give away tomorrow. Just like I have a copy of this game to give away tonight. It's just, I'm probably not doing it tonight because everyone's falling asleep and it doesn't feel right. All right. Is GTFO a horror game? It's not... Do you guys consider Dead Space a horror? Like, it's creepy, but... And it's initially scary, but you get over it really quickly, and it just becomes... Like, you, you fight these monsters and whatnot, but they don't really terrify you. I think it's like soft horror. It's like... For example, if you played, um... If you played... If you, if you guys have ever played uh, Left 4 Dead, for example, you're not actually scared of scared of the zombies, are you? Like, that's just, you know, 
That's just something you fight. It's kind of like that. Or back for blood. It's just like, hey, there there are scary monsters going after you, but you, you stop being scared really quickly. The first time I played, okay, to be honest, the first time I played, I was pretty scared, so <laughs> I can't blame anyone. Yeah, it's it has it's more about the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is definitely creepy. All right, chat, I'm almost done. Sorry, I'm finishing some stuff before uh, we continue on. They did a great job on the game, though. I, I really enjoy GTFO. Another Lethal Company stream? When? Did you even watch the first one? I don't know. That game... It's super popular with people, but I don't know if it's, like, super fun for me. I haven't thought much about GTFO. Or, sorry, I haven't thought much about, um, Lethal Company. Alright, let's set this up. Sacrifice health for unlock a passive. Regenerator. Oh, shoot, that was really bad of me. Ah, uh, I, I wanted to unlock Tile, that's what I wanted to do. What a, what a scrub mistake. Let's go double optimizer. Fly capsules. I want as much Good stuff, in a row. Alright, I'm stunned. I still see people playing that, uh, wonder what the draw is, that's, like, what it makes it stand out. I, I played it one time for, like, four hours, and I, I didn't really understand it either. I think it's a good game, don't get me wrong, I just don't understand what, why it's so popular. It's, like, insanely popular. I just look at that and wonder, well, co-op games like that are all over the place on Steam. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's anything particularly special, but can't argue with results. Its results are incredible. Right place, right time. Yeah, a lot of big streamers or big content creators are playing it right now. That's also true. All right, chat. Uh, sorry, break break time done. Let's do about another twenty minutes of this. All right, let's see this. Reroll. All right, there you go. I want a regenerator. Right before the boss, I want to fully heal up. There you go. I'll take it. Let's do it. 
Yeah, our HP carries over from the last battle, so. Pretty important to um, have a good HP pool going forward. I think I'm okay with Toxic Manster taking some damage. I think we lose half of our entire HP, wow. One fight. I think... Badass. Yeah, that is half our HP. Okay, it's only for one fight though, so we'll be okay. As long as we get more more abilities, we'll be good for the long run. Alright, apply some dodge. I watched a fate trailer on stream too. I thought the only now the, the only analysis I can really give that viewers will understand is look at how the girls get book reports for skill descriptions. But Laurent gets a, a sentence. Yeah, that's essentially it. I'm gonna be trying and be positive about um the new book, but it, it's heavily concerning because uh, there is a bunch of things. Oh god, we might lose someone. Oh no. Uh, heal myself real quick. Yeah, it's it's heavily concerning what they're gonna do. Let's try and get triple blindness. Uh, there's doesn't seem to be anything like extra exciting thus far, and uh, they don't have a good track record. But I'll we'll, we'll try being positive and see what's going on, and hopefully things will be great. Hey, if you get, apply dodge and blindness, that's such a great combo. They just can't hit anything then. Let's try and snipe one of these. Sleeping gas. Lies poison. Science and poison. Science and poisoned. Let's try and get a kill. Oh, it's down. Nice. Let's we got hit with debuff. Maybe we gotta use the thing that gets rid of debuffs. We have bleeding right now. Oh, I can't use it yet. Fragility. Plus fragility on them. Fragility up. Apply stealth, survive potion, sleeping gas. We're running out of time. I need to get the kills. But these ones are pretty uh, pretty tough. Fluid combustion, fire blade. Every every one hundred time, the burning territory moves to its right. Let's just do it. That doesn't seem like a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. What I'm talking about? That was a kill. Water spike, fire pillar. Yeah, this is better. If I can get out of the way and have him attack my tank, I'm alright with it. Uh oh. I don't think we're finishing this on time. Oh no. No bonuses. Alright, well, at least we finish it off now. Wasn't a fan of book 7, but I'll admit it's weird where the stakes are with book 8. I've seen some say it works if you consider book 1, 3, 6, 8 as main story and 2, 4, 5, 7 side stories. I think that's just like mentally trying to justify things. But that's not how it works. A real good story. Stays a good story throughout.
these books don't seem to affect the main plot. But it is it will be about the main plot, which is the other thing. Okay, we got Rempart. Gain armor when a monster loses a charge. Unbreakable. Okay, I'll put Thorn Armor on Alberict. Oh, or on Lysian. Alberic doesn't get hit as much. Alright, let's find the chest. Treasure. Good treasure. The chest is certainly abandoned. No problem to recover its content. 22 big coins. Rush shot leads to Ram Dilemma in a hurry. The mist in the forest grows even heavier and it becomes more and more difficult to progress. To avoid being lost, you have to choose a leader. Let's hold hands and stay together. I need to make it clear that if my hands are clammy, it's because of the dampness of the mist. Let's not waste time here. Okay, that's easy. Tank gains three armor and other heroes gain protection in one. Daring, I have no idea. I'll be safe. You've got no time to lose and you're on your way. Another fight? I'm really low HP right now. Okay. Sorrel Potion. Put the Sorrel Potion on the ground, which heals. Nice. So he heals up. Uh-oh. Ooh, is he still alive? He's barely alive. 19 HP remaining. Oh my god. Okay, this is going terribly. Uh, I have to apply dodge. That's our only chance. Just burn them. Play for a long game, even though we can't play for a long game. How am I supposed to survive this? Just big damage. Homemade smoke bomb. Survival potion. I think I do another survival potion. Okay, that was a really good survival potion, so we survived this. We haven't dodged anything, yes. Oh. Okay, that's a good dodge. We're barely alive, though. Please kill. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, we're gonna make it through. Let's go! That was so rough. Gain armor, lose a charge. At the beginning of each turn, it inflicts 10 damage per echo to all targets. Uh, that looks super rare. Give it to Lei. For me, Fate always seems about characters interacting, you all art and voice lines. Uh, FPs draw me in more than the main story. That's true. It's Forging Bonds are really good in comparison to the main story. Stuff like characters from different games interacting or tying up loose ends from older games, words left unsaid, etc. The main story is too, to me, more of a means of a transportation to get there. I guess you're right. Oh god, we made it to the healing machine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, guys. In addition to free heals, enjoy services designed for your needs. Three buffs gains two echoes. I think I want more echoes. Wait, we're not fully healed. Oh, all right. Well, let's hope we win this fight. Nothing personal, but in my estimation, this is as far as you're going to go. Might as well get it over quickly. Uh, let's be bold. Alright guys, sorry, well, let me double check. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's do... Mustache throw? 2k HP. We better apply dodge and try and survive all this. Dodge on the weakest units, then try and blind. Oh boy. We have bleeding now? Ill. Does bleeding stack? It does not stack, but it's still annoying. Sleeping gas. Let's try and silence the monster. Oh, 
Oh boy. What? That's a lot of damage. Fire pillar? Minus 25 energy if the target has unbreakable, gains critical one. Explosive suicide upon death of 40 damage. Just burn them. Uh, I'm gonna battle take 40 damage. But I, I have no choice. I have to hit everybody. Apply stealth, survive potion. No, if I lose the healer, I'm definitely down. Nice. This makes things easier. Um... Plus 30% healing if the character is weakened. Fire pillar, or fracture, water spike. Its energy is still full, so I'm not getting anything extra out of that. This heals. Wait, he heals? No way. He's so useful. Damage output and healing? Oh shoot, that's a buff. Applies one armor and removes two debuffs. Apply more dodge. Try and apply fragility. Uh, I think we better make sure we dodge this or we're going to be so screwed. Hey, J. Dell, welcome back. How you doing? Right now we're playing uh, Brick the Loop, the sponsorship game that I've been trying to play so badly. 528. Oh, shoot. He spawned others. Okay. No, no. Keep, keep on him. Put the debuffs on him. Try and go for the kill re real early. Look at all those debuffs. Beautiful. Fire pillar. There. Okay. I think this is going fine. Now apply blindness. As long as we don't get hit, we'll, we'll be fine. They're all blind. Despite having so many eyes. Nice dodge. Dodging the boss damage is the biggest, biggest thing. Sleeping gas. I think I should heal. The healer needs to stay up. Alright, burn. Burn all of them. But no book's plot ever drew me in. I do not appreciate tough critique you lay on it though. I don't think just because it's an ob 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 obligated story from a mobile game that's free from scrutiny. I think that's the thing that bothers me a lot. It's just, you know, it's been seven years. At what point can you, what, at what point are you allowed to, you know, well, have expectations. Uh, I'll take 80 damage if I do this. Ooh, but I think water spike. That's a lot of damage. Burning burst through all of it. Eighty damage. Sleeping gas. Go to sleep. Night night. What's the potion doing there? Oh, he uses the potion. Nice, that's so good. Apply dodge. I really can get Dragaea Lost Sorry, cast, but I played it up till the end. I can respect the vision they had with it. Dragaea Lost is... I'll, I'll always miss Dragaea Lost. Excellent game, but there wasn't enough people playing it. And it always feels bad that it ended because it was it was like the one gotcha game that Nintendo had that handled everything correctly. Uh, I think we win now.
Win now. Do, do we win now? Do we win now? I think I'm misunderstanding how this move works. Oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Okay, now we just go for damage output. Nice dodge. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. One more. 48 HP, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, are we gonna win in time? Yeah, we do, let's go. You finish the fight quickly. You collect 18 big coins and 200 croniums and three fluxins. Choose your all group gain eight dodge. Lay runs away to return later with 30% HP and five echo. No, I'll, I'll take the 8% dodge. All right, chat, I think that's good enough for me. Oh, we have a really big boss. Damn it. Uh, I should be doing the giveaway tonight because you guys have, have been so good. But at the same time, I'm really tired and I want to I want to just leave that to tomorrow. All right, how about tomorrow we try and beat the third segment, beat the big boss, and I'll do the giveaway tomorrow. I think that's probably the best way of going about it. But yeah, I want to go to bed early enough that so I can actually edit a video. Edit a video tonight or tomorrow night for uh for the morning. But thanks again, Dingus. Really means a lot for you to raid so often, man. Uh, real quick, for those who didn't know, we are playing Break the Loop. Let me do Break. Does our command work? It should work. Yeah, there you go. Uh, check it out if you haven't already. It's a really fun roguelike time traveling game. It's very whimsical. It has a lot of depth and strategy. I've been really enjoying it. If you back it now, you'll get a discounted uh, price. And more importantly, my head stops covering it. You'll be you'll get your name in the credits. And an exclusive Discord role. But you'll get your name in the credits, and that's a big one. Yeah, it's a very fun game. We'll be continuing a bit more of it tomorrow, and I'll give a cop I'll give away a copy of it tomorrow as well. But yeah, I am I'm so mad tired tonight. So I'm gonna just race one and call a night. Thanks for your raids, me and the face stuff and the robots shooting other robots. <laughs> Thanks for always being good nature and, and fun and being a, a scientist of DSP. But uh it's I, I watched you raid someone last night and it blew my mind that there's like a DSP community of just people watching DSP doing DSP stuff. That literally blows my mind. Alright, but yeah, let's find someone to raid and then call a night. Uh, let's try someone different tonight. Wait, let's see if someone's playing this game right now. We're all united in hatred, but it's a cool place. They're who I'm raising money with? Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I did see that. Alright. Break the loop. Oh, I'm on the only one playing. It would've been nice to raid someone else in it. Mm. Oh shoot. Well, maybe we'll raid Krotenshi. It's been a while since I raided Krotenshi. Alright, we'll just say night raid and call it night. Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow, chat. It's been a pleasure tonight. Got so much done. But I'm also mentally mentally dead tired i love you peeps stay awesome stay cool stay sexy and have a great night hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys next time good night dingus i'll just say night night raid let's just go with that good night dingus good night andre good night ignis 
Guy glitched. Guy Jadel. Guy Andre. Alright guys, I'll just go with Night Raid. I love you guys. Stay awesome. Till next time. Take care of yourselves. And night night. Let's raid Kuro Tenchi Sama. I'm also starving. I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> That's pushing me to my limits. Alright. Love you guys. And bye bye.